Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Rob from Rob's Gaming Table. This is... I'm Mel. And we're here to play Super Happy Fun Sunshine Rainbows Candy... I don't know, friendship game, Ulsworn, which is all about fun and positivity and colorfulness and, you know, friendship and love. Welcome. Welcome to chapter three. <laughs> chapter three. Is that the mood you're in already? Yeah. And we haven't even yeah. started? Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. I'm, tr I'm trying to set the bar up here because in like five minutes when we get into the story, I'm going to be super depressed and hate my life and don't want to play the game anymore. No, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> hello everybody, welcome, welcome. Hello. Uh, huge shout out to our Patreon supporters and our YouTube members. Thank you for clicking the join button or clicking the Patreon link in the video description and supporting us here. Uh, allowing us to, uh, you know, purchase, uh, better cameras, lenses, audio equipment, cables, travel to conventions, buy more games, back more Kickstarters. Uh, upgrade our dice trays. I don't know, all random crazy stuff. I appreciate the support. Thanks for helping us grow. And uh, you'll see their name scrolling on the screen there. And they are officially better than you. Uh, if you want to be as cool as them, get your name in there. Check the video description. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. We appreciate much. you. But if you can't, I understand. At least you're here hanging out. So you're you're okay still in my books. But... If you can't, just hit that like button. Yeah, That yeah. definitely helps. Yeah, like button's okay, I guess. <laughs> but I... I don't know if you clicked it or not, so like, you know, it's all good. Anyways, yeah, hello we everybody. Yeah, we can't thank you individually for that. Yes, welcome. So we're going into chapter three, spoiler warning, of course, which just reminded me. I, oh, did, not do, I did not do the spoiler pin for anyone showing up midstream that might be like, ooh, what's this new game? I haven't watched Rob in a while. <laughs> I've never heard of this. Oh my God, spoilers. I mean, like right now, they're fine. There's no spoilers yeah, yeah. on the screen currently. I know, but I'll get into it. But give then. it like a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Larry says, hi, all surprise visit from the family, so I'll watch later. No worries. No problem. Enjoy that. Yeah. Enjoy this. Enjoy family time, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> Loser. Oh. Poor guy. Uh. Oh. We have a super chat. Yogi. Thank you so much, Yogi. Yogi says, I ditched my cousins <laughs> yeah. to be here. Oh, Yogi, thank you so much. We appreciate you so much. Now, hopefully ditched he means just like left them somewhere safe and they're still okay. Not yeah, like... Yeah, like they're not little, are they? No, no. Or not ditched them like, you know, ended them and put them in a ditch or oh. something. You know, like he just is so I think we would use different you know? wording if that was the case. I, I don't know. You never know. I mean, these, these Aussies and their slang, who knows? You know. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone that's coming in and saying, oh, they have children and stuff. Oh, okay. Okay, so they're not, they're not children themselves. Okay. Hello to everyone that's coming in and saying hello. Yeah. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Oh, okay. All right. Let's just put this in there. We'll pin that. I don't know why. But today it's just like, yeah. That's fine. As long as it says spoilers. Yeah. All good. Yogi, thank you for the support. Thank you so much. Yes, Yogi. Thank we you. appreciate it. You'll tear. I'm all caught up and can watch. Watch live. Love it. <laughs> It'll be in and out all day. All right. Uh, that's cool. Good morning, Buell. Good morning. I guess afternoon. Maybe it's morning for you. It's morning oh, it's for morning Buell. It's morning for I Buell. Think, yeah. It's afternoon here. I'm pretty sure Buell's a West Coaster. Pretty sure, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but yeah, I might be completely wrong. We'll see. Buell, Buell will let me know. Pretty sure, though, but all right. Uh,. Locator says, can't wait to see the finished paint job. I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> well, we're just pulling enemies and stuff out of boxes when told to in the book. We never <laughs> looked at any of it ahead of time and painted it. What are you talking about? Last night, actually, while I was painting, Locator was also live painting. So we were kind of like painting oh, together. So nice. I was chatting with him in his chat. Oh, cool. While he was painting. 
And you're nice to him, like he he's nice in your paint streams. Hundred percent. Okay, good. Hundred <laughs> percent. Volkazar is a fantastic painter. Yeah, I love nice. learning from him. I've seen a finish work posted in the in the Discord. Yeah, and I'm like, amazing. oh my god. I just like I wish I wish I could. Same. So I have but, to watch to get tips. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Bob. Oh, Bob's here joining from my rented holiday home. Rub it in a little, is it, okay? Is it a cabin in the north <laughs> as big as our cabin? No, it's not rubbing in. Our mansion cabin's way cooler. Oh, yeah. Our, our one that we travel once once a year in our mm -hmm. Q&A around the holidays. Oh, we should be starting to plan that trip, shouldn't we, soon? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make sure all the yeah. all the gaming stuff is there. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, get all our, our second streaming setup ready, you know, yeah. like... Yep. Each year we have to check on it to see if new technologies change because we have a separate streaming set up there, you know? Oh, yeah. And then we forget about it. And then a year later we get there and we're like, oh no, it's, we could definitely upgrade some of this equipment. <laughs> 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 it's a cover says, joining from our third house on the beach. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, Beatles says, got, uh, got in from a gig at 5 a.m. and set my alarm to be here. Oh my gosh, Be Beatles, that's a dedication. Beatles. I don't know that this is going to be worth it for you. <laughs> Beatles, you're a psycho. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Colton's here from Poland. Hello oh, from hello. Canada. Hello, hello from hello. Poland. Oh, we had a Germany as well. Sorry, I didn't. We didn't show you. Oh, it's I try to avoid Germany. all the Germans. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just I didn't see it. <laughs> I know. I, I'm just. <laughs> Quickly glancing. Okay, uh, let's get started, I think. Should we? I mean, it's already going to be a long one. We could no, just drag this, it out for another little this, bit, no, right? No, this game's super short, <laughs> super fast. Um, what do we need to do? Oh, yeah, we need to do our, our routine check. It was 13-something. Oh. No, I think you said it was 13-something the first one. Oh, and then it was 12? I think it was 12. Now yeah, it's ranked overall beside the little orange crown at the top. We're checking every episode for fun, if we remember. If we ever forget, you guys can remind us in the chat. But we do this when we play like a new game and we're going through the campaign of it over many months, which happens quite often on the channel, I feel. Uh, we usually do something fun, like just keep checking uh, the rankings as people get their games, as they play it, as they go online and rate it. So this ranked overall is now 1,179 and a 9.3 is the overall rating and the weight is a 3.54. All those things will keep changing as people keep putting in their own values and, and you know, rating them and ranking them and giving their own weight and players best with two and four, it says. I will probably not rank it until I get to like chapter five. I, I stopped rating them under under my um my like Rob's gaming table account. I just it, I couldn't keep track of all the games and like I just started getting frustrated that I, I was not updating what games I had and rating them and then I would go change the ratings. I'm like, I just don't have time for this, so I don't want to just leave some in there, so I just deleted them all. Mm -hmm. I don't rate all of the games. But yeah. But I do rate like bigger games that we play usually. Yeah. Yeah, if I had time, I would love to like manage all the stuff through there, but it's, I can't. I can't. It's too much. I, you need I, an assistant? Yeah, like I, I don't know <laughs> if it's just I get obsessed with like trying to make it complete, and then I realize like I just spent two hours when I should have been doing something else, and mm -hmm. it's like well, I'm not getting anything out of this, so it's like eh. I should, uh, yeah, it's like doesn't help anyone on the channel, so I should just uh, continue to learn games and play games on YouTube and stuff. Okay, cool. Um, next. Uh, all right. I don't know what board we're using today, but I just set up the default side. I, I don't know. We'll just flip it if we need. I'm just going to start setting this up going forward like this so we can put everything around it for the stream. It's easier. And then we'll just put our maps and stuff on it, kind of like we did last time. Today, we are doing the full story mode. We're in story encounter, or story phase, whatever it's called. We're not going to do instant action mode. Uh, we just want to try it last time to see what it's like. But today, we're going to do the full thing. I don't remember what the discussion result was uh, about using the physical storybook versus the app. And uh, the app will tell us when we need to do anything yes. fun and interesting. That's yes. The cover was saying that uh, his, be obvious, his wife right? was was looking yeah. through the book at the same time, which I said that I would do. But it is but it'll obvious. be obvious in the app, right? Yeah. So we'll just use the app, and then hopefully it's obvious when it tells us to. Yeah, do we some just don't want to miss anything. So yeah. if I don't need to follow through with the Book, then I won't but hey Greg hey Dominic and everyone else oh Paul says happy I actually caught a live stream hi Paul hey Paul how's it welcome going? welcome um okay so we'll use the app and then the app will tell us if we need to 
pull out the book. Uh, Colton wants to know, so where does this game land so far on your likeness scale? Like how much we like it? I, um, I don't know. I, I like it a lot so far, but I feel like we've only scratched the surface. But again, like I've talked about before, I'll try to keep this in like 20 seconds or less uh, and no spoilers, but it's like um, we've only played two scenarios. You know, three times we've sat down and played sessions. Mm -hmm. We've only tried the four characters you see. I haven't tried some of the characters I might find more interesting. We've only played the first couple bosses. I'm sure it gets more creative, more fun, and more interesting. We've only seen a little bit of the story. So, so far, keeping all that in mind, that could all change, of course, uh, as we play through this. But I love dark fantasy stuff. I love the boss battles back in Dark Souls, the board game. That was what drew me to that game. And uh, Dark Souls, the video game and stuff. I love boss fights and games. I don't, never really owned a dedicated boss battler like this. Um, I like to choose your own adventure stuff in story games. I love campaign games. You guys know this. This is what I play on the channel. This is what I focus at. This is my bread and butter. Is like fantasy, dark fantasy even better. Yeah. Um, difficult, challenging games. I like when that translates. Sometimes I get frustrated with it in board games, but I love it in video games. And I get frustrated there too, so it's just part of part of the deal, but it feels better when you actually do pull something out. But, it makes uh, it less boring. Yeah, For yeah, me, that's true. Right? Because there's more depth yeah. there usually. I find if it's more challenging, I'll want to keep playing it, which is good for a game that has 21 chapters that you want to play through the whole story. If if the story stunk and the gameplay stunk and the challenge wasn't there, then I would start losing interest in the game very fast. But so far, I like what I see. Uh, we want to keep going. Um, I just don't know for episode four when that will happen. There's a couple reasons. <laughs> Mel needs to paint some more characters because I want to try new characters. Doesn't mean we don't play because she hasn't painted the characters. If I feel like playing next weekend, we will play next weekend and we'll just use the same characters and maybe she just gets to paint up one new character because I don't want her to rush. We have other games to play. So those other games need some time and attention. So she can't be painting if we're supposed to be practicing and learning other games to play on the channel. Yeah. So we might put this on hold for a couple weeks at most, I think. Um, but we'll see how it's going. We'll see where it fits in and stuff. But uh, that doesn't mean I don't want to play it. I just don't want to rush through this game and get to like chapter 17 and we still are playing with the same characters. I really want to try all 12 at some point, but I don't want Mel to rush. I want her to take her sweet time painting them very nice and detailed and stuff. And plus, not to mention all the enemy boxes, these two mystery chests of craziness. <laughs> um, literally based on the hours she's spending on each boss painting it, uh, if she just did that full time, like maybe in two months she'd be done painting them all. Like, So there's no way she can keep up if we play every week, I don't think. Well, I think we had, this week we also had the train that showed up that I was also working on, which is not done either. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, true. So that kind of threw a little bit of a wrench yeah. into it, but... So I think painting for this game, because we were silly and bought the miniature version, <laughs> I think we should have bought the standee version. No, I am enjoying painting it. It's fine, but just to let everyone know, there may be some length between some of these episodes. We played the first three in one week to get a good foundation for the game, to try it out, but... Well, it's a challenge. For me. <laughs> but don't think because you don't see an episode scheduled, we're like done and we're bored and we hate it. But by the end of today's playthrough, I might hate it. We'll see. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, so we're going to just take it kind of slow as Mel paints it. Then I'll kind of be like, oh, okay, you've painted the next boss or whatever. And you're painted a couple more characters. Okay, let's just schedule it. It's ready to play now. Let's get back to it. Um, so that's how we're going to kind of treat it. There's a couple other reasons. Uh, a, not everyone has their game yet. I hate playing a game way in advance before a lot of people even had a chance to play it. I love when more people can join in as we in, hang out in the chat and not fear spoilers too much because they've already played it in their scenario session. So I'm okay. We played three, you know, people can watch it. And then the other reason is people have a chance to catch up too. So even those who maybe have not found the channel yet, not found the series, they have a chance to find it and can still catch up because we're not playing through too quickly. Sometimes we play a campaign game within like two weeks, you know, play 12 sessions in like two weeks and we just go crazy. Not that it's that fast, but, um, I just noticed by the end, people aren't really catching up live and we're tuning in and we're like, you know, playing with like less than 20 people watching. And it's like, I know it's just because people can't have busy lives. They can't keep up. So this one, I'm okay. Just taking our time, playing it slow as people catch it. Not to mention the people who want it and can't even buy it because this game is not available uh, until the next Kickstarter in two to three months from now or whatever. And then they have to wait six to seven months or more. So they get the game. So like people are probably like a year away from getting a copy of this game. So why am I rushing? I don't need to rush. There's no reason. I don't need to rush. Thank you to the support on Patreon and YouTube. I don't need to rush. I, I don't care about that kind of stuff. So it's all good. Thank you, everybody. All right.
Uh, Addy, I'm not sure. Um, so we answered your question. We're playing the same characters. I saw your question earlier. Um, and is it always going to be set in a forest? I don't think so. There's two boards. Like, there's a back to this board, but that's it. There's no other secret board that I know of, unless it's, like, hidden in, inside of the lining of the box or something. Um, yeah. Which Matt says there's another side to the board. Yeah, it's more like a rock. Yeah. This is more like uh, forest. I might be able to just kind of show part of it. Yeah, it's kind of like dirt, like rock. Rabble. There's like little rabble. little rats, rabble. little rats in the art there. Which is weird that we didn't play the first one on this. Yeah, I don't know the deal here. I don't know why. Don't know. We'll see. But yeah. Ooh. Osiris, how's it going? Hello. Oh, Timbo has oh, uh, Old Sworn on his Brian. <laughs> When I try to go to bed, I keep thinking of the past chapter. Oh, and what's like, coming up? And, oh, and what's coming up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Timbo, I'm assuming I know you're you mean playing. <laughs> I'm assuming you're playing completely blind, right? Like, have you even opened the miniature, like the boss? Not that opening a miniature gives you any indication yeah. of what's to come, but true, true. Oh, I'm dropping money. Yeah, uh, totally. Okay, nice, nice. I, I do see Kevin's comment about how we have time to play another War of the Ring, the card game. Yes, that was awesome yesterday. Oh, that was it, fun. It's doing well. Like, a lot of people are watching it this morning and overnight, I noticed. Uh, so it's doing better than I was thinking it was going to do. Um, so I appreciate it. And a lot of comments have been left already saying, uh, yes, please play the dual mode. We'd love to see it. So I don't know if it'll fit in this week because other stuff we're currently working on playing, but maybe, like, early the following week. Um, we'll, we'll schedule one in, I think. Like, I don't see why not. Um, because people are interested. There's even people who are like, yes, I got to the end of the video, I watched the whole thing, I need to see more. And it's like, <laughs> okay, all right, it's legit, it's legit. I like it. You mean it. they're not just writing that yeah, halfway at, through? Or at the very beginning, they're like, ugh, I don't care about trilogy, give me the dual mode. <laughs> it's like, no, you need to watch more. You need to learn the game today, and then you get to watch dual mode later. No, it's all good. All right, so let's Yeah, get... it seems like people were interested in that. Yeah, so that was fun yesterday. If you're interested in War of the Ring, the card game, Check out our stream from yesterday. It was good times. All right. So we are going to do the full story mode. So we're going to be here for about seven hours today, is uh, my assumption. Buckle uh, in. Buckle in, everybody. Grab your snacks. Grab your snacks. We'll take some breaks and stuff for a few minutes here and there to stretch, get drinks, go to the washroom. Hope we don't forget. And uh, we don't get stuck to our chairs. And I think, um, I know... Timbo is going to head out because hasn't uh, oh, played yeah, the yeah. chapter. So again, spoilers for chapter three. So if anybody was just hanging out for the first few minutes. Yeah, yeah. Get out. Timbo, get out. <laughs> get out. No spoilers. Cover your eyes and ears. Get out. Okay. Let's see. Are we ready for this? I think so. Chapter three. I think it starts playing right away. It should. You guys should hear it. I think I set up everything okay today. It's a little weird with these streams with apps in them, but uh, let's see. Oh, oh there's instructions. First. So we're not hearing it right away. That's cool. All right. Chapter three, the keening. Instructions, press here. Open mystery envelope A. So we're in the same city. Do I have that? Oh, I don't. I did not bring them down. They're probably in like the one oh. of the lids. I'll go get it. Okay. Uh, Mel will be right back with the envelope while I kill some time. Oh, yeah. One sec. Go ahead. It says open mystery envelope A, places contents in the center of play, place the free company marker on the broken oak, which is just one of our character models. And the broken oak was the inn, right? Uh, I think that was the one we learned, and we, we were confirmed that at the end of the last story, it mentioned it being an inn. But do not place the location token on the city map. That's interesting, it clarifies it this time. When we had in the first episode, we had the question of, do we even put the, it on the board? And we were, everyone said no, but this one actually clarifies it, which is cool. So maybe we were supposed to place it in the first chapter? No. Did you get the chapter? Um... Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, I don't know where to put this. Uh, put this over here. Yeah, we just need the uh, probably chapter three little bar uh, time track, whatever. You plugged in? Yeah. Uh, 
Okay. We're back at Bastone. Uh, Broken Oak, number 13, is where we start. We probably need that. Yeah, chapter, chapter three. Oh, wow, this should be a short one, unless we get completely lost, because the bonuses happen at uh, time track five and six. Oops. Okay. Um, here. Place chapter three time track beneath the map. Take the path a card. Light peeks through the slats of your room in the broken oak, teasing you from a good night's sleep free of nightmares. Rising, you grab your gear and head downstairs. Upon entering the main hall, there is no cheer or raised glasses for what you did. After the satyr vanished, there was no proof you could bring to the town of your success. Without a head, there would be no pay. You take solace, though, in the knowledge that the thing is dead, or long gone from these parts. The peace you felt at waking turns to an ease as you take in the mood of the hall. Patrons mutter angrily and seem to be stirring up their blood for something to come. Men and women are streaming from the inn to join a procession of others in the street, all heading in the same direction. Fableman Greycane sits in a corner, wearily shaking his head. He sees you and waves you over to sit with him. He gestures to the people and pours your morning bitter tea. Ignorance, he declares. It is clear from his moves and speech that the storyteller has been drinking, possibly not even gone to bed since last night. Frowning, he looks into your eyes. I seen the apothecary. They took her last night for interrogation. They say she's the witch behind the dreams and... Burn the witch! Killings. They don't understand... They didn't see what you saw. She's going to die today because of their ignorance. Come, let's see what your mighty victory has done to cure this town. He waves and staggers out the front door of the broken oak to the rushing crowds of the street. Place location token 14 and go there. Very light. Mm -hmm peeks through the slats of your room in the broken No. Place 14 and go there. That's the town square. Okay. The flow of people seems to be all towards the town square. The press of bodies carries you through the streets and you can see people also positioning themselves on rooftops around the central square vying for the best viewing. As you shoulder your way through the crowd, you can see a small forest of guardsmen's pikes near the centre, a tight cluster around the posts that dominate the crossroads. Finally, you force your way to a position near the front between the podiums, where the nobles and Lord Davenish look on. Lysine, the apothecary, looks around fearfully as they yank her bound wrists to a worn hook over her head on the burning post, and an official rattles off a list of laws and charges. Oh, no. That looks cool. Oh, no. That looks cool. One sec. Uh, so the folks, um, so in, in the app, there's this picture, um, but the folks over at Shadowborn also sent me an alternate art picture they were going to use in this, um, part, but they, uh, they could only put one in the app. 
Um, so they send it to me. I'm, I, I get, actually get to show it to you guys today. So let's just show that. Uh, so this is the alternate art that was supposed to be uh, in the app. Um, yeah, it's just a different perspective. Uh, looks very cool. That's that's the one right there. All right. <laughs> I can't see here. So. Uh, oh goodness. Oh oh boy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think we need help here, right? Okay. Yes. Uh, so let's let's throw a quick poll in the chat. Uh, what to do? You guys okay, can help us. Uh, yeah. And then uh, one or two. Oh, sorry. No worries. All right. So uh, if you're watching live, you can vote in the chat. If you're new to the stream, uh, this is what we're going to do going forward. I think it's funnier. Uh, let's see where everyone's kind of mind is at. You guys can influence the playthrough. Uh, should we step in and release her or should we watch the proceedings? And if you already know what happens after, go ahead, vote, whatever you want to see. If you want to see the opposite of what you saw in your playthrough, you want to see the same, do whatever you want. If you want to pick the funnier option, whatever. If you've never played, you have no idea. Who cares? Pick something. It's all good. Just we'll have some fun and we'll see. So whatever you're more interested in as you follow along, we'll do it. It's all good. No worries. Even this is a tough decision. I wouldn't know. Well, I don't know how integrated the story is yet if if it involves our own characters. Like, is this the witch that's part of we our playable party? And if we have the witch, what happens? Or does, like, you know, in Gloomhaven, if you have a certain class and you answer a certain thing on a road event, it's like, oh, if you had the brute, this is what happens. Yes, which we had. Didn't we have the bear one time? And oh, we, were able to, we were able to threaten... Or something, because oh, we have, yes. if, yeah, if you were Urser so, or something. So I don't know if this is like our same witch, a different witch. If we had a witch, what, what, what would happen? Like, do we get a bonus for a witch if we help this witch? I, I don't know, but this could be totally unrelated. But I don't know if we're supposed to be thinking like that or not. Oh, Jack says bear, like threatening checks. Yeah, yes. so I don't, I don't know if this is connected or not. Like, I don't know how interweaved we are in the story or anything. So, um, but yeah. So let's check the poll. Um, what are you guys saying? What? Thank you, everyone that voted. Let's close it up. Uh, step in and release her 76%. Thank wow. you. All right. Okay, let's, you guys are. Let's do that. Okay. Instructions. All Ostworn gain a defense token. Yes. Yes. Good choice, everyone. Hook it up. Good choice. He likes defense tokens. Mm -hmm. I like tokens. <laughs> I like a good uh, assortment of them, not too many of one. I agree. Variety is always good. Yes, I like, I like... Two guards immediately step forward and cross the spears in front of you, blocking your path. You may have done us a great service with the rats, the official says, stopping his listing of offenses. But this witch is bastones to burn. Blood for blood, right for right. Your job is done. This is ours. Burn uh -oh. the witch! They are quarry bound in place. The guards point the spears to the crowd to move them back. More than one spear is angled to hold you in place. Lysine winces and looks to the crowd angrily. Haven't I helped you? I tended your wounds and you pay me with fire? Urging the crowd to silence, the official announces, This creature has lived among us as one of us, but no longer. Today, Bastone protects you all and makes safe her people. Another official comes from a side alley, carrying a spluttering torch. He thrusts it skyward, and the town cheers in anticipation. Holds anyone an objection to this justice? The crowd around you roars bloodthirsty. No! Uh-oh. Oh, no. Do we stay on the same path that we're on here? <laughs> <laughs> Jack says, damn, I wish I had chat when I couldn't make decisions in games. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know if it, I don't know if you wish that or not. We'll see how it turns out. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll be honest, it's it's it, it, when I first started doing this, like the polls through like legacy games and campaigns, where it's like, 
probably am over, only ever going to play this once. This choice is part of the fun. And I'm like giving that away, like out of my control, leaving so in someone else's hands. But then it was like I did it once and then I got hooked. I thought it was so fun and like I thought it was so cool. And I, I remember like there was live streams I saw probably like, I don't know, eight years ago where they were doing like interaction on Twitch and stuff where I was like, oh, this is so fun. Like when I get the chance to do it, I want to do it like that. And like I've always had fun doing it. It's like it's cool if you're just sitting there watching like to get involved, especially those who like maybe never played. Or like I said, if you've played and you're like, I want to see what the other option does and you can vote and feel free to like kind of like you know, uh, it's like voting. Feel free to get in and like try to influence the other voters, you know, in the chat and stuff too. I think it's just fun. It's just cool, cool way to interact. Yeah, it's awesome for the people that are here live. Yeah, it's like you can't do it in like recorded. Like when we used to do recorded playthroughs, it's like you, you, you know, then we would be like, we'd have five minute videos where we get to this point. Where we're like, okay, let us know in the comments below and we'll read that later and we'll see you in a week when we tally up the results. It's like, this is the kind of stuff you can do live. It's like way more interesting and I think it's fun. Um, so yeah. <laughs> All right, let's close that poll and see what's going on here. Uh, 81% say one. Object to the burning. All right, we're on the same path. Don't burn the witch. All O sworn gain a defense token if they have not gained one already from this chapter. Oh. So if we said, go ahead, burn her, and then we picked... Don't burn her. It's like, okay, you can have a defense token still because you it took you a couple tries, but you finally figured out that you're you're okay at trying to defend her. All right. I object. The crowd goes silent. Thank you. Thank you. Lysine mutters between broken sobs. Lord Davenish, who has been observing the scene from a raised box, surrounded by his house guard, leans forward. You object, he sneers. You are protectors. This is what you do. Try to free a monster. Let more children vanish in the night. He motions to the official who throws the torch into the oiled wood pile by Lysine's feet. Oh, Objection no. overruled. Wow, oh, that's no. dark. So speaking of dark and horrible, uh, Brian S. in the chat has a dad joke of the day. My wife and I laugh at how competitive we are. I laugh more. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. The smoke curls in thick, oily tendrils that begin to swirl around Lysine. No, she cries. I've hurt no one. I've helped this town. I've healed you. She lurches and tries to move away as flames grow and lick at her calves. You have no idea what you've done. I cannot help you, and I cannot stop what is going to happen now. You are all doomed. Uh -oh. She screams, but it is a sound like nothing you have ever heard. It strikes the base of your skulls, a piercing whine that makes you flinch. Several of the crowd double over as the shockwave washes through the town square. The flames reach up her legs as she continues the obscene wailing noise. The sound pushes into your spine and assaults your mind as the smell of burning flesh fills the square. The keening scream reaches an unholy crescendo. A throat should be torn by such a noise. You cover your ears, but it doesn't lessen the pain. The ground shakes. There is screaming from the distant walls of Barstone. Grey Cane looks at you. That wasn't her, that sound. Something is coming. There is screaming, rumbling, the sound of shattering stone. People on the rooftops stand and turn. The deep wood comes alive. One screams. It's huge. What is that? Run! The witch brought it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. Okay, this is the best story so far. So do we choose number one, cut her free, or she's already kind of on fire, do we let her burn? 
I mean, is it really her that's bringing this this monster and whatever is happening? Like, probably not, right? It's well, like, I feel like the monster, like, but she does have the power to heal, as she said. But if, but if she does control the monster, yeah, let's say, oh. even if we save her, it still may be too late. But we may get a bonus, like maybe she's happy that we saved her. Yeah, well, we've been getting defense tokens for trying to save her, so I'm sure it's going to give us something nice to really save her. Yeah. Hopefully, or, hope it doesn't just say gain another defense token if you haven't gained one already. Hmm. But do you guys believe the people screaming? Is is she summoning the beast? If so, we should let her burn. All right, let's end this one. Thank you all for voting. <laughs> <laughs> Edward says, let's hope she can heal herself. <laughs> Cut her free. 86%. Well, okay. All of us are gain a redraw token. Yes. yes, 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 yes. Okay, the variety of tokens that we were talking about. Here's two for you. <laughs> well, we know Sacabra voted two, and obviously is in the chat yelling "Burn the Witch." So this all makes sense now. It's all coming together. <laughs> all right, where are we? Hello, mouse. <laughs> Something tremendous is pushing through the town. Buildings fall like reeds underfoot as a wave of destruction heads towards you. Rising smoke forms a trail towards the square. She collapses as you cut her free of her bonds and kick at the flames. She is badly blistered. Lysine smiles, her lips cracking. Guards leap up and seize each one of you from behind. You should have done that earlier. <coughs> She coughs harshly, taking heaving breaths. I, I could not stop the keening. I fear she is cut short by a shuddering of the earth. Too late, she gasps. The guards release you as there is a vast cracking sound. Up the street, you can see a massive shape snap a building in two. Whatever it is, it's heading for the square. Gain ally card nine, uh, who is Lysine. Hmm. Oh, combat ally, nice. Yes, yes, two yellows, three defense, okay. Got to move forward and an attack, that's basic. Blood lances, once per encounter, your attack becomes a cone at range three. After the attack, lose Ooh. three health. Ooh. Ooh. That's good if there's lots of minions and stuff. That's a good one to like pull her in to the fight. Just put that in her little bag bag of bag fun. Right here. That's cool. That's cool. Add Deepwood event card 26 to your Deepwood event deck. Oh, that's one of these, right? Yeah, yeah. One sec. Uh, no problem. What is it? 26. And city. Oh, I'll get city card 23. So just shuffle that into that pile, and then uh, I think you shuffle it in. I don't know if you just put it at the back, but I'm pretty sure you shuffle them in. That's the wrong way. There we go. Just don't flip it to the side. Yeah, wrong side. Okay. And then Deepwood 26. Okay. Right. felt like I've done this in other games before. I don't know what game I've done this similar exact thing. This feels weird. Do you need one of these? No. Nope. I, I got a couple over here. Oh, okay. I don't know why they're in there. We don't need to have nope, them there. I got to throw them right here. I got to throw them right here. Nope, that's where I put the extras. Oh. You just throw them in there one day and... Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> Lita Lysine Chandler. Yeah. We are breached. Grey Cane mutters, eyes downcast. He shakes his head and sets off at a run towards the broken oak. Over his shoulder, he shouts, Please, save those you can. You know as well as Grey Cane what this means. No town can survive a breach like this. That beast cannot be felled. The deep wood will flood into the town and everyone will be dead in a span of days. There is only one hope, to escape the doom of Bastone and reach Verum. Whoa, what the hell is all this? Oh, this is a big one, okay. You must escape Bastone. The beast is rampaging through the town and you must avoid it at all costs. 
as you escape, you need to find rations for your journey. Oh, here's that rations we were talking Track about. the amount of rations you have with a tracker token. And you may choose to take any refugees you meet with you to Vernum. Or Verum. 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 You do not have to take anyone, and you know that the larger the group moving through the deep wood, the more dangerous the deep wood becomes. Every person will be another mouth to feed on the long journey, but without the uh, without you they without you they sure are surely doomed. What the hell is going on? Okay, here? sorry. Can you scroll up one more? Okay, so escape. So escape. Okay, track them to the choke point. Okay, and then try to get as many people as we can. You may choose to take refugees to meet with you. But if we don't, they're dead. So anybody we leave behind, we're killing. But it makes it harder to move, supposedly, the more people we have. Okay. Because we'll have to feed them somehow with the rations. Which is interesting, because on the free people sh company sheet, there was something about rations and we didn't understand. I wonder if they stay with us. I have no idea, Forever. but I thought it was a typo. I don't know. Okay. Well... Okay. Well, Barreling towards a town square, the beast shoulders aside buildings and swallows men whole. It stops at an intersection and snorts, pawing the street with a front claw and easily tearing up the stone like a bull on a dirt path. An oily smoke oozes from the creature's neck that wreathes it in a dark cloud, the smoke seething like ink in water. Those unfortunate enough to be near it sees and claps in violent convulsions. Behind you, Lord Davenish bellows from his raised box, surrounded by a company of his house guard. To arms, men! For your lord and Bastone, slay the beast! Several men begin to charge, but many more falter at the sight of the thing. Something alights in its tremendous eyes. Massive rear legs force the storm-grey armoured hulk forward. In mere breaths, it is in the square. Davenish freezes in disbelief as the sun above him is blotted out and a claw the size of a merchant's cart descends on him. Where he stood is now merely a fine crimson mist. Without pausing, the terror of Bastone careens onwards. Place location tokens 10, 13, and 20. Place free company marker and any clue token on location... 14. Mm. Cool. So you place 10 on the palace. Now what else are you place, placing? 13. 13. Where did I find it? Uh, right here, the broken, the broken oak. oak. And 20 is stockade. Okay. Yeah. And then it says, place the free company marker and any clue token, which we don't have any clue tokens, nope. on location 14, which we are there. This clue token... Oh, place any clue token. So just grab a clue token. You know, the clue little one uh, over there in the white. Yeah. Oops. Okay, this clue token is the beast marker and represents the position of the beast as it moves through the city. Okay. Okay. The beast is barreling through the town square. It has come from the east, breaking through Bastone's outer wall and now curves off to its right. You must stay away from it in order to escape. You are positioned so that three paths are open to you. You're about to choose a location to go to. If you choose location 20, take the path B card before you go there. The beast is barreling through the town square. So... Yeah. Hmm. Is palace. Thirteen is broken oak, and twenty is the stockade. And path B was which one? It's all twenty. If we go twenty, we have to we switch 20. path B. All right, poll is in there. Go ahead and vote, and you guys can decide. Can you um, move the map for, or the app for one second? It did make a comment about the worm was going 
To the right. Well, he came from the east. Yeah, and then it said that he curved to the right. Oh, okay. So we're in the town square, location 14, with the beast. The beast is this amazing token they've chosen to use the beast. <laughs> and then we have the stockade 20, which is southeast from the town square. We have Broken Oak, which is straight west. Is that the inn? And then we have towards the palace. Now, I'm assuming we want to save people. I am assuming the people are in every place, but maybe... Do we want, want to save rich people? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. They'll have more that rations. That about okay, right? <laughs> <laughs> Burn the witch. Save the rich. I mean, if we're going... That way, we may want to go to the palace. So Edgar's talking about killing the refugees, not saving anyone. They're useless. They're not useless. Because you need something to throw behind you, like sausages, as you have the evil dogs chasing you, you know, in like the cartoons. You just have to be faster than the refugees and will survive. So we use them as like something to slow down the monster. So I feel like taking a few with us and then just kind of tripping one at a time as we need to get away. I think it's uh, that's the right way to do it. So Daniel does say the inn must have plenty of rations, but then Sakabri says rich people have more food. True. Yeah, Dragon saying that's what the joke I was trying to get to. Dragon was uh, Dragon saying they couldn't afford a miniature to represent the beast. Question? I know, right? Yeah, it's so weird. This game not having a miniature, it's so weird. I know. So weird, haha. -ha. <laughs> All right, so back to this. So let's go back to the text here. If this helps anybody, uh, where it was. Uh, So you're saying the beast is barreling through the town square. It has come from the east, breaking through bastions at a wall, now curves off to its right. So if it came from the east, it's curving off to its right, going towards the palace. Oh, I see, I see. It's curving to yeah. its right, not to yeah. the right. Bingo. Oh, so it's so going the to the, the palace. The beast broke through a wall on the east, and it's coming in. Now it's curving to the right to go towards the palace. So Do we need to go to the palace first to save the people that's, there? That's what it's before, getting at. Yeah. Yeah, so if we're we paying attention, we're trying to be good. We continue on path A, we go to the palace. I think it's the right play, like the right possibility. But if we want to make some dark choices, we could just go the opposite way in, in GTFO. But I feel like we should save a few people. Mm -hmm. But we only save people at all the places, but... Maybe not, because if it gets to the palace before we do, we can't save anybody. Right. But maybe it'll do like a loop around. Maybe it's like it'll go 10, 13, and 20, you know? And if we're going to the right places before it, that will help us, um, you know? But that also will take more rations. So I don't know. I bet if we skip it and go path B, it's like we don't care about anyone. And we're just saying goodbye to everyone, and we kind of just leave and, and get out of here. That's yeah, what I would get. Yeah, we're just for ourselves. Which the, yeah, and then That's we're on a different path. So let's close the poll based well, on that. Yeah, let's see what you guys chose. And uh, we'll go with the majority. But I would pick the palace. Oh, the, it's Broken Oak won oh. with 41%. Palace was second with 32 And Stockade was 25 Interesting. Okay. It's spread there. Broken Oak, okay. 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 Uh, well, I mean, 13. 13. Yep. Grey Cane appears from a side alley with a bundle of leather bone papers under his arm. A welcome sight, Greycane calls as you make your way to the Broken Oak. Bram is inside. Help me. Running inside, innkeeper Bram is found standing on a table. He is surrounded by patrons like some drunken preacher with his congregation. Let's go, folks. It's on the house, Bram shouts. Pour a mug and drink, you lass. You can't take it with you. Let's go to the Oak. The patrons shout toasts of death and drink. Most of the drink pouring wildly over their faces. Bram raises his mug and loses his footing, crashing to the floor as the table tips. Help me get him up, Greycane says, lifting Bram to his feet. He's a bit overwhelmed. Bram gurgles. And I thought I was drunk. Greycane mumbles as he works to hoist him up. These people will surely die if they stay. <laughs> so we we went to this place and we're gonna just save drunk people. This is gonna be a pain. Trying to make drunk people do what we want them to do. Well, we now know the type of people in our chat and what their priorities are. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, maybe we can just like leave one or two for the. All right, I put, I put another poll in the live chat. Feel free to decide whether we try to persuade them to come with you or leave them to their drink. 
But I like Dragon's thinking. He says, drunk people are better bait. Gets the beast intoxicated as we like, you know, as he eats them. Yeah. So maybe we leave them to be eaten or we bring them with us. And then we kind of like drop them as we go. Yeah, like a few stragglers here and there. I don't know if that we'll get that choice though. Hmm. Uh, storybook. Look oh, had the art of the beast. Well, let's go. There. I didn't even like open it. I haven't opened it in a long time. Oh, sorry. Anyway. Keening. Oh, that's the same art we saw in the app. Oh, oh, no way. Yeah, there is. Um, how do I do this without? Okay, ready? Trying to hide the text. So this is in chapter three in the storybook. Whoa, this is what's coming at us, eh? That is freaking amazing if that's the case. It looks like a dinosaur or a dragon. That is sick. Bookstore, thanks. Yeah, I don't know if we're supposed to show that yet or what, but I don't know. Lokator wants to spoil stuff here, so <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> Burn him! Okay. Alicia says, nothing stronger than a citizen militia protecting their home. That's true. That's true. If they don't want to die either. All right, let's close the poll and see what the chat wants to do. 70% uh, voted one. Try to persuade them to come with you. Commanding the patrons to listen to you. You try to get them off the stools to rally to you. Perform a reasoning check. Difficulty three. If you succeed, gain ally cards seven and eight. Gray, Kane, and Bram. In addition, the Patreons decide they want to come with you as refugees on the time track. Replace location 13 with a time token. Oh, there's only if we succeed, I think. Okay. Oh, in addition. Yeah. So oh, if we let's succeed. Just, let's, let's just do the succeed. check. Okay. Do we want to do cards or dice? Difficulty three. And hello, Dale. Dale says, awesome art. Looks like you're about to meet your doom. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, okay. Cards or dice, and how many? Um, difficulty three. And it is a reasoning check, which we don't have any bonus according to our sheet, which I'm yeah. starting to think maybe that's the kind of thing we need to take for our free company bonuses in the future. Yeah, we do have a reroll, so. Oh, whoops. Uh, cards or dice? What do you think? I don't know. The deck's full. Like, it's all the same. I know, it's all the same right now. Any suggestions in the chat? Cards or dice? My gut and, would and, say and, three. And, and or the amount? Yeah, or, or, and or a mix. Or a mix, like whatever you guys want. Any suggestions? Any suggestions? <laughs> and no, Jack, we've not paid to get rid of an injury yet. Yes, we did. Not in this chapter, no. Oh, not in this chapter, no. In yeah. last chapter. Which I probably wouldn't yet. Uh, his, his is not too bad. He doesn't even have a no, weapon, so I, I mean... It's well, fine. that's the thing, what I was getting to. <laughs> I don't want to spend any money on anything but equipment right now because yeah. we're not full of equipment. Like, I need armor for the um, archer, unless we have some in our backpack, but I don't think we do. We just have, um, no, the archer can't hold that. Yeah, so... Yeah, the archer yeah. can't hold that and the priest can't hold these, so we're kind of lacking on items yeah. uh yogi it is three to pass jack says dice of course kevin says cards Addie says four cards greg cards cards four of anything three dice four you think to get three eh okay yogi's saying a runner to the banksmith which has nothing to do with anything uh three <laughs> crits easy well we could send Yo a runner Yogi's already like ahead he's already like trying to plan out what we do against the boss in this one like we could send a runner though to slow down yogi to buy us a weapon, we just have to pay something. Yeah, but I'm not worried about that right now. Okay. Yeah, you gotta pay as much as the chapter, so that's three more money down the toilet. Which I don't even know, we have one, two, three... I... That's what I'm saying, so three why are we talking about getting rid of injuries? We only have nine total. In, in spending on runners when we don't even have enough equipment yet. Yeah, maybe we'll just win something or get yeah, something. We'll see, we'll see. We'll find, maybe they'll have some weapons in the, in the kitchen. Matthew says use pogs. Okay, I'm down. we'll, we'll go find them in the attic. Plus out a game of pogs, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In my time capsule in the backyard. <laughs> Let me go grab those for you. Get out of here, Matthew. Get out of here. Uh, okay. Uh, um, what do you want to do? I, I, I what see do, they say four of anything. Why don't we do two and two? No, I don't know. You decide. I have no idea. Because I would have said three, but they're saying four. Uh, uh, four dice. Four, do dice? four dice. Yeah. Okay. We have. We do have rerolls. So. 
three, not four? I would say three, two, but I worry. All right, ready? <gasps> we got it. And we have a uh, crit, but it doesn't matter. Okay, look at that. Again, good start. Not even stressing. Okay. Not even stressing. Okay, so that's good. I like that dice cam you have there. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so if you succeed, gain ally cards seven and eight. Yeah. Yeah, let, let, let's not get too excited because those rolls are not going to stick. Oh, look at this dude. Never trust a man with a mustache. Uh, <laughs> not... <laughs> not trusting this guy. Combat ally? Sure, great. Okay, yeah, yeah, we don't even care about these ones. It probably helps for the story. Yeah. At some point. Or are these people that we can throw into the monster's mouth to run further? We'll see. Maybe. And Bram the innkeeper. Mm, okay. More meat shields, yep. Meat shields it is. Yep. Got a whole deck of them. Okay, in addition, the patrons decide they want to come with you as refugees on the time track. Replace token 13 with a time token. Oh, on the time track on here. Yep, so replace token 13 with a time token. Done. And gain location token 13. Place it in front of you. Okay, we'll And then gain it... two rations, which let's We're just... just using... Oh, well, you want to use dice? Yeah, I here. don't have. Let's do rations with... Um... I don't know, it's just a black die, I guess. So okay, we, so get we have two, two rations, rations, and we have time token 13, so we saved 13. Okay. Uh, remember to track the amount of rations you have with a tracker token. Okay, sure. How many patrons did we save? We don't you even know. You retrieve your travel rations from your room. Gain two rations. Oh. Move the beast marker, don't do it yet, to location 10 and remove the location tokens 10 and 20 if they are still in the city map. Okay. Okay. So move the beast to 10. Yeah. So obviously, like I told you, the 20. palace is where we need to go. Yeah. We, we chose not to save them. That's okay. So we just let some people die. Um, and remove 10 and 20. Yep. Done. Okay. So we lost those as options. Now place tokens 5, 12, and 19. Okay. Five is somewhere up Which, here. Yeah, it'll probably be on the same path. This the is his barracks, new... the blacksmith. Twelve was one. And the market. Yep. So, banksmith. Banksmith. Sorry, not market blacksmith. and barracks. So obviously it's at the palace. So this monster is going to spread one of three ways. Okay, let's hear the story. You see a cloud of dust rise from the palace. Time to move. Hmm. And that's all we know. That's we all have, we know. We have no idea which way it's going, right? Interesting. Oh, barracks might have gear. I like where you're thinking. Oh, but, barracks could have beer. The market's gonna have rations if we need. If if rations are a thing. Well, where where does this beast want to go? Does it is it is it want to go to the banksmith to do some transactions? Is it go to the market <laughs> to eat? Is it it's going for? Is it going out for lunch? You know, is it on its way to barracks to just like stock up on some uh, items? You know, like uh, some weapons. I don't know. Um. Uh, what is it? Uh, five is barracks. Twelve is market. And nineteen is banksmith. I always want to call it blacksmith. I know, me too. Because I've never heard of a banksmith. I've never until either. This game. <laughs> so it just doesn't stick but in I'm my sure head. I'm sure something. Okay. okay, the poll is in the live chat. Go Do ahead. Do you want to vote. remove the app for a second, and we can kind of yeah, talk yeah. through? So he is here, the beast. We are here at the broken oak. I mean, closest to the palace is probably one of these two. So. Hmm. The banksmith might just be there if we want to go shop and purchase. Might have nothing to do with where he's going. But Very I, true. I bet it's going towards the market. I think it's going towards the barracks, but. Uh, oh, maybe trying to just get through, get the, through town the town and get out and break the wall. Yeah, because it came in through the east, right? And this would be the way out. But, I mean, this also it, could yeah, be a way out, yeah, right? Because that, that's where, like, the tower tower is. You know what I bet? I bet it's going to the market, and then our next options are going to be, like, 18, 11, and 9. Yeah. Like, where it's going out kind of thing. Or 21, even. No. Because sometimes they're, You're like, a couple away. away. No, then if it goes 18, then it's 20 and 22, or 21 and 22. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think it's the last stop, right? It's, no. There's going to be another one at least. If I was to guess. Oh, Toby's here. Hey, Toby. Hi, Toby. How's it going? This is a fun one. Okay. You, you arrived just in time. Yeah. Help us 
avoid the or save some people or find the monster. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna close the poll. Thank you all that voted. Oh, 59% say the market. Okay, we're going for the ration. Let's do it. That is location 12. The market is filled with looters knocking over carts and stalls, climbing over each other <laughs> as they grab what food and weapons they can before fleeing to the main gate. You know you will also need rations in the deep wood. You see an overturned grocery cart with a dozen people swarming it. You also see a tinker's stall with a man beneath it. It still has a few iron items left on top. Okay, uh, before we adjust the board and fix the time track, let's just put the pole in there. Uh, so do we want food, weapons, or refrain from looting? I don't know. I put it in the chat. Uh, you guys can decide. Do we go for the food? Do we go for the iron to get some money? I would pick iron because I think we have enough rations right now. I don't necessarily even think it's wep or um, money. It may be items. No, in this game, iron is money. Oh. It's like it's saying gold. Okay. But they just want to be more hardcore, so they said iron in this game. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> gold is bright and colorful and pretty. Iron is dark and gritty. <laughs> like the theme of this game. Or refrain from looting and be good citizens. Okay, so in the meantime, we move to the market. Oh, yeah, sorry. They voted, right? Yep, they voted the market. So that's I went to 12. That goes on the time track. That's why the app's telling us we're at time three. Okay. And you guys can vote in the live chat. Pick your option. Again, the options are one, go for the food. Two, go for the iron. Three, refrain from looting. I really hope nobody votes for that because that just seems like it would be a waste of time. I feel like refraining from looting gets us something like a combat token or something nice well, for, we for being back good. And watched. Yeah. We didn't stop the looting. True. We just stood there and let everyone else do it and take food for themselves. Food we is probably just more rations, which we have four of. I don't know the ideal number, but if we take more people, we're going to need more rations. Yeah, the more the better, I think. And then iron, I want to buy some, some pretty items, I'm sure, at some point. Yeah, this priest needs a weapon. But we did not go to the banksmith yet, so will we even get a chance to? I don't know. And if we don't, we'll have to do that stupid um, praying to the gods or whatever to mark off knockouts to go uh, buy items or whatever. I think this priest would be okay without without a weapon, just using white dice or cards. It's fine because he's not like a heavy, heavy hitter anyways. And we only have, uh, it looks like on the time track here, we only have one bef one more we can place before we lose out on gaining a defense token at the end of the story. And if we place three more, we lose out on our extra unique item at the end, which I really want the extra unique item. But I'm not going to be mad about a defense token, though, if we get it. All right, let's close the poll on this one and see. <laughs> Bob says, refrain from looting. Do these people know what channel they're on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, aren't we called the Holy Hoarders? Yeah, that's our name of our party. Yeah, the free company. All right. Okay, so 42% said option two, go for the iron. There are some items on the table, but they are of little use. What would you do with a horseshoe? Put it on Eyes my butt. gazing at the body beneath the table. You see it is clutching something, a chest hidden beneath the mass. You roll the body away and find it opens. There are some valuable items inside. Oh, please give us items and not money. Yes. 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 Okay. Too great randomly. choice, everyone. Great choice. Yes. You greedy <laughs> buggers. I love it. Yes. All right. Uh, Please give us something that the priest can hold. <laughs> yeah, it's random from a deck of like 15 things or something. Worst case, I guess he could take the one that the exile has. All right. Good choice. See, we didn't need to send a runner, guys. You keep saying send a runner. Well, no, we might get junk that we can't even equip. So yeah, we'll need some, we'll, we'll, we'll need see. equipment we'll though. See. But at least we can sell this stuff for two iron each to buy. Or lose it if we have Three, to lose it. Three, I iron. think. No, it's just half rounded up when you sell stuff Oh, back. yes, yes, not after. Yep. Nice try, Mel. Sorry. All right. First item of goodies is a spite club that the war bear can use, the exile or the priest. Night. Priest needs something, so that's good. And you hold on. When you critical during an attack that hits, add one damage and one knockback to the attack. 
cooldown for three. And a good old walking stick that can be used by the priest. Uh, which he already has that, right? Or he used, he, he somebody used did. to, but it, somebody did. I got broken, I think. Oh, okay. So we have another one just in case, which gives two yellows, uses the ability with the range keyword, add to range the ability, which could help him heal at further range or whatever. Yes. If we want to do that. So those are our two random items. Not armor for the ranger that I was hoping for. Okay. Um, so I mean, I would throw those in our backpack, okay. I guess. Yeah, because I guess I don't have to equip until later, right? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. We worry about that before the encounter. You hear screaming. The creature is trampling the barracks as you run for the banksmiths. Yes, let's yes. run for the banksmiths. Okay. Move the beast marker to location 5, remove location 5. If it is still on the city map, go to location 19. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay so remove 5. So it went to the barracks. Went to the barracks. Not to the market. And then it said go to location 19? Yep, so put 19 on our time track. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh oh. We didn't get any rations there. I guess we just got the items, which well, is Well, we fine. didn't pick the food. No, I know, but in the other one, we got rations twice. I know, but... Like, come on, Mel. Like, what it do you didn't expect? say we got any people Thanks, either. Thanks, Captain Obvious. You hear screaming. The no, creature. stop playing the sounds every time <laughs> I click out of an instruction box. Okay. Um, so now we have a... What? Oh, sorry. Oh, and go to 19. So I think you just... Oh, why do we have options? Barracks as you run. Okay, location oh. 19. The bank sent. If you have ga Gamble Ally card... Oh, here we go. I guess I can... What else do we got well, here? Lysine, Grey Cane, Bram, Midge... Oh, we do. Gamble. Yep, those are all our Gamble. allies. Okay. If you have the Forge Breaker keyword, no, we don't. Uh, if you, if Gamble is not in your party, okay, okay. So we click Gamble, obviously. Looks like my selling days are over. Gamble pants as you go up to his shop. The door is shattered, as it is clear the townspeople have scoured the place, trying to arm themselves. Let's see what's left. I'm sure they didn't get through every lock. Reveal all cards from the Chapter 3 Common Item deck. Each Oathsworn gains any one item. Whoa. Yes, my fears have been calmed. Okay, it knew we lost a lot of Shuffle stuff. Shuffle deck afterwards. Uh, yes. Okay, this is awesome. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm loving this now. And then it's going to make us, like, lose a whole bunch of items on our next decision. <laughs> okay, well, there's a whole whack ton of items here. And we can each gain... We can each gain one. So four items? I guess you could look at the things that we cannot even hold. And uh, just... Let's just look for fun, because uh, we nobody has gear, right? Nope. So everyone has an open gear slot. That's one thing we've never brought into battle yet. Um, so we can bring in some gear, possibly. This has a three cooldown. Cost zero uh, animus. If you have moved at least four hexes this turn, gain a defense token. And then tighten the belt and spank the enemy over the hind. Over its hind, behind, while well, it's over your knees. Uh, yeah, okay. Some mead gear, which you can just gain on Animus for three cooldown. Okay. I, that's, I like that, because sometimes you're just one short from getting like a second attack off or escaping out of the enemy's reach. Okay, here's armor anyone can wear. Some aged cloth robe, two defense. If there's no adjacent old sworn, Gain two Animus, one if you're a companion. That's not bad for your Ranger. That's good for the Ranger. I like this one so far. Put it to the side. Yeah, let's just put this here as possible Ranger gear. Or, or, <laughs> oh yeah. Reflex Bow, finally. Red die, range four. When you attack, spend any amount to add two range is the same as the other one, but it's a red die, so pretty cool. I definitely would like to upgrade the Ranger's Bow. And as a companion, add four range to an attack. Well, it already... Oh, yeah, once per thing. Yeah, yeah that's interesting. If Which you really need I... to shoot across. And I don't think she has those abilities, like, long, the way I was adding all that stuff. So, yeah, I, I would okay. only get, like, one time in the whole mission to do a long shot with her. Could be a finishing blow. Not a bad idea. Okay, the Shiv, we've seen this before. Uh, yellow die. This can't be used by anyone we have. Dreamcatcher gear. So it could interrupt before, before damage is drawn, so before the cards are flipped. If you're adjacent to an Oathsworn, 
gain one defense against that damage. Goes to two cooldown. I mean, that is great for somebody who just could take a random, like, bad hit at a certain time and who plays lots of two cooldown cards and one cooldown cards to get them back. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have, like, repeatable defense when things are really bad, when you're like, oh, no, I just got surram surrounded by a bunch of rat minions, you know, and you're like, this is going to be a huge attack. And then you have this as kind of, like, backup. Because yeah, this, this is an addition to your defense card, I think, right? Yeah. So. Hey, there's another bow in there, another shiv. Uh, the pickaxe. When you critical during any attack that hits, draw two additional cards rather than one. Um, this can be held by the exile and the war bear. But the war bear has an axe right now. I'm good. Is it one handed or two? Uh, I have a two handed axe that rolls a red. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, some of these might be future purchases or like to get for the future if we lose anything. The falchion, one handed sword. Uh, yellow cube, you can interrupt after damage is drawn against you, so you see the damage, you can gain one defense against it. This goes to three cooldown. This can be held by the exile. So when the exile gets like a really bad attack or something, you can, you know, after you see it's all bad, you can throw this in. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another one of these robes. Oh, there is some other armor. Uh, oh, the ranger can use this one also. Battle flow one card. Or if you're a companion, after damage is drawn against you, you can gain one defense against the attack. This goes to two cooldown. Mm -hmm. um, here's some more gear. Amber stones. If there are no enemies adjacent, battle flow one card once. If you're a companion, you can flip this to move two. And the heirloom, which I think is the yeah, same sword the that sword. you have already. Yeah. So. I don't know what we're all taking here, but like... I think for me, I would love to take a, we a weapon for my priest. Like, I can say that the bear takes, uh, like, the bow for now, right? He takes this. This guy takes this, so she has some armor. We can trade and switch, whatever. Now, for your two old sworn, sorry, here, you can no, that's look okay. through I it and you pick two. I just wanted to take one of the weapons that the priest could hold, if there was one. And I want to take some gear. Well, the priest can't hold any of these items, so he could. He could. What? He can't hold any of these. Like weapons? Yeah. Oh no! Do I have one? He but can? he's got one here that he can hold. Like he's got these he can hold that yeah, are in our so backpack. So I'm go. just gonna take something that I can so we'll have for the. That. I don't know, we'll sleep. No, yeah, but I'm gonna take something I can have for the future. For the, I think I'll take this one as his, but I'll put it in my backpack. Well, I would rather you take gear. If you're just taking something to sit in the backpack... Let's yeah, but it's going to sit in the backpack, so when he dies, or when he loses an item, he has the same item for the next but one. But let's take gear that we can use right now to make sure we win the battle and don't lose two items each? I'm I don't, gonna, I I'm don't gonna think, heavily I say, don't think that's a smart idea. Why not? We get a, we Because look what happened, we, that now we're like struggling that we don't have enough... We're not struggling. If we didn't have this luck right now... That we, we would have had money to spend at the banksmith and just bought a couple of these things that we needed. We wouldn't just... We wouldn't buy the bow... We would easily be able to afford two or three items, and think... we would have been able to send a runner still. I, I don't think we worry like that, Mel. I literally think we take some gear, and we can lose the gear instead of the weapons that you're picking. So grab the gear. I think you're not thinking about this correctly. I am. I'm I going to fight you on it. Yeah, I am. I, I think I think that I think I'm being cur... dumb. Okay, I, but I don't agree some... with your play okay. here. So sitting something in the backpack. Why? You just told me sitting in the backpack is so when you lose your sword, you have another sword to equip. Yes. Wouldn't you rather just lose that gear no, that you actually it, got to use? Think about it. Maybe getting one extra... You're like, you're going in with less equipment to increase your odds of losing the scenario because you have less abilities, less items. No, I don't think... I don't could think, lead to losing your armor and your sword. I don't think these gears are huge enough that they're going to make or break this scenario. And then we have to then spend the money to purchase an item, which we are instead of... But we of, could just lose the gear at the end and we don't have to purchase any items. Okay. You get it? I get it, but I I don't know. And that even I... if you get if we even if you get knocked out, you just lose this and like your weapon or your armor, whatever is like cheapest and worst. And then you only have one thing to replace still instead of two. I don't think you understand the value of it shielding you from losing more important things. I, I understand, but I'm I just think I'm thinking in a different way than you are. Oh, Jack says fifteen chapters in, I would say Mel is right. 
Okay. But they might just be agreeing with me and not seeing the way that you're thinking. Yeah, I'm more worried about the current scenario and losing less. So I want every advantage right now. And the advantage of having loot to throw away that I'd rather throw away. Like, if I just lose some gear, I'm okay if I keep my bow. But if I'm forced to, like, lose my bow because I got knocked out of my ranger and I'm having trouble finding a new bow, uh-oh. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But useless. if there's a bow already in your backpack that you've prepared from another... There isn't, though. But there could be if I take one right now. But, no, like, why? I'm saying, for the, for the characters that can equip, equip. Mm -hmm. But he can't equip anything because it's already in the backpack. So he's just picking from one of these... Yeah, so grab some gear. That's what I think. They all do awesome stuff, like gaining on uh, an animus to help you do like two attacks at once when you're in a perfect position to maybe finish off the boss or break a die before it does its next card. Like, you know, uh, we want it to break its die, you know what I mean? And we just, oh, if we only had one more animus to make that extra attack. How many times have we said that in the last three times we played the game? Okay. I don't know. But in our backpack, a weapon's not going to help you in that situation. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm going to say, Jack, I would rather do it my own way. But, uh, I mean, I appreciate your tip, but I think. That's I don't fine. know. We'll go with that. I don't know. Um, I, I see what you're saying, but it's oop. like. And then he's a companion. But I, I like Oops. So, I should... like, let's say this guy has this, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's say this guy has this. Oops. So he, he gets this gear, right? He goes in. So just for example, this guy goes in with this. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the scenario, he is alive. And he has to lose one thing he used in the scenario. What would you lose? Yeah, of course I would lose that. Okay. Let's say he got knocked out during the scenario. Then what would you lose? I think it would depend on... Pick. Just pick right now. You're forced. Okay, you'd lose his sword. Yeah, because I would need defense so he stays alive. Because with you don't need a sword. Like I could still attack unarmed. Yeah, okay, perfect. So then you would lose these two, right? Mm -hmm. So you're saying the armor is super important then, right? Why are you storing a sword in here for later then? Why wouldn't you store armor then? Because a sword, I'm, this is why I'm gonna keep, logic is Because I'm going to keep bad. this and I'm not going to have a sword. Okay, so right now you so don't I, have this gear. And you're, you're just, you're alive at the end. What do you lose? The sword, okay? You're knocked out. You're forced to lose both. Yeah, then I'm forced. Which situation would you rather be in? Would you rather have this sitting here or not sitting there? Well, that's assuming that I'm going to be knocked out. Even not knocked out, you pick this to lose first. Of course, if I have this situation, I'm, I'm going to do this. So let's make but if it I don't, if I don't, then I lose this, and then I take the one that I've already stored in my backpack, and it's just like an even. But switch. what if you're completely knocked out? Then you got to lose both. Yeah, sure. That's, then we're in a really bad then situation. Then I then I only need to buy a. But you said we won't be able to buy because that's why you're trying to store stuff in the backpack. I'm just thinking. I I'm just thinking about storing things for the future because <laughs> I just saw what happened here where. We, right. When we started today's Here, chapter... Here's the thing. I won't pick armor for my ranger. She'll go in ready to be one shot. I won't pick this bow. I'll pick two gear for fun. No, you can you store weapons. Exactly. But I'm so I want to protect them with gear. What is this? Protect them! Oh, that you already put yeah. in. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. And you also have to play like we're not going to play another one after this. You know, you always have to play like let's win today because if we win, we lose less maybe. And we have stuff to sell. Yeah. I don't know. You can't, even though Jack's coming in and like, yeah, I've played 15 scenarios. This is how you should play the game. I'm, I vary that bugs, always rubs me the wrong way. No, but when, that's not what he's saying. He's no, saying that he's agreeing with the way that I, what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's still saying based on his playthrough, this is how you should play. Like he's hinting at that. This is the way, the right way to play. And he would agree with your way. But I like to argue it's like, we don't know that for sure. Uh, because you didn't pick both options. I'm assuming, Jack, you haven't played through twice. Oh, and he's saying I didn't mean it like that. No, I know, I know, yeah. I know, Jack. But just in example, when somebody says, like, I think based on my play you should choose this, or I vote for this way, it's like you didn't see the other side to know how it, how it goes. So I, w I want to test the other way. So this is cool. So Jack says he played one way, and he thinks to go this way. Mm -hmm. Now let's see what happens if we go my way. Or the way of going the gear way. The equipping all your equipment slots. I don't know. I played enough video games and board games that it's like, I don't like leaving empty slots open going into a battle if I can fill them with something. Especially in a game that likes to delete slots after the battle 100%. I'd rather put something junky in there to be deleted. Sure, sure. It's giving us free stuff right now. I'd rather the free stuff not collect dust in a backpack. I'd rather it be in use. Even if the in use is not as powerful in a, some scenario, three scenarios from now, when you want to pull that out of the backpack. 
we may never need what you're putting in the backpack. You may just hold it and then sell it because we start getting more powerful stuff. Sure, that is, we never know. We yeah. never know. Exactly. So I'm, I'm more in the right now. I want to win now. So I'm on every advantage right now, not a bigger filled backpack. That doesn't help us now. We do, at least I think. This is how I'm thinking. All right. Matthew's asking, do you want the leather armor instead of the cloth armor for your ranger? I don't. Because I think it was a three versus a two. No, I think they were both twos. Um, but the, yeah, they're both twos. But I like the ability, I think, on the other one, right? Oh, I thought there was one that was three. No, that, if there was, I would have went right for it. I'm pretty sure there wasn't. Yeah, it's all, they're all twos. Um, like, battle flowing a card is, is great, but it's a companion. I'm using a companion on the ranger right now, so I'm only looking at this. Which, yes, could keep the ranger alive. That's probably the safer play. But, oh man, getting one with a companion on a turn means I can, like, attack twice and move in a turn. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or attack three times with the ranger who's at range, who can probably shoot three times, like, when we really need to, like, finish the enemy off or something and go for the killing blow. That's what I'm thinking. Or if I miss an attack and I'm like, I need another one, because, like, we have to hit it now to get this stupid card sitting on top of the enemy's deck so we can go to, like, tier three or something, you know? This is the way I'm thinking. I very much value the stamina bar. Thank you to the folks over at From Software for teaching me to value the stamina bar. Do you have one more um, sleeve? Uh, yeah, oh, many I can actually, sleeves. No, I can take it off of this, No, actually. please don't. I have many sleeves. Many, many sleeves right here for you. One sleeve for you. Yep. Okay, so what are we doing? Uh, I want some armor for my ranger. Mm -hmm. I want to get this improved bow. And we can put this in the backpack and sell it or whatever later. Uh, well, I'll take the sleeve off that one, actually. Yeah, yeah, might as well. It's going in the backpack. Probably never to be used again. That's what I would vote. But mm -hmm. uh, I'm being selfish for the ranger who was short armor. And then I see this juicy bow, which I've been looking for a better bow. If we were to go with gear. Well, I already took two of them. Oh, you did? I didn't yeah. even see that. You took the mead. Yeah, it's which a game, I think is awesome. one, Animus. And then for him, because it's the companion, I just took the move two. Move two. Uh, okay, yeah, he's he's not usually like adjacent to other Oathsworn, no, right? So, no. But I would vote for something that would save his life. But does he still move a lot? He, I remember how many times he got say. by himself and he was like getting, you know. But then he doesn't move. Like once he gets adjacent to the enemy, if the enemy doesn't move or only moves like a little distance, then you know, he doesn't move as much. So he can move up to four. Okay, don't worry about it then, yeah. I, I don't know. know. So that's why I just picked the move two as just additional if I need to. Because potentially I could use that once to get closer if I need. Okay. Uh, Bob, no. We learned not to ask Toby uh, what he thinks because Toby is amazing at sculpting, but Toby's maybe not the best at playing the game or remembering the correct rules. <laughs> Burn! Gotcha. Got him. Uh, okay, so uh, oh, we do love Toby. Toby, I love you. I'm just joking. Just trolling. Just trolling. Uh, okay. Uh, common items. Shuffle them up. Yeah. Plus, also, there is the, uh, I am also playing this game, and these first three episodes are to show different stuff off. I wish we could have already switched characters, but the best I can do is now we're playing full war bear, companion ranger, companion exile, full priest. Yes. Just to show the switching, and last episode we showed the instant action mode. I want to try different stuff and experience the game. I don't know if we'll ever play through all of it. I'm just trying to show this game off to people who might be interested later to backing the future Kickstarter or picking up the game. This is more of an information session. After this, I, I don't we'll see. We'll see where it goes. But uh, I also have never tried gear. So I'm in also that curiosity mode of let's try gear. Let's equip gear and see what it's about. It's finally giving us gear and it's slowly peeling back the layers, you know? So that I want to do that because it's like it's a thing we've not done yet. So it's more interesting than just saying, let's put some weapons in a backpack. All right. So my ranger is now four. Can I get a four uh, token up there? My four defense on my ranger. Two yellow tokens. And a red die now. A red, can I get a red cube? Please. Mm -hmm. Red might cube on the ranger, which is juicy. 
Okay. Um, yellow. But I love these decisions. I love these decisions. <laughs> yes, Toby, not the prototype rule books. You need to keep the latest rule book nearby. No, I played tested games before. I know how hard it is to keep like final rules and and play tested rules and stuff in your head straight. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't envy anyone who does that stuff anymore. Um. All right. Reveal all cards from Chapter Three Common Item Deck. Each old storm gains one, and we did that already. Which was that, that instructions was, yeah. continue? Outside, you look down the street. In the distance, you can see the broken oak for the briefest moment before it explodes in a shower of timber and stone. The beast's head emerges from the wreckage and turns down the street towards you. The main gate is not far off, and you hear a great clamor of voices from that direction. Perform a reasoning check at difficulty five. Yeah. Difficulty five. Five white dice? Yeah, I mean, two, three, four, five. Alicia has, okay, silly question, is this available? Or do you have to wait for another Kickstarter launch? Uh, backers are still receiving it from the first Kickstarter from like 2019 or 2020 or whatever. Um, and the next one is happening in two to three months, supposedly. And then after that, it's going to take about six to seven months for delivery is like the current estimate that Toby was saying last time. About two months now, Toby's saying, yeah. So um, you can get yourself on an email list. Go to like Shadowborn Games website and you can put yourself on an email list and you'll be like the first to know uh, when the campaign comes out so you don't miss it which I may have linked in the video description, but probably not. I don't remember. I know you did in the first few. Yeah, I can't remember. But anyways, easy to Google. All right, we're going with five dice. Uh, yeah, Bob's saying five dice. I I think so, yeah. I don't trust dice, but whatever. You want to go to your cool dice? Game? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get down close to the field. Well, oh. you could not. Well, we'd have to spend a lot of reroll tokens. You think this is bad? I don't know. We got to fail some checks. It's an RPG-like game. You have to fail. You can't pass everything. Okay. And I want rerolls for battles. And, yeah, you're right. And winning okay. fights and not dying. So. Okay. We fail. You must move fast. Move the beast marker to location 13 or move all locations from the map. Place tokens 22 and 24. Uh, 22. Why'd you move us to 13? Oh, sorry. The beast. Beast goes, he's coming back to the broken He doesn't oak. have a mini. Eat some people at the inn. Okay. 22 and 24. 22 is the main gate. Did you remove all other locations? There was buttons? no more. Oh, okay. Yeah, there was no more. Oh, 22 and, 24. and 24. Sorry. So you put the main gate and the burrows. Yep. You must move fast. Stop. You must move fast. Oh, I see. <laughs> I clicked it after it already finished. It was a short one. Okay. All right. Whoops. Oh. Come on. 22 is... 22 is the main gate. And 24... It's the burrows. Hmm. So, tw oh, sorry. Interesting. Do we think that the so beast is going to go back I, through the I, town? I, I, I feel, feel like, like the, the beast is heading to the gate. I, I, no, I feel like the main gate is we want to just leave and leave him to eat everybody and we're good. Or okay. if we want to keep trying to stay in the town, saving people, and take longer. Well, there is a there is a thing here that uh, we're going to cover up. It, once we go somewhere, we're going to cover up the gain a token. But there is still the extra unique item. I know, that's what I want. Like, but... if we go to the main gate and that does end this for us, we could get an item from it. But do you think four rations is enough? We could get... I don't think we're getting rations at the main gate. Unless they have some snacks. Do 
All right, let's close the poll and see where we're going. Sixty percent say twenty to the main gate. So All move right. us there and us remove there. the token. Covering up the gain of token. Twenty two main gate. GTFO. At a dead run, you turn a corner onto the thoroughfare that leads to the main gate and crash into a mass of bodies. A sea of people spreads out before you toward the main gate, many clutching belongings, screaming and shouting. There are people being trampled as waves of panic roll over the crowd. Behind you, the doom of Bastone crashes through a building. Bodies are flung carelessly aside, tossed by twitches of the beast's neck. The strange curling smoke that presses from its neck fills the packed street as you look for any direction you can. Move the beast to location marker 22. Oh, that's where we are. Each Oathsworn performs a survival check, difficulty 5. Each Oathsworn that failed the survival check loses one hit point as they take in a gulp of the noxious cloud before climbing to a nearby rooftop to escape. All right, so each one survival 5. I'll do the ranger cards. 1, 2, 3, 4... Four. Blank two one one. Okay. Pulling into a one. Survive Got for the it. ranger. All nice, right. Nice pull. Okay. So based on that, for the bear, I want to roll dice. Actually, I'm gonna play. pull. No, I'm gonna roll five dice. Five dice. Oh, got it. Oh, I feel like I need to... I'm hot today. I need to roll dice, too. Okay, so this will be my exile, but I feel like... Sure, let's try five dice. This is the exile. Not so hot. He's going to lose... <laughs> He's going to lose one HP. All right, we're going to go with the priest. Also going to roll five dice. We got, got it. it. Got it. Okay, so just the exile failed that survival check and got a little hurt. Not bad, not bad. It's okay. Not bad at all. At a dead run, you turn no, a no, corner. No, 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 no. Okay, so now we have to go to location 24. Oh, we have to? Yep. Take okay. a time token. So we just lost our extra unique yep. item. And that doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, well. Not happy about that. But okay. Uh, 24 the barrows instructions. Move the beast marker to location 19, remove location token 22 if it's still on the city map. He's moving back? I don't know. Are we just, did we do something wrong here? You have location 22 removed if it's still on the map? Yeah, we just did 22. That's weird. Families cower in the darkened doorways of the burrows as you hear the banksmith shatter in a cacophony of iron and stone. The thing will be headed this way soon. We do have Midge. We do. Midge breaks from your side and runs to move a beam that is blocking the entrance to a small terraced building. People's faces can be seen within the houses. This is my street. Can you help them? He calls back to you. I might know another way out. Take them with you and I'll show you. Do you stop to help the people or do you keep moving? Place 20 and 25. 20 was already gone. I feel like something is wrong here. Nope, place 20 and 25. Okay. Like Remember, already... the, the monster can move in circles. He's not picking only fresh locations. I know, but it already blew up the stockade. No, it did it not. It told me to remove them and put them aside. Oh, maybe. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Don't bargain with terrorists, Midge. Midge breaks from your side and runs to move a beam. Okay. Uh, choose one. If you wish to help Midge... Choose the top option, otherwise choose a location to go to. Ooh. Let's put a poll in there. You guys can choose hmm. uh, and vote. Do we help Midge free the people in the building or choose a location to go to? Interesting.
Obi says you're good. You just climbed onto a roof to escape the cloud of poison. Now you're fleeing the main gate because there is no way to get through. Too many people clogging the way. Okay, just the way it it just felt like it was weird. Like it was telling us to escape, and then we went like jumped back into the middle of the. Jerry says, I choose to feed Midge to the beast first. <laughs> I'm with you, buddy. Okay, let's end the full. Burn the Midge! Yes, Jackpot Man, how's it going? Uh, it's uh, help Midge feed the people in the building is 92%. Wow, okay, cool. okay. Between you, you heave the fallen timber aside and people stream from the entrance. If you take these refugees with you on the time track, Replace token 24 with the time token, gain location 24 token, and place it in front of you. Yeah, I think we should, right? Do you want to gain sure, them? Sure, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, and then we gain one ration, so that's in front of us. And we gain one ration to five. We have 13 and 24. I wonder if this is, like, affecting the city or something for the future. If you gain a ration, all Ostor and gain a redraw token. Okay, Yay! okay. So you've already lost the item. I mean, might as well just get stuff. Before we go into the battle. Yeah, Midge is like the mayor, right? He's yep. like the mayor from the first one? Yep. Yeah, yeah, we should probably keep him safe. <laughs> <laughs> A cloud of dust and debris rises nearby. We have to move, Midge pants. No, there's a sally port through the wall south of here for supplies during a siege. No one will be there. Only a few of us know it. Trust me. Place location 27, which is... Oh, right here. The, the Sally, Sally Port. Port. Layla's here. Just in time, I guess? Well, we haven't started the encounter, so uh, sure. <laughs> no, Layla, you're late, and I'm going to need to see you in my office. We're going to have to discuss this issue. I'll be there in a moment. Blackers. A cloud of dust and debris. Stop. Oh, 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 okay. oh, so we don't necessarily need to go to Sally Port, but that's where... Yeah, it's just a new location. Okay, uh, where to go? That's where they were saying, hmm. Okay, 20 is... 20 is the stockade. 25 is unnamed. And 27 is the Sally Port. Okay, I'm going to put a poll in the chat, and then we'll show them. So we have Sally Port down here in the south. Uh, Stockade is just behind us up here. And the other one was 25, which is over here by this wall. Like, this thing is, like, ping-ponging around here. I don't know what's going on, but... And this Sally Port is where he was saying was the rations and stuff, the supplies, and people don't know about it. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> all right, Layla, if you were playing games with your gaming group, okay, you're all right then. That's fine. That's an okay excuse. I'll take that one. That's <laughs> fine. No punishment today. <laughs> that's probably much the only, if you're playing other games, that's the only excuse that works. Eating, sleeping, family time, your job, those things don't work for me, okay? Those are not important things. <laughs> Taking care of children, nope, not acceptable. Not These things, nope. But if you're playing other games, that's totally fine. Painting's oh. fine too, Layla paints. Oh, painting, okay. Painting to get ready to play games, <laughs> totally okay. <laughs> totally okay. <laughs> These are the only valid excuses that work. <laughs> yep, Buell, you're fine. You're here and working. That is totally legit. <laughs> See? But we won't say that too loudly in case anybody yeah, you yeah. know is watching. Yeah, Buell sets a standard, so there's no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Buell can be here while working. <laughs> Nobody can say they had to miss a stream for work. I'm sorry. It's just not a thing. <laughs> I think someone's going to be like, but I'm like an ambulance driver. It's like, no, no, no excuses. Saving lives is not good enough. <laughs> <I'm just joking. laughs> <laughs> I'm a paramedic. No, nope, sorry. No, nope, you should still be here. I'm sorry. These are your priorities. I'm sorry. This is life. Okay. Just kidding. All right. Uh, so let's close the poll. Twenty-seven, sixty-one percent. Okay. 
Going to the Sally Ports. Instructions. Take path card A if you don't already have it and remove all location tokens from the map. Okay, so we're already on path A. Remove these. Okay. Okay. You violently tug at the corroded iron bars of the Sally Port. This poorly maintained supply entrance has been tightly sealed by rust and decay. The beast burrows through the poorest streets of the town, headed toward you. Uh oh. Move the beast marker to location 24, please. I think that is the burrow. Oh, 24. Okay. Perform a round of combat against Defense 4. Old Sworn, do not lose a hit point for failing this check. Okay. okay. So uh, the Ranger can use a red. A red card. I'll just do a little, little quick shuffle. I did shuffle all these before, but uh, mm -hmm. you can use like empowers and stuff like that on these ones because it's a combat check. And I'm so sorry, it's Combat four? Uh, yeah. Defense Combat four. four. I am gonna say... <sighs> One, two, three. Oh, boy. Oh. I'm smoking this one. Yeah, I'm pulled a blank out of the deck. All right. Okay. So we'll definitely hit from... Yeah, round of combat is everyone, I'm pretty sure, right? And then whoever misses, the fail oh, yeah. to hit yes. takes a health, usually. All right, so let's do the bear. The bear is going to pull a red. Uh, let's do only... The highest on a red is four. I'm going to do actually the same, but I'll probably miss on this one. No, maybe not. Oh, yeah, oh. but that's fine. Um... I just don't know if I'm not taking damage, why do I care? It's bear. Uh, yeah, bear. Should I use it? Yeah, you're not taking damage. Maybe it's just it. But it could be the difference in stopping this thing or not or something, you know? Like, yeah, what, maybe what are we it... fighting again? Beast marker? Yeah. No, maybe No, not. just... We're not sure. Defense four. Trying to break the wall or something? Oh, yeah, to get in. Maybe if it's half of the Osworn succeed, then this happens. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I could redraw. Still might draw into a blank, though. I'm going to say no for this one. Okay, so he's going to fail? Uh, I'm actually going to draw my my might card, though, for the uh, critical. Okay, it would have been a two. So, oh, sorry, there was one red in there. Yeah, I know. I should fix. I probably threw the other red in there, too. Trying to be quick. Okay. Uh, for exile, he rolls two yellow, and I'll just do one white. Oh my gosh. Well, let's see what this yellow is, or this critical is first. Oops. Wow. Okay, he's gonna... He's gonna also fail. And then the priest... I'm gonna add one more in. Yeah, like, this could help us in combat, like, the more hits we get. Like, I'm not... I'm, like, trying to save redraw tokens, but it could be the difference. Maybe it gives us, like, empower times three or something if you spend it or another redraw. I don't know. I do worry... Oh, okay, I'm going to spend one for the priest. Like, I'm not sure. And I'm going to re-roll this yellow. Okay, so he fails and lost a token. Ooh. That sucks. Oh, it... Uh... If the free company do a total of four hit points of damage or more. Oh, we were supposed to count. No, we were supposed to divide by like defense four. This wasn't just oh, passing a check. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay, you want to redo that? Well, no, I have to figure out what I did for damage over here. You know? Yeah, my guys both did none. Yeah, so it might oh. not matter. It wasn't a miss, a pass or fail. It was like a do enough damage. Yeah, sorry. So, um, the last one, I think, was uh, these and a three. Jack says you got one with the ranger, and Dominic says you had two hits. So maybe you had one and one. The first one... Toby says just redo. <laughs> well, no, because I, I remember the ranger, I, like, I... I don't know where I drew. We can go back in the stream, though.
Yeah, we're trying to scrub back a little bit and see. So the ranger drew three, two, two, two and, a and a one. So that is five, eight, and burst into a zero. That's two damage. Two damage, okay. And then let's continue. But then knowing this on the second one, like, like why wouldn't I have? Yeah, because maybe I would have rerolled one more time. Yeah. but If I, it's, we just had to do four. Again, we didn't know, I guess. But everyone else missed? These two guys missed, but I could have been I could I know, I, I didn't realize what it was doing. Yeah, everybody else failed, so. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I guess we could just say that we failed Whatever, that. yeah, let's just do otherwise. Who cares? Like, I don't know at this point. I just wish I knew what we were doing, but we didn't. We kind of made a mistake. I thought we were just doing, like, kind of a skill check thingy. Yeah. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. I hope. If the free company do a total of four hit points of damage or more, no. Otherwise... You hack at the mechanism of the sally port. Great clangs peel the door. It creaks, then opens a crack as you force its hinges to turn. It won't open quick enough. Serrated claws protrude through the crack, and the door is forced open. On the other side... A pack of things from the deep wood await you. Drawn by the clamor, they claw at you through the opening. The alleyway starts to fill with gibbering and chattering as the creatures force their way into Bastone. Lysine's with us. The beasts scrabble through the sally port, forcing you back. You slay a handful as you retreat, but others climb over the bodies. There are simply too many of them. You grip your blades and grit your teeth. You will blood them well before they take you. Then Lysine steps in front of you. She limps, but a cold fury plasters her face. Something in her posture warns you to step back. A wind throws up her hair as she flings out her arms towards the oncoming creatures. There is a smell of iron and the hair on your arms stand up. Blood begins to rise from where it rested in pools between the bodies on the floor. The beasts continue on, oblivious to what is happening. Twisting and curling, the blood takes shape, coalescing into tendrils and spikes. The blood boils and then Lysine screams, a hundred shards of burning blood pierce through the mass of creatures. Primal yelps go up and a dozen bodies fall. More blood soaks the earth as more of the deep wood denizens come on. Lysine looks up at them with hatred and with intense concentration snaps her fingers. The blood explodes. Lysine vomits at what she has just done. The scene is one of carnage like something from a Cistercian apocalyptic. She lulls, and one of you catches her as she falls unconscious. The pack is destroyed. But then, behind you, a shadow looms. The street is consumed by the giant armoured head of the Doom of Bastone. Wreathed in smoke and fumes, its eyes fall on you. You cannot outrun it. It is too close. A sense of finality, of certainty, settles on you. So it comes to this. You know what needs to be done. Someone has to distract it, must lure it away, so the others may make good their escape. But that person will surely die. Yeah, so there is the other picture. It shows it in the app. Uh, now we know. Okay, you must choose. Will one of you lay down their life for the others and take up this heroic act? You will lose that oath sworn in doing so. All because we did not fight enough. I mean, we don't have to. I say we all refuse. Like, on honestly, happens. if you had another one painted, I would say yeah, because if we could switch it right now, but... I don't know. Yeah, we can't swap characters. So if if we do lose a character right now, we're just this is going to be it for the playthrough today. We'll just play it in the future on, on the next episode. Uh, this story part's already gone like long enough. I feel so I would be good stopping it in a little bit actually. Uh, okay, so I guess we refuse and see what happens. Yeah, I would say refuse. 
just because I don't want to switch characters right now. So the I'll beast do that. Lumbers forward, smoke billowing from its nostrils. You turn to run and see Midge, grim faced, staring up at it, torch in hand. I'll bet it's stupid, like a rat. We can trick it, he says. He raises a torch above his head and charges a thing. I want Hazard pay for this, he shouts over his shoulder. The beast, seeing the flame hurtling towards it, withdraws for a moment, and that is all Midge needs to dive down the side alley. The mighty creature rears up and crushes a terrace of houses before clawing its way after the youth. Lose Midge. Bye. Oh. Bye, Midge. That's better. That's what I would choose anyway. I like know. I said, feed somebody to the beast. Like, I know. Well, this is exactly what we're here for. I'm not sacrificing you know, a character. No, I agree. The boy has saved you. <laughs> you have no time to lose. Rushing through the sally port, you make good your escape into the deep wood. In the distance, a scream rises that will haunt your nightmares. Oh, Midge. Poor Midge. Moment, moment of silence for Midge. <laughs> Burn the Midge! <laughs> You press into the deep wood as Bastone dies. The walls are broken, as are her people. Screams and wails saturate the air, an anthem of death rolling from Bastone. You turn to see it one last time. Men hurl themselves from the walls, claiming their own lives before the monsters can. Great fissures swallow sections of the wall. The titanic beast continues to pound the city to dust. You press on. Wow. Oh, so we're getting a redraw token. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> so we definitely should have spent some in that combat. <laughs> yep. But the then again, the we more have, you know. But then again, we would have had different options, right? We, yeah. we could have fought that thing, not had to lose anybody, maybe not get these redraw tokens, I don't know. You put distance between you and the city around you Clusters of people dive through the underbrush, only to disappear moments later, followed by a thing of nightmare. There is no wire road. There is no path. Your weapons sing as you slice through vines and roots. Mud, blood and tears wash over every survivor who's made it this far. If you have Grey Cane ally card, yes we do. What? If you have the Midge alley card? Why are you even asking? You know what happened. I think this app needs a little bit of work. <laughs> uh, otherwise... Behind you, you hear a voice calling out from the deep wood. Hey, you weren't going to leave without me, were you? Turning, Midge! you see the young, disheveled form of Midge running through the trees. Somehow, this young lad survived the doom of Bastone and managed to find you, even here. Did I mention I'm also an excellent tracker and a deep wood guide too? Whoa. Hey, Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I wish it was another ally card that was maybe a little more disheveled, like yeah, it was yeah. like dirty running through the forest. Midge missing a hand and a leg. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is going better than I thought. <laughs> Together, you plunge back into the deep wood. Whoa, this story is just gets twists and turns all over the place. After a time, the noise of destruction dims <laughs> to the sound of your heavy breathing and the footfalls of the party. You stop and take in your surroundings. The party looks ragged, and Grey Cane has his arm round Bram's shoulders as the man weeps into his hands. Cheer up, mate. It's not as bad as your root porridge. If we can survive that... We can survive this. Bram lets out a single snotty laugh. Grey Cane continues. Survive. For them. While you live, Bastone lives. Keep on. Grey Cane leaves the man and walks over. People need to know what happened here. We have to reach Berum. Jeffrey says, off to watch my daughter's games. Both have double headers today. I'll finish later tonight. Good luck, Rob Mel. Jeffrey, thank you so much. Thank Enjoy you, the Jeffrey. rest of your day. Good luck to your girls. Yes. Hope they have fun. And crush their opponents. Thankfully, your lifeline is still with you. You look down at your compass. You know Verum lies to the southeast, but you could miss it by miles if you don't find the wire road. 
a sudden noise whips your head up. Not one noise, but many noises. The party gathers around you, and you steady your breath, ready to receive an attack. A large group of people burst from the underbrush, flailing and clutching at bags of supplies and belongings. There are at least a dozen civilians. They are terrified. Catching your eye, a woman rushes towards you. Help us, please, it's coming. You are about to ask what when... Performer survival check, difficulty four. Can you tell me how your white draw a discard deck is looking? I think you have three. Uh, so I think all the criticals, yeah, all the criticals have been pulled. One, two, three, four blanks. Four blanks. And only two twos are left, but I think two twos. One, two, no, sorry, only one two and two blanks are probably left in there. Out of, oh no, there's more. There is more. There's, and probably a couple ones, I guess. And difficulty four, one, two. Okay. Oh, we do dice. But again, redrawing out of this, but yeah, it's like, I don't know. Difficulty four. Do we use like three dice? I don't know. Draw yeah. everything except one card. Yeah, okay. Okay, we can do that. Because then we can redraw. So one card remaining. Blank, two, one, blank. Okay, so we redraw. Yeah. Uh, he'll spend a redraw here for us. There we go, we got it. We passed. Good call. Yeah, you can't miss. Nice. Okay, that was good. Quick math. Gary says, I guess Mitch got a lot of reroll tokens. <laughs> oh, it's so working a battle flow token. All right. Oh, I like this. Even though we're taking way too long in this story, at least it's giving us loot for such things. Little or like uh, tokens to help us in battle, at least. Even though we're not going to get that extra unique item I was hoping for. Yeah. Gnarled branches begin to sway, not the wind, something else. You press your ears to the nearest sickly tree, the vibrations. You know what this is. Reveal the encounter special rules board. Oh, okay. Here. Mark the special rules box for chapter three on your free company sheet. Whoa, what the hell oh is this gosh. story? Well, hold on for one hour while I read these, uh, this chapter of, uh, information. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, we can't, yeah, we can see it all in there. Uh, large immune to knockback is the worm. Start of encounter, one old swore player's choice takes the vibration token. Use a tracker token to represent this. Sense vibration. If this stage card was drawn during the encounter phase, so not during reaction, I guess, whenever, uh, or sorry, who, then whoever has the vibration token is the worm's target. If this stage card is drawn as a reaction, then the worm will target the one who caused damage as usual. The worm never needs line of sight to target someone mm -hmm. during their turn. A character can choose to take the token from another character if they wish. Reminds me in Sword and Sorcery having that like uh, when you're ticking off the enemy and like you can oh yes you can purposely like take it up a level to make the boss come after you and you're like its target or like the vengeance uh, or something vengeance or yeah whatever that one is whatever that mechanic is this reminds me very much of that uh, in addition a character may force a vibration token onto a civilian when they make a move place a token next to the civilian on the board if the civilian dies with the vibration token give it to the closest old sworn huge. Huge! Uh, the worm has three body parts, the head, belly, and tail. Each body part counts as a different enemy. The worm has no facing, and it does not matter which direction it is turned when moving or placed. Attacking the head of the worm always counts as attacking the front. The belly counts as the flank, and the tail counts as the rear. When damaging the worm, you may choose any die on the body part to damage before it is drawn. Before, oh, sorry. 
You may choose any die on the body part to damage before damage is drawn. Do not remove a body part when all the dice are removed. Instead, it can no longer be damaged, but still acts as normal. Interesting. Two black, two red for its might. Three defense. When the worm moves, all movement is measured from the head. Firstly, pick up the tail and place it where the belly is. Then pick up the belly and place it where the head is. Last, move the head to its new location. Weird. Uh, okay. Uh, when the worm's head moves, it will move around its own body parts rather than move through them. If ever the worm head is placed on the game board and would enter hexes other than a body part, instead place the closest hexes to the selected hex so that it does not occupy the same hex as another body part. Save civilians. There are 10 civilians in the center of the map and you may try to protect them if you wish. Civilians will die if they receive any damage, but can be protected by moving them off any board edge. Instead of playing an ability card on your turn, you may move an adjacent civilian up to four hexes by spending uh, amber, animus, or little gems. Uh, this is free if you are a companion or ally. Each peasant may only be moved once per round. Stages. Stage two is triggered when the worm loses three dice. Stage three is triggered when it loses six dice. So this thing's going to have like 12 dice. Oh, no. No, it's going to have like eight dice, probably. Okay. Well, that's that was a, bunch a lot of, of information. Yeah, that's crazy, crazy amount of stuff right there. Uh, let's actually move this to. We're gonna need to see that. Okay. Nobody move! You cry. The free company immediately comply, as do most of the civilians. Not enough, though. One man panics and begins to run for a tree. The vibrations intensify. The earth around you churns as you feel the immensity of it moving beneath your feet. The earth around the runner bulges upwards and serrated tusks burst from the ground. The man screams as he plummets into a great maw and the worm rises. The head extends 15 feet from the ground as the eyeless mass of pallid flesh turns towards a group hungering. It cannot see you, but it can sense your presence. That's why facing doesn't matter. It's it's like blind. Mm -hmm. Just senses vibration. Yeah, I was, Greg, I was going to say the same thing. Anyone seen the movie Tremors? Or Beetlejuice? Uh, re record how many rations you have. The number on the tracker token on your free company sheet. Then lose the tracker token. So we have five. Five rations according to your black die there. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Place all your refugee tokens, time tokens, and location tokens in the free company bag. So that is these two tokens? Oh, so we only have two? Okay, add these to our free company bag. I don't know. Sure. Okay. We can get rid of this because I did that. If That's you have the mystery chest, open box three. If you don't, envelope three. Proceed to chapter three encounter in the encounter book. Don't let me just take all these guys. Oh yeah, we can get rid of this map. We tear the map up, right? Because it's a legacy game. We like Yeah, because it's in Bathstone it. destroyed. Yeah, I think we burn <laughs> it, right? We rip it and then burn it in a fire. Allies away. For now. Alright. Open. Wanna make sure it's the right way. Yep. No, it's not. It's this way. Enemy three. So we have the head of the beast. These are heavy, by the way. We have the belly. Okay. 
and the tail. <laughs> right. Yeah, it came like that. Oh, Cyrus? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's right. It came like that in the box. We've never seen this before, we promise. It's professionally painted. Yeah, yeah, we, we picked the uh, super crazy and insanity level pledge, <laughs> which cost $3,000 to have them all painted. Yeah, no. Thank you, thank yeah. you. This is that's all of, Mel. It's a good stuff. It's kind of fun because uh, nobody has seen these except for Rob before yeah. we start. Oh, yeah, unlike, I saw them. I forgot. <laughs> unlike other games. <laughs> yeah, I unboxed them all in a spoiler stream, so I know what they look like in gray plastic for sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was mystery box. You put the other things in the bag. Yep. And now we're oh, proceeding in counter book. Uh, in counter book, I have right here for you. Put our backpack away as well. So we need one worm head, one worm belly, one worm tail. Uh, mystery box square. Oh, yeah. Civilian standees, if you have the standee version, uh, contains 12 times civilians. Mystery box square. That's the right way. You can always put them upside down. All right, we have some civilians painted as well. This, why, this week took a l longer because there was these guys as well to paint. So pull them out. So we have some models that have spears. And then we have some models with axes and, I don't know, mallets or what are those ones called? Like hammers? And they should have been like two and two, just for feed. They're just food for the worm, so like, <laughs> who cares what they, those ones are look like. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, okay, we need encounter board number three, which I've... Oh, look at this guy. Oh my god. How many is that? Nine? Nine dice? Oh my gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, nine. Oh, wow, 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 wow. So I have a feeling this one, the mouth, is the most important part to break. That would be my guess. That would be my guess as well. But and the maybe tail, the tail. Yeah, but yeah, I was going to say, based on the miniature you just showed, that looks like a super sharp raptor claw from Jurassic Park here. Uh, like a fossil tail thing going on. So Yeah, I feel like the belly is pretty... Um, yeah, it's not going to attack us. Oh, oh, hold on. I Okay, here's what I did. Did I do that yesterday or this morning when I told you I was reading the appendix? Yesterday. Yesterday. I was like, I haven't read through the full appendix of this uh, encounter book to read all those things. And I got frustrated last time the way it was already throwing like chained attacks, wave attacks, all this stuff at us right away. And we weren't even playing characters with that. So this time I was like, okay, I'm going to go read all of the stuff in the back, even though it might not make sense to me yet. And it says, oh, skip all this stuff until you get to that point. But it's like in the middle of the stream, I'm not going to read like four paragraphs of rules for the first time. I try to avoid that when I can. So I read it all yesterday. There is something that was describing how our characters can be consumed, consumed I think, yeah. was the one. There's like one about being captured or imprisoned or something, but there's ones about being consumed where you literally go in and even says like an example, you're you're inside of a belly. Uh, your, your old sworn's inside of a belly. You get trapped. You're taken off the board. You then are in there and... Uh, the others can try to do up to six damage to that to that um, belly to free you. When you get freed, you lose like your animus or whatever. You're like um, you're basically like out of stamina and you're freed. Um, and while you're in there, you can spend animus or you no, you don't spend animus and you can attack the belly to try to get out like from the inside. Yeah, I was like reading all this like, oh my god, I didn't even put it into to, into thought that it might be this guy. And then now I see freaking belly. So I 100%. Oh, but it didn't say that on here. It would have said that but on maybe here. Maybe one of his cards say consume. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. This thing's eating us for sure. Yeah. This is what I'm going to guess. I would guess. We'll see. Um, yeah, I read that and I was like, oh, come on, man. We're going to get eaten in this game. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> and these guys all have weapons. Like, I'm painting them all up as weapons. And I don't hear that they can attack. Useless. They just stand there. Useless. Like, hey, you should all be able to attack, like, little allies. Yeah, yeah. If, uh, if they're adjacent or something. Uh, encounter three-stage deck. Do you have such things? Uh, I, I have it. do. I just haven't got it. Oops. And we need a tracker token. 
Okay. And that was to track, what was that again? I don't know. I, uh, uh, vibration, oh, vibration. Oh, the vibration. Vibration. And you recorded a ration somewhere on the sheet? On a free company sheet? I you, did, on oh. the back, yep. One, two... Twos. Three, three. All right, all cards three. Okay, I will shuffle those up. Obstacles, we need five trees and three walls. Okay, three walls. So the walls I've added, I think last time you just saw them with just the paint on them. Now they just have, I just put a wash over them. Maybe they had the wash, I can't remember. Right. And I just dry brushed some um, like ash gray to make them look kind of like yeah. Mike walls. Nothing crazy. Here's that one. I don't know where that one goes. And then, sorry, you said you need some trees as well, right? Yeah, five trees. Five trees. Okay, and these trees are again not finished. I don't. Have, I didn't have enough time. I tried. That's fine. <gasps> Couple It'll be of them in are progress as we play. Yeah, these ones are almost done. One. Need some dry yeah, brush. Two. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, they're just in progress. They're in progress, like you saw last time. They yeah. were just uh, uh um. Last time they were just primed. Time. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I think so. And then this one. Uh, like that. And then this wall. Oh, it's far away. No. No, I don't even think this is on the board yet. Oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah, like because it it'll move right, and then and the then tail the tail is like okay. off the board right now. I so guess unless I'm missing now. it on here. I don't think the tail starts on here. Yeah, no, tail gotta... starts off map. Yep. Okay, Okay, cool. nice. Thanks, Jack. Uh, okay. In there? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This one's like between the two trees. There should be a hex between there somewhere. Yep. Uh oh, I'm already starting adjacent to it.
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy. They're already like all up in there. Yeah. They're all surrounding it. Bye, guys. All right. Extra setup instructions. Give the tracker token to any Oathsworn player's choice. This is now the vibration token per the special rule board. We can do better. Okay. Jesus. Come on. Brought my line of sight little laser thing. Let's go over the yellow go. Whatever. Uh, I guess we can do the blue token. Sticks out. Yeah, that sticks out. Okay, and we can choose who we want to be the target. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, we can start anywhere along the bottom of the board. So either the four spaces on the right of this wall, or any of the spaces all the way along the bottom, all the way over to here. Mm. Additional note, saving civilians will gain you a bonus reward later. Oh, well, whenever we hear that. Tips on placement. There's a center hex with a skull in it and many deep wood plants on the map that are good to use as reference point. Oh, that's just always that. Okay. Mm. Here's your bear. I don't know what we're doing. Oh, here's uh, the card, sorry. So how, 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 to save, how to save these guys. Three defense and has this many dice. This is insane. We're gonna be here till tomorrow. I don't know what they're doing. Especially if half of not half, but some of our actions are not even used to attack and are just moving I, I know. some of these. I, I know. I, I feel like this is definitely the first chapter. I've been like, yeah, we should do story in one episode, and I'm really getting the vibe like we should play this in another episode. Like the story is like super long this time, and it was misleading looking like it would be shorter, but because I think the story had like a little mini game to yeah. it with that beast. Yeah. And now this scenario obviously is it's getting more complex and crazy, which just means longer scenario time, which is like definitely uh, I don't know if we'll do it this kind of makes me want to just do instant action mode if we're good for streaming purposes to play both in the same episode because it's really fun to like see how the story sets you up for the encounter. But I I don't know. Like we'll see how long this takes. Hopefully it's not as long, but Sorry. it's just like I'm really worried we're going to be here for another 6 hours. I don't think I have the energy for that today. But hopefully it's three or more or less. Let's let's try to make it happen. Okay. So we probably have to rush. And I don't want to at all. Okay. Um, can I just see that board? Just the that the board yeah. of text? I just wanted to look at one quick thing. How to save civilians? Yeah, there are 10 civilians in the center of the map. You're trying to protect remember, remember them. Maybe just move them any direction in four. But we don't have to be adjacent, right? Instead of playing an ability card on your turn, you may move an adjacent civilian, so you have to be up beside them. Okay, mm -hmm. that was. I just want to make sure that I knew and exactly it, it what I was doing. companions nothing to do it. Right. Okay. But it costs... I think it only costs you one, right? Yeah, it only costs one animus. Yeah, by spending one. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Oh, okay. So, if that's the case... So who can run up here and make these guys all run away super fast? And then who can come up in here and make these guys all run away super fast? And then someone sneaky over here, uh, you know, uh, sneaks up behind and, and... Okay, so there is... I mean, the, the ranger wants to hit the rear. I, I have... Oh, yeah, this is one thing we didn't talk about. So oh, I'm yeah. using the ranger... Uh, as a companion, so I have an attack. You can target any location on the enemy if you choose to attack the enemy's rear while it's in the enemy's rear arc. Uh, which is super weird. Is there a rear arc anymore? Uh, since the whole tail is the There's rear? No, yeah, I don't, I don't... I'm gonna assume that I'm always in the rear arc if I'm shooting the rear tail thing. Yeah, that's a weird one. <laughs> that one. Uh, so all the arc rules just went in the garbage, I think. Because uh, I really don't want to try to figure that out on each piece of this miniature. Um, this attack targets up to three enemies in your front arc. Attack once and apply to all targets. Ignore the highest value card. Three enemies in your front arc. Attacks once. Yeah, I don't know if that's the best one. Or... Well, the only thing is it did say that these enemies all are separate. Oh, yeah, true. I can't right? attack Each three, right? portion of the body is a separate enemy, it said. 
but I think you can as long as they're all in your front arc. Well, this is probably the right one, right? Yeah, we, we're going to take a break, Toby, I think, like in a, in a couple minutes. I'm going to go grab a coffee, go stretch, go outside, breathe some air, and then we'll come back and like get into it. So we'll probably take like a five minute break or so. Definitely going to take some breaks throughout this one. Um, I, I agree. I can tell it's complex for sure. Thank you, Toby, for that. I appreciate it. I got the feeling once I saw this sheet of text, I was like, <laughs> oh, God. And then now I see this many dice to break through. Like, how long did it take us to break through, like, six dice on the last enemy compared to, like, five on the first one? It just, you can tell each die plus the defense number of three just mathematically is going to take longer. Because it's not like we're really doing that much more damage um, because of the division, but... A little more, I think, but just takes longer to break through dice. Or a tree run. I can jump around through the trees seven away like before, and then I have this ricochet attack. This attack targets an additional enemy within range four of the first, which they probably always will be in range four of each other. Um, attack once, and but then you divide the damage however you wish, which on a three defense is like, I don't want to be dividing and then dividing again. Yeah. Like that's a uh, no thanks. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to stick with this and do this thing and try to work on its tail, I guess, and be in the rear arc. Remember, their facing doesn't matter, so there is no arcs. So I'm just going to rule that if I'm firing at the butt of this thing, I get three extra damage. In the bottom, the multi-shot does help once all three, if they're in yeah, the front arc. But I ignore the highest value card, so again, now we're in the problem again, where it's got three defense, and I'm doing weaker attacks. That sucks. You know, like I, I level up to black and I pull like a four and then my others are all twos and ones. And it's like, great, I got four damage. Divide by three. Fun times. That's true. Um, the only other thing that we didn't do is on our um, cards, we did have a battle flow token that we should also start. We oh, should have yeah, started right absolutely. there too. And I need uh, an empower times three for the bear because that's his apex predator special ability. Okay. So I get one of those. All oh, the tokens. We're going to rip this thing right. into three pieces. Oh, and wait, no, just... I'm going to look at my level and 2 these cards I can put back. for my... Actually, let's throw these off to the side. Need those for now. This guy's iron, I guess I can... Oh, I don't know. I'll just put the iron away in their baggies. Because we're supposed to do that after the story, right? Yeah, I'll do that in one second. I want to clean up. Ones. Clean up. So we're, we're using now uh, Gloomhaven metal tokens. Uh, they're the first ones I grabbed um, out of our options of metal tokens instead of iron. So I'll just throw those away so they're not on the little boards uh, getting in the way of all my juicy tokens. Okay, he's immune to knockback, so I'm going to put that card in. And then the level twos. Okay, let's take that one instead of that. Oh, I put that back in there, which I don't need. Okay. So these are the two cards that I've taken out for the two new cards. Oops, sorry, I'll move those. So it has one iron. I have to go around things in this game, right? One, two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll start there, I guess. For the ranger and the bear. Big boy bear. What are you going to do, buddy? You're going to go over here and save these people? All right. He can move for six, so he could... So because these companions save people for free, he could get in there... Can he get in there if he starts like here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. You have to move for six, and then he could move for six again. Can't move them all, but. One, two, three, four, five, six. For four. Whoops. Yeah, I'm going to take the bear and try to run up here. One, two, three, and then spend two more and just get these two out of here. 
Actually, mm -hmm. yeah. Those two I can get out of there. I could move one more and get another one. No, I can't afford that. But I think we should try this first round just to go and get as many off the board as possible. And then once they hit the edge, they're off the board, right? Oh, yeah, that's the other problem. They might not so make they, it Some away. of them may not make it all the way, but at least they're out of the way, and then we can try to work on... So he's going to start, like, here and go up into that direction. This, she's going... Oh, yeah, now I don't know, because this one I couldn't see is in the way. So if I went up to here, then I move this one, like, one, two, three, four, and she's gone, right? Is that yep. how that works? yep. And a vibration token means that's where the guy's coming. So I could yeah, just put it on the target. bear and just go up here and the bear uses defensive stuff. Okay, then I'm going to go... I can't give out the tokens like I used to, but... I do have a card that can help you as the bear. So I think if I just support you as the bear... This card, before damage is drawn against a character within range 3, that character gains 3 defense against the damage, but I lose 1 health. But I have, every, if, um, if you have 3 health or less, gain 1 at the start of each refresh phase. So, as long as I can balance that. So I think I'm going to stay near the bear. Yeah. Oh no, Toby, we didn't get the metal tokens, we just did like the base pledge. Um, but we, we don't need, we already have like so many metal tokens from other games and stuff, like it's fine. It's fine, don't worry about it. I appreciate it though. The Your terrain is different. Here. I didn't I didn't have terrain in any other games that was like this. But uh, metal coins are like, uh, they're like, you know, kind of, kind of come with a lot of games now, it seems. Or at least are a reasonable option. Well, we could grab some in the future if needed, but I think we're okay. He's going to support him. Okay. Those have shuffled up. And... Okay. Mm-hmm. So who the priest... What's the priest going to move? Who's he moving? He's moving... Oh, actually, you can... Like, I, I'll go first with this guy and get him out of your way. Um, so then you could go up into here and move this one. Yeah, he's just... And he's going to just be within range three of you to help Perfect. you if you get yeah, attacked. Yeah, I'll be, like, here. Yeah, and we'll just try to... I'm going to just try to support you. Anything else we need to do for setup? I don't, uh, know. I don't know if we want to flip this one just so that they can start thinking about what Yeah, yeah, for... before we take a little break. I did shuffle, but you're free to no, shuffle. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Here we go. Are we ready to see how horrible this thing is? Oh, a sinkhole. Oh. The worm had... Oh, we didn't pick who the... Before we look at that, we didn't pick who our targets are. Oh, you said the bear. Sorry, we said the bear. I'm so sorry. What do you mean? It's this right here. Yeah. yeah. I forgot we did, we did that. Sorry. Because I'm going to go run up beside it anyway. Let's keep it, like, from moving too much. No, and, right. and banging into other, other people, I think. You're right. The worm's head disappears, followed shortly by the ground beneath your feet. So, sense vibration. That just means it's targeting the person with the vibration token unless it was during a reaction. Then it'll go after the person who broke a die. Remove the worm's head from the game board. Move the other body parts as usual. The worm's target and all O's sworn within range 3 perform a survival check. Difficulty 6. So maybe you don't want to be within range 3 of me. Okay. Any that fail lose a health. Jeez. This is so That's crazy. annoying because we were going to be adjacent, not adjacent, but we were going to go up there to get some of these so don't, civilians. Yeah, but maybe just go for a different one. Maybe you start, the priest starts over here. And then if I'm here, range one, two, three, just don't be there. So you can go one, two, three, and then move this guy away. You know what I mean? But again, we just saw this card, so that's too bad. But you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, we'll figure it out. It's fine. Just stay out of my range. Maybe still work your way over to this guy and move him away. Mm -hmm. I might be able to do that and still move. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I, I don't. I hate this stupid annoying thing of like having to take damage for other reasons besides like attacks. But I guess it's not attacking you. So this is like a different way it does it. All non-player owned characters within range three die. Oh no! So I feel like we have to get as many of them out of the way as possible. Well. Out of range three. 
of the but worm. I, I could just have the bear stay where he is. And one, two, three. You could just get over here and move this guy out of the way or something. You know what I mean? But then... Are we allowed to pick our starting after we see this or before? Uh, we always I ask think these it, questions. I think it's, it's after. Can you just check for me, please? Yeah. You know where to look. We've looked every single time. Because if we can see this before we change up where we are, this could make a huge difference. And then four, place the worm's head on the target's hex, pushing back all enemies. Okay, step five. Place the encounter board, set the hit point, take the 15 cards, build your hand of cards. Just look for encounter deck. Skim for encounter deck. Well, I already, I know, but I, I'm just looking for where's our, this is our encounter deck, but then where's placing our place of free company. So it's Perfect. after. Okay. Yep. All right, it's after. So I can... Yeah, just get everyone away from the bear, or have the bear stay away from others. But again, I can move one four spaces away, so it keeps it safe. But I can't save everyone. But the body's going to follow as well. Well, the body just goes here. And we don't worry about that. The body's just there. It's like, whatever. It doesn't crash down and kill things. Only this does. So, uh, if the bear does go here... And then move this guy four up here, and he's here. One, two, three, this one's in danger. One, two, three, this one's in danger. One, two, three, that one's in danger. Well, the exile could get this one out of the way. Yep. So if we can just make sure we save everyone, and then... Um, I, I don't know, the priest I still think needs to be like somewhere over here. So I could move the bear... We move the bear here instead. Or did I say that already? You need to stay away from me. So if you went here, oh, that's still three. That's not three. But I could move them and then move myself more. Yeah, but I'm, yeah, true. But either way, you want to stay, I don't know. But then you, the priest would be up here, so you could work on these guys after. Yep. But then you might be the target. I don't know. I don't know how this token's going to switch. Okay. I forget. Is there something? Well, I think we can optionally take it. If the civilian dies with the vibration token, give it to the closest Osworn. Uh, the worm never needs line of sight to target someone. During their turn, a character can choose to take the token from another character if they wish. In addition, a character may force the vibration token onto a civilian when they make them move. <laughs> Here, take this and go get eaten. <laughs> that's probably the play is to use them. Like, we're trying to save all the civilians, but that's probably makes the scenario so much harder. Mm -hmm. And obviously, it's, it's like a win more thing. If you can do it and win, you'll get cool rewards for it. But really, I bet the scenario is designed, so you should probably be using them to feed this thing. So you can just attack it, but the problem is, if you break a die, you still become the target anyway. But I do like the, I do like the design here of, you know, messing around where this thing goes, because it's blind, it's dumb, but if we can control the vibration, we pick where it goes, and then we can precisely attack it or avoid dying by manipulating that. Okay, sorry, I just want to make sure I understand this. So the... We do the sense for vibration, so it's going towards you, but then it says, remove the worm head from the game board. Move the other body parts as usual. Mm -hmm. Correct. So the worm head is not on the board. Yeah, but the, this body part replaces this, and the tail replaces this, exactly where they are. So then range three is from here. No, range three is where the head drops down, and then... But it's not saying to put the head back, uh... No, but the target. So the target would be the bear who's about to get landed on. The target hex. Okay. Yep. Pushing all enemies back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The target is the bear, every, or I whoever see. it is with the token. Okay. The target is the token. The token's here. And uh, it's everything around that based on what it says on the card. All right. We're going to take a quick little break. If you have any tips or anything, drop them in the chat. We'll be back in like five ish minutes. I'm going to go get a coffee and do some stretching. We'll be right back and we'll go, we'll go and try to kill this worm. BRB.
All right, we're back. Okay. A little, little snacky snack. Got my coffee. <laughs> Ready to get to work and kill some worms. All right. Okay. Let's do this. I'm just going to refresh. Sorry, six. Two, yeah, three, I regen six two. with the bear, and he starts with nine. Which oh, is crazy. nice. You can do some. But I don't like, I miss the seven and seven little perfect, uh, not caring about <laughs> balancing it with the ranger, but. Oh, well, we're trying something different. I know, Eric, I, that's why I was talking with Mel just between while we're upstairs. I was thinking like, <laughs> man, our, I think these little, they're giving us 12 little biscuits here to avoid being attacked by this thing. And like, we probably should do that because it's going to take a long time. And then I was like, what's this bonus that'll give us from saving? I, we obviously can't save everybody. So it's probably like a, if you saved, you know, eight, X, eight, yeah. or, eight or more is what I'm going to guess. You get an extra unique item or something like is that even worth it i, I i'm kind of don't care i'm thinking to win this thing we just have to use these little uh, worm biscuits and uh just send them off and give them the vibration token and let the worm go for them while we hack the worm because like if you think about the math we already had trouble last time last battle taking um what uh five or so reaction attacks how many dice was it six on the last boss, or was it eight or something? I forget. Uh, but we're at nine. We've never been at nine. So I'm looking at this like... Six, I think. Eight, eight. Yeah. Six no? first, eight second, yeah. Oh, is that what it was? Okay. I'm looking at this one like reaction attack one, reaction attack two, reaction attack three, four, five, six, seven, eight, dead, right? Yeah. So it's like, it's already going to reaction attack against us 100% and hit somebody probably eight times, which is more than before. So we have to find some way to balance that so we're not getting attacked that many times. Because it's not like we got better defense or more life or anything, so... Um, I mean, hopefully the hopefully the priest can heal easier than before. I do have a card now that lets me heal a bit. Um, Bob also says that we missed a donation from Toby while we were away. We did? I don't see it on the screen anywhere. I don't either. Unless it was Patreon or a... I don't know. I don't even see it on, on this thing. Toby, thank you so much. Thank you, Toby. We missed that. But I, did not I don't see, see it that. on our screen. Uh, yeah, that's weird. It didn't pop up in the chat or on my message board here. Let me see. I can check another dashboard. Uh, oh, I found it. Ah, now I see what happened. And obviously the notifications aren't working correctly. So um, in the chat, Toby, thank you so much for becoming a Patreon. Thank you, Toby. Thank Toby, you, thank Toby you. is now a producer uh, of Rob's Gaming Table. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think for Patreons, they pop up on the screen, but they don't pop up in the chat. Oh, I swear they used to, but maybe they never did. I don't know. Anyways, Bob, Toby, thank you also for letting us know that. And Toby, thank you so much. Yes, Toby, thank you. I, I will get your name in those credits. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okie dokie. Okay, okay. Hmm. So are you having... Bear go first, and then we'll base that on Bear's positioning. Uh, sure. Just remember, you have an injury with somebody that needs to be played on the first time they go. So uh, keep that in mind if that changes something that you're doing. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I have to pick my cards. Oh, yeah, I already did that. Sorry. So so uh, if for those that haven't seen the bear, uh, I'm sure everyone played the bear, but haven't seen it on this channel. So we have the full bear. So, of course, I have the zero card that uh, I need to pick my cards for the bear. I totally forgot. Um, because we have uh, the level two cards now, right? Mm -hmm. So this is just the normal refresh stuff. I have Barrel Roar, up to two friendly characters within range. Three may move up to two and gain an uh, Empowered Times Three token. Then you move two. So it's similar to that one ability I had in the first playthrough where I was playing Supporty Bear. Or I could attack with plus one damage. Okay. Fun. The other one I have is a, a Swipety Swipe. Um where it's an area of effect. This is the same area of effect that it had, I think, on its archetype card when it was the companion. This attack targets up to three hexes in your front arc. Add one damage to each enemy hit. Attack once. Apply it to all targets. And there's a little AoE logo in the bottom. The other cooldown one card I have is now this level two, Batter. Batter up. A knockback three. I think with, he's after, immune. An, after an attack. Yeah, but it's still just but an attack good, card. Yeah. But it costs four. Yeah, it kind of maybe silly. I don't know. I like the other two that I just read, and they're all defense too. Uh, yeah, I don't know when I'll need this though. 
Oh yeah, I would hit, I get that extra, like, one extra damage for each hex I hit on the enemy, so it does give, like, additional, but I still only get one damage for hitting one enemy. So it's kind of like attacking for four with maybe plus two damage if I do it right, if I'm thinking, thinking correctly. Because there's no way I get both, like, the worm, two parts of the worm that close together. Maybe, maybe it's a thing if we purposely have a vibration token nearby and then the worm kind of gets close together. I might be able to hit two parts of it, but I don't know. Okay, so we're not doing batter. We know this now. Okay, cooldown two. Uh, I have Iron Hide, where I put on my armor underwear and gain a defense token, or I can just move two for one. Get three defense. I like this. Mm -hmm. uh, or I can toss. I can toss, uh, which this one's interesting. Spend four, then you attack. If the target is normal sized, so we don't even have normal sized enemies in this scenario, unfortunately. Uh, and it loses any damage, you throw them to a hex within range 3 of you, even if they are dead. If they land on another enemy or obstacle, they collide as if knocked back. Enemies that they land on also suffer knockback 1 in any direction that is not towards you. So they knock back into something else, which is kind of neat. Um, place the thrown target as... Place the thrown target as close to the target hex as possible. Um, it's 3 defense for 2 cooldown. So that's basically what that says to me. But I also have this level 2 card. That is two cooldown, where I can attack once, attack twice, but only one of them can trigger the determination rule. So I probably should swap this in for the one that I can't throw this worm. Um, so we're going to take Toss out, and we're going to play some Primal Rage, the arcade version, because it was the better version of Primal Rage. Um, then, Wait, I don't think they were the same cooldown. Yeah, they were. Right? Right? Toss, two, and two. And oh, okay. Primal Sorry, the other Rage one. Okay, Sorry. Two and I thought the other one that you took out was a one. Nope. Uh, it was a one. I don't think there's a one card to replace it. Unless you got a one, maybe you did. Mine were a two and a three. So maybe my level two. Okay, so I'll take a toss. And then I'll, I have bite at three, which is a starter card. Zero. I can interrupt after adjacent enemy draws damage. So that's after I see the results. I can ignore any one of the enemy's might cards of my choice. Or I can attack with this, but it costs me two. Two for an attack. Not bad. Cool down to three. Three defense, though. That's where I'm looking. And then this juicy four defense, three cooldown card called Challenge. Interrupt after stage card is drawn or before an enemy moves. Force one enemy within range six to focus on you rather than their current target. The stage card is resolved with you being the target of that enemy. Or I can just spend two to attack with this. Or probably what I'll do with this every time is defend for four. And then throw it in the cooldown track when it, I'm I'm scared for my life. But yeah, so that's my hand. Uh, so I'm not playing with toss and batter. And then I'll throw those into the bag in front of my divider card. Okay. Come on, get in there. Okay. Uh, and then I got my feral axe, which will be in hand. That for one cooldown, when you critical during an attack, that hits, I can choose to draw two additional cards rather than one of the cards that criticals. Yes. 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 Let's get them. Uh, Robert Cohen is here. Sorry, no time for Oathsworn today. Gotta watch your mega, gotta watch your mega playthroughs of Hexplorer before my copy arrives Tuesday. Enjoy. <laughs> Priorities, <laughs> your priorities, Robert, are on point. I like, I like what you're doing. Keep, can carry on. You get no shade for me for that decision. I, I have no problem there. All right. Yeah, yeah. Coming soon, right? Damn it. That means we got to play it again probably soon because I'm gonna want to as soon as I see it. <laughs> yeah, I see people are getting it. Oh no, more games. No. All right. Uh, Tatarian chain armor. So on this one, just remember that I can cool down this for one to use one combat token as if it was any other combat token. And this will help me cool down and move my feral. Oh no, it won't move. It doesn't battle flow. Derp -derp. Never mind. does not battle flow. But that means I gotta really think about my my number ones battle flowing my feral axe and this armor back. But that can be very helpful. If I just need some extra animus to get an extra attack off, I can say I'll use this battle flow token as a animus plus two or whatever token. And yeah, that's kind of neat.
Jack says, Toss, currently my favorite card with small... And I know it looks so cool, I want to use it. Attack, do damage, throw into another enemy, both take another damage. Yeah, it looks so amazing. Like, that makes me just want to play the bear just for that, but it sucks that, of course, when I switch to full bear, uh, <laughs> it's not even usable. <laughs> I'm like, damn it. Okay, so... What are we doing? You want the bear to go first? Does it matter? Not really, right? But yeah, I can. So what were we thinking? Bear can go one, two. And move this guy. Do I send him for food to make the guy like appear over here? But then you guys will all be in trouble, so I probably shouldn't, right? Mm, no, I... Yeah, so yeah, we can probably get him. I'll spend one more then to go like one, two, three, four. Then when he lands here, I am range one, two. This guy's in trouble. This guy's in trouble. Uh, one, two. I don't know. We count around things. I'm not sure through things, right? So this guy's in trouble, but you said the exile is going to help that guy. I can move the bear more. I could potentially I can move go the bear back. one, two, three, move here, and then spend one and spend one to get them both out of there, and then I can still spend one to move back, so I don't think I'll be in range three. So that's yeah, but, two but of the them bear, I still have three for the bear, so I, I can... I don't know. I could probably just move the bear back, and then he's he's away from, like, I can move the bear, like, here... Over here, if I just move the bear back one, right? Then it's one, two, no, one, two, no, one, sorry, one, two, no. Yeah, so everyone else is safe right now from the bear except for you. And I'm gonna move one, two, three, yeah, and then one, yeah. So the bear's in like safety zone here. I think this guy will come down and break this obstacle, which is fine. Mm -hmm. It's out of the way, who cares? And then I'll just get like pushed like somewhere. I guess I get pushed like northmost, which is fine. That's kind of what I want. So yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Dominic wants you to show your cards, which totally makes sense. So let's see what you got. I'll show you. These are the cards I'm not playing with. Okay, so let's start from zero. So for the priest, there's heavy blow, which is the usual, except for it has an extra line on yours. One adjacent character gains a health and you lose one. Well, that sounds like better healing already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's just guaranteed. Because then you go low, you stay out of harm's way, and then you heal yourself with your other heal abilities, right? I also have, if I'm ever at three or less, like, sorry, if you have three or less health, I gain one just automatically at the start of refresh phase. I wish we read those before we made that a companion before. Mm -hmm. All right, so her level one cards. You give me your other one? I'll I give you all, show, yeah. These I'll... are the ones that I'm not playing with. Yeah, yeah, one sec. Here, give me those, though. In case I want to talk about them. Okay, uh, so Righteous Advance is a one. Pay any amount of Animus. Move two for each paid. Mm, this movement must be in a straight line. Or you can attack for three. And it only defends for one. The other one cooldown is Pillar and Path. Gain either a uh, reroll, a redraw token, or a defense. And then you get to attack. Cooldown of only one. Not too shabby, I actually. Attack, but I get the tokens as well. Yeah, which is good. This is, sorry, this is my injury. Okay, PTSD. So you have to play this at the start of your turn if it's in your hand. Goes to two cooldown. If you're adjacent to an enemy, move two directly away from that enemy, spending animus as usual. Full characters, this and all other injury cards in your hand must be played on the first turn of each round, If it has, even if it has no effect. Okay. Um... And then you have this to cool down, lay on hands, cost one to play, Sub, uh, select any adjacent friendly character and perform a basic check with one free redraw. The difficulty of this check is equal to the character's health plus two. We saw this on your other, on your uh, archetype cards for each success, gain health. If they gain any health, you lose one. A maximum of two redraw tokens can be used on this check. So I get a free one plus two can be used. Yeah, or so you can, or you can attack for three. There was, this one is the exact same as this, but. Uh, yeah, so you, you have this also that you're saying you're eliminating, yeah. which is it's the only difference was range three. So this one you have to be adjacent. This one's a ranged heal yeah. for two. You have to spend a little more. And it doesn't give you the free reroll, the free redraw, and it only gives you, let's use one. But it's not range though. Yeah. 
So like, yeah, okay. Maximum of one can be spent. So what do you, you value the being adjacent to somebody to heal them? And hopefully giving them more heal. Okay. And, uh, okay. And then the attack on this one doesn't cost any extra because you're already spending two to do it. This one actually is a more expensive attack. But you'll probably only ever use it for healing, I Likely, think. unless everybody is full. Yeah. So you're saying you don't want the range one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then... We have another two cooldown. Prayer of Protection. So before damage is drawn against a character within range three, you can give them a three defense against the damage, but you lose a health. Or you can attack with this for two and okay. defend with it for three. Sorry, I have an extra one because I have two. the injury in my hand. Yep, we know. We already went through it and talked about it. All right, Fiend. Uh, after you or an adjacent friendly character has damage drawn against them, so you flip the cards, you can interrupt it, ignore one of the enemy's might cards against you. Or that character, your choice. Or you can attack for two, or defend for two. And then you have Martyr at three. Interrupt after stage card is drawn, before the enemy moves. Force one enemy with range six to focus on you rather than the current target. The stage card is resolved with you being the target. Or you can use this for two and attack, or defense for three. And then I think this is the one you're not playing with. Yeah, because then. Weighted you... Glory, attack with knockback two. If the target collides with anything during the knockback, one character within range three. Yep, so same reason I took the knockback stuff out of mine, right? Yep. All right, so there is your priest's hand. Thank you. Okay. We see the Exiles card, too. Looks like Sweet Death from Above. Good call, Jack. Death from Above, the ability costs two. Animus, if you are adjacent to any obstacles, place your figure in empty hex within range seven. You do not count as moving through the intervening hexes, and it gets plus two damage. Or Fury, you can attack. If the attack critically hits, you may attack again. Max two attacks per use of this ability, and you can only use one of these, or each one once during a round. Or, you could have chose Roaming Charge, move five in a straight line. All other Illusorn slash allies move one. All characters must end their move closer to an enemy than they begin. And Reap is an area of effect. This attack, it, it, uh, targets up to three adjacent hexes in front of your arc. If you kill any enemies, you gain an Empower Times 3 token. Attack once, apply to all targets, and max once per use. Thing. Yeah, so death from above. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there, just move back, and then... Spare... Uh, spare. Yeah, I think we'll just play it safe. I'll save two. Um, because I don't need to battle flow anything. Okay, fair done for now. I think I'm good though. All right. Uh, I don't know who's next. Mm, I can go with the priest. Okay, play your injury card. Yeah. Start as always. Which goes in cooldown two. It doesn't do anything. I'm not, not yet. I'm not adjacent to an enemy. <laughs> not yet. Hopefully you never are, but I mean, at some point, the priest will need to do some hacking and slashing. Move for three. One, two, three. And then I will spend... Yep, you're out of range right now. It's good. I'll spend one and we'll move, I guess, this guy off. Pew. And then I'll spend one and I'll move this guy person one two three and off Whew. and i think i will save one because i only regen six so i'll just save one yeah oh yeah jack's reminding us we could pay to get rid of an injury this chapter do you care though uh no i think it's fine right now this one's not too bad okay because it's just gonna make me move away from an enemy which i don't really want it to is cheaper to get rid of one right now but we could do it later when we get them at the end we there might be do one, one per chapter, right? Or right, something? but there might be one that's worse, is all I'm thinking. Yeah. So we can okay. see what we have before we True. make it. But let's not forget that at the end of the chapter. Yeah, good call, Jack. Um, so he's in for now. He does have one, but I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna save that for now. Uh Ranger. Well now we know they're kind of safe, but Go one, two, three, four. Go here to move. I get to move one for free. I can move this one for free, right? Mm -hmm. Interesting. 
Except for this one can't really... Oh, it can go down this way. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. So I'll spend one. Oops, I should be here. I'll spend one to move four. I'll just move to there. And then this one I'll move for free. One, two, three, four. It's probably so bad. Like, we're going to need these when we're all dying and we're like, we need them to feed them the thing. And then this one, uh, let's go one, two, three, four. I don't know if they get off or they have to like actually step off, which I'll just leave it there. And then um, I will, I think I attack, oh, the rear is not here. Yeah, no. Son of a bee. <laughs> I'm going to hit the belly, I guess. Or no, we want to break the mouth, right? Ah, we need to break this mouth. Yeah, because that's going to be the worst. Break stupid teeth. We don't know yet if it's a thing because we have no, <laughs> no information. No information, yeah. But I'm going to bet. I'm going to bet that's its like, worst thing. Based on the last two miniatures, it was very accurate. And the boss has a very um, prominent mouth. Could attack it. Yep. So I think I'm going to thread the needle, which I can target any location. I'm one, two, whatever, three away. That's easy peasy. Um, I don't have any empower tokens with her, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if the bear should have. No, I'm not too far away, right? Bear, supporty bear. No, it has to be within range three. So the bear would have been near her, which I could probably should have kept her over here. That might have been nice, but it's okay. And then, uh, so anyway, let's draw. Uh, our defense three. I mean, I do have the uh, battle flow, two battle flow tokens, which could help for movement, but I could use them for extra attacks. Interesting. Let me just go heavy on the mouth, but then she becomes a target and that messes up all the things. Yeah, I think. There's the play like you had done before where we weaken a couple of the dice. And yeah. Then... Okay. Hmm. I feel like there's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's still the same amount of cards, even though we've increased the dice. So. I don't know. I might just whiff here, but I think I'm going to go YOLO. Blank. Aw. Blank. Oh, crit. Okay. Uh, I think I would redraw. Well, I'm going to see what my crit is here. So, one, two, three, four, five, divided by three. That's only one measly damage. But if I redraw a token into this thing and get something decent, uh, what could it be? Probably like a two or a three? Uh, or a four. Well, most likely though. Yeah, two, three, or four. Or blank. All right, let's spend a redraw here. Just a two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two damage. Mm -hmm. Shirt. Uh, one miss in there. Mm. I'm going to use a little dice beside the dice tray off screen here to count the misses in the deck or in the discard. That way we don't have to play the game of sorting through cards every two seconds. That's a great idea. Yeah. Only took uh, three playthroughs to figure it out, but I got there. Okay. 
So there is a play where I can get my... Can do it. I can get my exile to attack if we... But we don't want to break the mouth yet. I could just attack a different dice. I mean, you think you're actually going to do four damage? If you did, could, it's not the worst thing. But. I could attack twice if I crit, so I don't know. But I don't have to target the same yeah, correct. dice, so... Yep. But I would soften it up so when we flip the next card and we see the mouth is going to be some horrible attack, then and, the... and we can remove a black die, then like we want to go for it, right? And it's easier if it only has like two left or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can... If we're okay with the way that the civilians are right now, none of them are actually going to die. I can yep. do that instead. So I can, he has for one animus, he actually moves six. One, two, three, four. Really? He has that? Mm -hmm. Move six, attack, um, or perform an ability on your Oh card. yeah, I can only move four. I didn't know there was a difference. Okay, that's cool. Uh, then I will spend one. I'll do my ability down here for fury, uh, which is an attack. If this attack crits, you may attack again. So he's rolling two yellow. Is it Kung Fury? I don't know yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait a sec. Uh, he does have two re-rolls. Re okay, let's try four dice. Uh, no, let's try three dice. Okay, no critical, but I did do two, two damage. So I can't attack again, but two damage, and we can do that to the mouth. So that does, like you said, soften him up. Okay. Uh, he's done. I think I'm done on this side. Anything else you want to do with your characters? No? Okay. So sense vibration. This is the target, right? Yeah. Okay, so then remove the worm head from the game board. Move the other body parts as usual. Uh, the worm target is all O swarm within range three. Survival check, difficulty six. Uh, hmm. Only one miss in the discard. Deck's pretty full. How many crits have I seen? Yeah, so I need more dice. Only one crit. Oh, you are right, Jack. Sorry, I should for free just move this guy I'm adjacent to. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, Jack. I forgot. One, two, three, four. Because it's free. I don't have to pay. Any... Well, oh, he's right here. I think they don't leave until they actually step like one more off, but I don't know how it was worded. Um, let's see. Protected by moving them off any board edge. Okay. Yeah, not just to the edge. They have to move off the edge. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Difficulty check, survival check, difficulty six. We don't have any bonuses for that. No. Okay, can I just have five dice? Oh, uh -oh. yep. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. You survive the survival check. Any that fail lose health on. All non-owned characters. Get on my face, worm. Three or die, and then place the worm head on the target hex, pushing all enemies back. Actually, it doesn't break the wall, right? Because I think it would take up the most north and west stuff. So it's like here, leaning on the wall, just <laughs> resting. <laughs> Facing doesn't matter, but it's still a three hex thing. And then I'll just get pushed. I was there, so I would get pushed, I think, the most north hex here. We're just going to cuddle here against this wall. But now you're like right in his mouth. So. Oh, I'm going to freaking <laughs> cut it right off. <laughs> okay, so then this has been done. We'll re review this one. Oh, it's again, same card. Boring! Which, if you did trigger... Let's put it over here, the discard. So oh, yeah, that sorry. Not, it doesn't get in your... That doesn't mess up your flow. If you did trigger this by breaking a die, it's actually not the worst because it's going to be exactly the same. Yeah. So that's not bad. Okay. They're all out of range. Everyone's out of range, so we're good. Okay, so refresh. So I refresh six, two, four, six. I don't have three, so I don't trigger my ability. Alrighty. Okay. Am I within range three of you? 
With who? With you as the bear. With the bear? Yes. From the priest, yep. I assume you're asking? Yes, sorry. One, two, three, yes. Okay. Okay, so if you did if you did get hit, which are you gonna give me some tokens for heart no, attack no, this thing I just to have, really cut its head off? I just have um if you were attacked, I could give you three defense. But I don't think this even attacks you. So if I break a die, it ends all the extra fluff on a card. So my double attack right now is kind of dumb unless I damage another die first, then the second attack, try to break the die. Yep. Yeah, so I see. Okay. I see. I see. Both your characters are full health. Yeah, just... Okay. So area of effect costs four. Double attack costs four. I have eight here. Double attack costs four, but then... I mean, I could just attack twice, or two separate cards. But worst case, I have a three... Hmm. Still the same, yeah. I can't. I, I counted them out. There's still, the yeah. It's always still the five, five, and five. But we still have more dice, so it just means that it'll cycle those last few more. I think. But it's after three dice, it goes to the next deck. So, I think we still play it like the last one, where we need to soften up stuff, unless it heals by eating things, and we find out that's a thing. So I don't know. We'll have to just play it and Yeah. I think, I think there might be something though. Um it's interesting because it it's when it loses three dice, then six dice, and there's three per model. If when we get to deck level two, if one thing is completely killed, maybe that's is there that? something on the cards that are like, you know, if you've destroyed all of one piece, it won't do this step. I, I don't know, like... Maybe. It's kind of weird the way it's like 3 and 6 is when it gets mad, and it has 3, 3, and 3, so it's like, I don't know. I don't know, or did I read something and that's what's in here that's making me think that way? I don't know. It did say that once an area is broken, Was it stays on the board. Oh, okay. But... And it says it acts as normal, but in, the cards may adjust that. Oh, okay. okay. I don't know. Okay, never mind. We'll maybe, see. maybe not then. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I think I just use the exile to soften the belly. All right. I'm gonna spend four with the bear. We'll get some more knowledge if I do break something in a sec. Um. I'm going to do Primal Rage, I think. I don't know if this is smart, but I'm going to do it to attack twice on it. Maybe that's dumb. Yeah, okay. Um, so I'll attack once. Uh, this one, I am going to just draw a red. One. Two is probably bad. I could power up. I can do the termination rule on the first one. So, yeah, let's level up. Um, yeah, let's do uh, two yellows instead of the whites. I don't know. You still have one more level, right? Mm hmm. Okay. It's debating. Oh, if we go black. Switching to black. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's see. Three, three, blank. Okay. And a blank. Mm. Okay, what am I trying to do? I'm hitting a different die because I don't want to kill it yet. So I'm going to just damage like one of these other ones, which don't do anything. So I am going to redraw uh, the black. Oh yeah? Uh, oh yeah? Okay. Hmm. 
Mm. So right now I'm only doing two, two damage. Uh, so annoying. What's the lowest number on the black? Three, right? Uh, yes. Hmm. Just miss again. Like, want to go all in here, but yeah, I'm gonna do it. Five critting into another blank. <laughs> so, oh, damn it! Uh, if that was just like a, a three, that'd be uh, actually a four would have been sick. Okay, so one, two, three damage. Let's do it here. But now we have the re-blanks out of the black. Ooh. The yellow is only missing one. Okay. Um, so this is my damage. Then the second attack on here, uh, which won't be leveled up. Going for... The, uh, well, I guess whatever, I can flip and decide, but I think I'll use the mouse. Mm, so, uh, it's only one damage. Mm, yeah, that sucks. One away. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. All right, uh, I can attack again. I really want to break it. I know. But I thought it would have. Okay, so I, I have four here. Let me. Oh, I forgot to draw two. I forgot this. I could have done this. When you crit during an attack that hits, draw two cards rather than one. So yes, let's pretend I did it on the black that drew the blank, right? The first mm -hmm. one. So I would have had another damage, I, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So you would have done four damage. Because you would have 14. Yeah, okay. We'll say I use it on that. So this will go to cooldown here. Yeah, I gotta remember that. And then... Four... Good night, Colton. See you later, Colton. Yes, we will be still playing in the morning. Yes, I agree. <laughs> All right. Uh... So I think I'll just spend three. And I'll just do this feral roar with this attack at the bottom that just automatically gets plus one damage so it's going to do the damage i need to break the mouth no matter what as long as i don't miss and i'll just draw one red and uh that's all i'll draw <laughs> first i crit oh did i do it to pull out blanks uh, yes i will nope <laughs> damn it <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that works, right? Yeah. And then this will go here and battle for this. Right. Okay. Uh, now it's going to do this. Yeah. Remove the head from the game board. Move the other body parts as usual. The worm targets all O swarm within. Mm-hmm. And then... Or was there a way for you to get through there? No, I don't think so. I don't think there was. Okay. I don't know. Hopefully I made that right. Um... Okay, then he's going to crush down on me. 
Oh yeah, skill check though first, right? Yep. Survival. Can six. you give me five dice, please? Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Could I finish the other dice off? Ooh, good question. You did seven. Seven, yeah, I could. And just leave that bro uh, leave the mouth. Oh, leave the mouth with yeah, one. Yeah, good call, Jack. I like the way you're thinking. Because I, I don't I just need to reaction attack the thing. I don't I don't know I need to break the mouth, but yeah, you're right. I like that, yeah. Yeah, that's most efficient damage, yeah. Yeah, that, that makes true. sense. You guys are right. You, I, I wasn't even thinking. I'm just thinking I'm breaking the mouth, and I don't even know if it's a thing yet. But either way, I break, and then we get a reaction attack, which will give us more information. Oh. Well, well. let's... Uh, ooh, uh, that's a fail. You lose one health. Sure, yeah. whatever. Okay. I, I don't care. Uh, and then we'll break this wall, gone. And then I'll put this guy here, and then I'll get pushy pushed up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wall's broken, and this guy lands here where I was. And then uh, pushes me north. Right, was wall it does. Oh, was anyone in range three of me? Nobody was, no, right? No. Yeah. Okay. Well, sinkhole gone. The next card we get to know about is a head whip. Okay, yeah. Okay, mouth is important. Sense vibration, move six to its target. Attack. So it'll do two blacks and two reds at range three. Knock back two. It's an area of effect. So it's it's range three all around it. Oh. Then target. What are all these commas, this, comma, that, whatever, it's weird. Uh, this attack targets all enemies within range 3 of the worm's head. And then move 3 northwest. A head as thick as a tree trunk sweeps across the battlefield. Mm. I don't know. Mm. So... I mean, the priest could attack the mouth to get rid of the die so that the attack is less. Mm, but then the priest gets hit pretty hard. But you are three defense and you could throw down, what, two or three? What do you got? Not many. Two, I think, is mainly. Those are, those are high. Two's are one. I do have one defense token. A ranger could go like one, two, three, uh, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that gets her in range. I didn't refresh her little box. And then she can get this guy off the board, fire at this head, choose any hex she wants, and then hopefully do at least three damage. Okay, if that's the case, I'm just going to spend one to move my priest out of range of three then. Oh, but then the ranger becomes the retaliate. The only defense for four. Oh, and then it's going to move six to its target. But be within range three, so it's only going to move one, I think. Uh, yeah. No, so no, no, it moves six to its target. That's like a separate line. So oh, okay. it moves it's six, gonna move gets six as close as it can, and then does a range three. Bah. Hmm. Hmm. It's probably bad. One damage is not bad from an enemy hit at all. The fact you can see enemy cards and choose which place you hit is super awesome. So now you need to get mouth, but should have time to. Yeah. Yeah, like the priest can, and take one hit is fine. I can also heal your bear. You, oh, you do get knocked back too. Or everyone that gets hit gets knocked back too. Which is fine. That's fine for me to get knocked back. I don't want to be a Jason. Yeah, but if you break it, that means the bear is getting hit also, is getting an attack here. Who else is getting attacked? Because if you just come up and break the mouth, you're like, it's not moving anywhere. And then it's doing a range three attack from literally where it's standing, counting from its mouth, I guess. So nobody back here is it's only us two. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not the worst. And then it moves three northwest, but it's going to try to go around its body. So like north. North, north, and it's like here, I think. Right, northwest. Yeah, like one, two, 
three. I think it actually pushes this thing back. And it's up there, but then the head's like within range of all of these things, but it's not doing anything yet to them. But, I mean, it's, it keeps just going after who reactions and who's got the vibration token, so it doesn't really want to kill those things unless we're too close to them and it, it does the hit that hits everything in range three again. Yeah. Which I, don't, I don't know. Twice. I'd rather these two take hits probably than the ranger because, um, yeah. and the exile because they're the lowest defense on the board at four only. That's one. And that is one. That costs two. Okay, I can even give you three defense. As <laughs> nice well. thought, Nick. Good, good. Yeah, I've had it. I've had the zoom in before for other streams. I just forgot to do it on this one, and then I noticed like we're kind of blocking it a bit. And, uh, yeah, I want to stay tight to the board, so I thought, yeah, let's just make a zoom in so I can get the dice tray out from behind us when we need to. Okay, let me let, let me go as the priest first. Let me do a heavy blow, which one adjacent... Oh, I gotta spend one. Um, one adjacent character gains one health, and I lose one, but I'll add when I use an ability with a... Oh, with a ranged keyword... Adjacent, oh, is that? Read the card slowly. When you use an ability with a range keyword, add two range to the ability. What's a range keyword? It's got to say the word range in your sentence of the ability you're oh, firing Oh, so then off. why did we think that was better for the priest then? Because he has Never heals mind. at range, but you didn't put the range heal card in the deck, which I thought was super weird. But I thought you had something else you are using it for. This one is automatically in my deck. I didn't, that one I didn't. No, no, but you took out the, the range heal card. So that weapon, we put the walking stick in because you had range heal before, but you, you, when you were the companion. But now that you're the full, you decided yeah. I don't want my range heal anymore. So now this walking stick isn't as good, but you still attack with two yellows. So if yeah. you want to switch that card and put it back in. No, I still like this one. Okay. Okay, then never mind. Let me. I still have enough. Let me. Move to. Hey, Kalipa. Move to. Uh, we're fighting a giant worm with a bunch of civilians on the board we have to save. And uh, I, I don't know. That's how my Sunday is going. How, how's yours? <laughs> uh, we're Move not going to talk about what happened in the city before we got here, though. That's, uh, yeah, let's not. <laughs> let's, let's just not mention that anything that happened there. Okay. Let's just, let's just keep that to ourselves. <laughs> it was all sunshine and rainbows, I, I'm sure. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm adjacent to you. Now I spend one. This is refresh zero. You gain a health and I lose a health. I go to five. You go up to six. You're bare. Cha. Bear. Heal. It costs two. Where's another attack that I have? Cost two. Okay, then I can attack the mouth if you think it's okay. Let's see. I don't know your defensive cards. If you're ready to block like crazy, I don't know. You probably should. But it's going to hit for a black. And two reds. Well, I'm gonna hope I'm gonna get rid of the mouse. So it'll only attack for one, one black, two. A black, two reds, as I just said. Oh, sorry. It was two black and two reds. Normally, are on the card here. I'll zoom in for you right here. Two black, two red. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna take away one black on the mouth attacks. Mm -hmm. Two. I should probably use this one. <laughs> no, that's three. Oh. To, trying to find my to not use my I guess doesn't matter this one I need to keep okay let's attack for two animus that's gonna battle flow that bottom card uh what yeah I'm just making sure you're not gonna knock back into me that's the only thing I think we're good because I think we move the most north, right? When it when it attacks us, like we just go knock back. I go three, you go three. We're good, I think. Okay. I'm pretty sure, right? Northmost. Yeah. Um, so I attack for two yellow. You only need I only need to get three through. I mean, I'm probably best just to roll just these two, so I don't hopefully miss. Yeah. Let's just roll these two. I'm just looking for three. I got four, so that's enough. Perfect. Okay, so that dice is broken. Bah! That's two dice, not three. Okay. 
Okay. Cool. So the sense vibration that didn't didn't change because I attacked him or anything, right? It's not no, like that in this game. No, okay. But you're the target for I'm this one. I'm the target. Uh, it's already there. Army adjacent, so it's going to range three mouth attack. Uh, before it attacks, let me see. This attack targets all enemies within range. Oh, okay, so it's only going to pull one. I'm gonna I'm gonna one. throw down my iron hide to defend. So I'm defending for six. That will put this here. Uh, I will defend for two. So I'm defending for five, and you're defending for six? Yep. Okay. And, and, and a black and two reds. A black and two reds. Let me check my interrupt cards just in case they come into play. After a stage card is drawn or before enemy moves. No. After an adjacent enemy draws damage, I can ignore a might card if really needed. But... Hopefully they don't have to use that. Three, six, oh wow. Yeah, this is the kind of hits we got to expect. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. So it just does one damage to the bear. And one damage, uh, oh, two damage to me unless I use that card. Let's see. What'd you defend for? Five. Uh, five. Yeah. You can use your defense token. And it just prevents, it only it brings down to one. Because you'd be up to six. But if I go to three, I'm going to, at the start of the refresh phase, just go up to three anyways. Or gain a health anyways. Then I don't need to save this. If you have three or less health, gain one at the start oh, of each okay. refresh phase. So I think I save this. I go to three because I'll just go to four anyways. Yeah. Uh, Kalipa, yes, you can choose for the enemy to roll dice instead of cards, but they recommend in the rule book if you want to have a more consistent experience, just keep drawing from the card decks because then eventually you'll see the same amount of like misses and hits throughout it and the same damage numbers. If you want a more swingy or faster game, yeah, roll dice. But, I mean, you could get, like, some crazy explosive hits turn after turn after turn with the luck of the dice. At least with the cards, you know, if you get a big hit happening, you most likely will see some missed cards come up shortly after that to get a breather, you know? So, yeah, for consistency, you go with cards, they say. But you can do whatever you want. It's your game. And, and, yeah, so. Okay, now we're both going to suffer knockback two. Oh, uh, only, oh, only yep. two. Okay. Uh, one, two, and one, two. Okay. And then... Or am I supposed to go, like, is it from the face, right? So am I supposed to go like this? Like, when it hits from here? I don't know. Like, again, but it's like facing doesn't... I don't, yeah, I don't facing, know. I don't I'll, know. I'll just go that way, you go that way. Okay. I, I don't know. And then move three northwest. Sure. Oh, yes. So now we have to move all of them, right? Oh, this is the problem. Move three... Northwest. So the head moves one, two, three, northwest. And then I think the body, the body not fall. I don't think it moves in this case. I don't think. Oh, okay. Um, Let When the worm moves, all movement is measured from the head. Firstly, pick up the tail and place it where the belly is. Then pick up. The belly and places where the head is. Lastly, move the head to its new location. Oh, okay. Okay, so this tail is so going to move like to here. Here. Like yeah. yeah, something like that. Okay. It's not confusing. <laughs> I know, so weird. <laughs> and then that's done. So weird. Looks so cool, though, but so <laughs> weird. So weird. Oh, no. Consume. Is it going to heal? Do they have heal? I don't know, but consume sounds bad. Oh, we know what consume is, because that's what I was rambling about at the beginning. Yeah, I see the word consumed. Okay, sense vibration, move six to its target. The target is consumed, so that means, if I remember correctly from reading it yesterday in the rule book, you're removed from the board, you're in its belly, uh, the target is now in the worm's belly, it says. Uh, oh, give it to the closest Oathsworn if you have the vibration token, so someone else is going to have it. At the start of each Oathsworn and encounter phase, the consume loses one health. So on your turn, I think once per round or once per turn, the consumed is you can uh, do an attack. Um, but everyone else can attack. And now we need to track damage to the belly because once six damage is done to the belly, you free it. Uh, or if I think the whole belly is destroyed, uh, whichever is like kind of first. Uh, I'll find it in one second. We're all on the same page, literally. Just... Uh... I think we could also give the token to a uh, civilian to be consumed. No, no, it's, it's you're the target, you're cons. Oh, yes. But if we give the vibration to a... Right now, yeah. yeah. I definitely don't want to be consumed. I don't, not I, yet. I, I feel like this is give it 100% to 
to... To one of the Tasty Biscuits? Yeah, the Tasty Civilian Biscuits. I agree. But I mean, if we were like in the position where somebody can just like take it out, uh, like help them get out of the belly fast, here it is. Consumed. When a character is consumed, they are removed from the board, and they may not move or play injury ability or item cards on their turn. Instead, once per turn, the character may spend three animus, one if they are companion, to attack the location they're in, shown on the stage card. No ability card is required. They may use combat tokens and still gain might and defense from item card stats. The consumed character cannot be the target of any attacks, even those caused by a reaction. Ooh, so if you're inside oh, and you, play, yeah, there. and you've just, yeah, being inside and killing dice is actually that's huge. I maybe want to be inside. Okay, there's a play here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just like losing a health a turn, but you're inside like like whittling down the dice. There's uh, a play for the priest to be consumed. But then you're not outside healing everybody. True. That might be bad. Anyways, yeah, but I see what you're saying because you'll regen health. Yeah. Um, consumed characters are no longer. Oh, but it says you can't use. Uh, abilities or ability cards? Nope, you just can't play injury, ability, or item cards. It doesn't say anything about your innate abilities. Uh, consumed characters are no longer consumed if all hit point dice at a location uh, the character is in are broken, or if that location has lost six hit points. Since the character was consumed, track this with the six-sided die. A location such as the belly may have multiple hit point dice, in which case the six hit points can be caused to any combination of the dice. When a character is no longer consumed, they are immediately returned to the board with zero animus to the nearest empty hex to the body location they were in following the rules of Northwest. Okay, there's a huge play here of somebody going inside and breaking dice. Yeah, and then it moves. Okay. Mm. Yeah, because you just go in and you're not a target of um, even... Yeah, the problem is... The, it's not worn down, right? So if you went in when it was down to like, you know, three damage on each die or two on each die would be even better. You could literally sit in there breaking dice and you're never the target of the attack. And you just attack it, but it's only once per round, right? Oh, yeah, once per turn you may attack. So you might still miss. Mm -hmm. So this may be bad because you get stuck in there, you're being damaged, you're hacking at it. Then we're panicking everyone else outside is like, oh my God, kill the belly, kill the belly. And then they do the end up killing the dice that cause reaction attacks. Like, I don't know, maybe I think it's... you have to have the people on the outside will it down enough that the person on the inside can do the finishing blow on it. Yeah, that's true. And hope true. that it doesn't miss. Yeah. But then coming out with no animus to use, you're just stuck on the board, empty, sitting there exposed. Yeah, it still targets the nearest character. So if you're yeah, inside... Yeah, so we're not getting away from it totally. Yeah. yeah. But you can, though. Because everyone else just spreads out, and you just hope the person inside can fight and get out. But you're not using your plus damage on your attacks. You're literally just doing like, um, uh, oh, you can use the tokens, I think, right? It said. Yeah, you can use tokens. But that's it. So if you're going in the belly, you want to go in there with empower tokens. You want to go in there with reroll tokens so that you can for sure get out. Then everyone just moves away so that you know, no one's ever getting targeted. And then you start hacking at the belly. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess it depends on what the reaction card is. I but mean, I still would rather just have one of these civilians get eaten. I agree. And not us. At this point. I agree, I agree. And now I have a question. If um, we destroy the belly, now that we know this is the thing, it can never consume us, right? Um... That's a great question because there's and no let, dice and, uh, to break on it. Yeah, because it, it... Well, it says you're in the worm's belly. And if there's no way to damage it, obviously you just can't go in it, right? I, I would say you can't get consumed if we destroy the belly. So now we know another way we can disable this thing. Hmm. I do think if, if we... If he consumes a civilian, I feel like they all have only one hit point, right? Well, they're just dead. They're just dead. Yeah. Okay. There's no rules for keeping them off the board, spending animus and all that. Yeah. They're just eaten. They're just eaten. So, I mean, that's a play. You have one right beside you. Because you, do we have to give it to an adjacent civilian? Jack says, I think it does still consume you. You just get no benefit from doing damage if dice are broke. 
So how do you get out? So you're just stuck in there? Is that what you're saying, Jack? <clears throat> or are you saying that yeah. if you do six damage uh, to the... I would thematically say the belly has a bunch of holes in it at that point, and it literally consumes you in the mouth and you just spit you out the belly. Like it Oh, Jack is saying you do six damage to any part of it. Uh, but no, the way it's described in the consumed is you have to actually do damage to the body part that you're in. For example, the belly, right? Yeah. Which then I don't understand. Yeah, it says if the location you're in has taken six hit points. So there's no hitting its head to get out of the belly. That's not a thing. Yeah, so we'll play it the way it's written. And we're not going to go consumed in the belly. Because there is no way to do to be consumed. And... Hmm... Matt says if the belly is broken completely, you just get spit... Fat back out and lose animus. Yeah, that's the way I would think it would work. Maybe that's thematic. That works. He says that's how I consume my Thai food. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, it's broken. I feel like we would just lose the animus and just come back right out. Like you can just climb out the belly because it's broken. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Matt says, I had the same question and it got answered in the Discord group. Oh, okay. What, do you and know? Matt says, if the belly is broken completely, you just get spat back out and lose animus. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we'll go with that. That makes, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, because there's nothing to damage, so that part can't work. So you still get the the negative effect of losing the animus. Yeah, so it's like you've already cut holes in the belly and you just kind of fall out the belly. And then you're like, oh, no. Or you had to like use your stamina to like crawl out of the belly still. Yeah. Um, but you didn't have to hack and slash at it, which is weird. But anyways, I'll we'll go that way. That works. That works. All right. I don't know what we're doing and where we were, but we just read his card, right? Yep. Um, I think, I think we should pass. Yeah. The token to a civilian. So the bear has to do it. Yeah, I just don't know if you have to be adjacent. You do have. I am adjacent, I just... and I'll spend one. And I'll just, oh, but that means, like, is everyone around I'm going to die? No, right? Nope. Not this one? Nope. Move six to a target, and then they consume. And then it's going to move three northwest. I'm kind of feeling like moving... Like this? I, I, I'm thinking of moving it over here. So we'll consume here, then just move up here. But the problem is there's way too many civilians nearby. Well, I was thinking I can use this exile to go up in there and move a couple of them. Because oh. it's going to move northwest. So it's going to move straight back this way. So if I can get these guys out of there, maybe the priest can also help get this guy this out of there. This guy can get off the board if someone sends it up. Uh, how many do I need to If I... How much is that card? I can move two. Any amount of animus. Yeah, it's I'm just going to move this guy one, two, three, four, and put him right beside you here with the token. Okay. So that this guy will consume here, move six to its target, so it'll just move like one, and then it'll just move three back here, and hopefully these two are like gone. But then we don't know what's going to do in the next one. I know. It might still go and eat somebody, so I think we're fine. I just want it kind of away from us a little bit, and I still want to hit this tail now, which... the. Off part is, yeah. It does a tail attack at some point. Uh, we need to kill it. But I don't know if it does. But now I want to destroy the belly. Or if someone does get consumed, we can just not worry about it. I can get to here with my exile and then do that fury again with the possible two attacks and start working on some of these spots. Or I can go up here and try to get rid of some of those Oh yeah, the ranger. Civilians. Well, the ranger I can go... Uh, let's just move... One, two, three, four, as we discussed. One, two, three, four. I can target the belly now. Uh, I get to free move this one off the board if we're okay with that. Yep. Unless we should keep them because they're consumed. Well, I think we move a couple. Yeah, but now I have this adjacent, 
So, oh, but I can't give the token, yeah. It'll go to the closest from this guy, right? Yeah. So it won't even go here. Yeah, so let's save this one. How many we've saved? Just these? Like, yep, just what you have. I have none on my side. Only four? Okay. Four so far. So there's still plenty of food on the board. Good. Definitely. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we removed two dice. That seems good. We've saved four, removed two dice. Okay, then I'm going to do the... Oh, I could get the plus three damage attack in this little tail business here. But I think oh. we'll go for the belly now that we know it's a thing, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I just... She doesn't have any empower times threes. I don't think I have any way to uh... give you any. Yeah. A ranger with... Oh, I need to do this. The feral roar. I need to get this back to start giving them out. That's the way we're going to get through this three defense crap. All right. Maybe the ranger just works on the tail then and gets her more damage out. Yes, I'm going to just do the tail attack stuff. I'm going to go for obviously the one that uh, has the actual weapon mm -hmm. symbol on it in case this thing does start. Come on, you know this thing's yeah. going to, in like stage three, is going to start stabbing us and insta killing things probably with like I a agree. scorpion tail. That's my guess, what I would do if I was designing how to put this thing. Whip? Well, no, just a stab, like oh, a, a, stab? a like a scorpion, like uh, you know, mm -hmm. stab you, poison you, and you're dead. That's what I have a picture. All right, prepare for the worst. So then I didn't need to move so close, uh, but I'll still stay there. That's fine. Okay, pass for a red. I don't like the red deck right now, but. We gotta get through it. Okay, crits and stuff. Yeah, I hate this red deck. I hate it right now. It's only one miss out of it, uh, but I, there's still two more crits, but not many, no threes left that are regular. You want a red die? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oops, oh, sorry, sorry. Red die, and then the white deck, because it only has one miss in it too. Yeah, these both decks suck. So I'll take two white. Ah, uh, I know the play. No. Um, I just can't miss because I want extra three damage. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right. Okay. Uh, I want to pull a card, okay. a crit. Okay, so two, three, four, five, plus three. I need like one more. I'm going to reroll on this red. And I will pull from the deck, actually. Oh! oh spicy! Now, would you pull another one? or? Do yeah, you I want to get through some of the blanks, so yeah, oh, there you that's go. fine. Okay. We have two blanks out of the red. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, which is a perfect three, right? Here. Sorry, plus you have another three, right? Plus another three yep, is down two. to two left. Nice. Yes. Nice. That's how we That's do. That's very good. That's how we do. So, blank there. Okay. Um, and that was done. The rangers all spent. The bears all spent. Okay, exile. I, I guess we'll move the exile. He can move for six. I think we just move some civilians. Unless I come down and also. Locator, I think we have to have the ability to shuffle the decks. I don't. I don't think. I don't know. Is there an end of the two, round to shuffle three. the decks? I don't think so. No. It's just only when you use an ability that shuffles them, or they just shuffle on their own when you get to that point, right? Yeah. But we can't. I can use um, a battle flow or animus token from a companion to shuffle them. I can use uh, the zero card from any of our full characters. Stop here. Mm. So there's a play here where I can move both of these guys. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Like both of them off the board. I could then use a battle flow token to move one to be or uh, one two or something. Get that guy off the board and save three of them. But I don't know how many we want to have for like cannon fodder. Well, obviously this consume thing. We need to use these guys for that consume bait. 
Trying to save them from death is great, but we need to leave some... I don't know if the consume gets worse. I don't know if in, like, deck 3 there's, like, 4 of those. I know. You know what I mean? We're mm -hmm. still only level 1. So there's definitely going to be a level 2 version that's probably worse, a level 3 version that's worse. There's probably, like, 2 per level, I would assume, uh, based on that, so... I could also just move 2, and then I could move somewhere, like, over in this area, and then see what happens on the next card. Because I think we want to save, like... At least half of them is good. Are you okay if I save two? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so then for free, one, two, three, four, he's gone. And then one, two, three, four, he's gone. And so then... Six are saved right now. I won't use my battle flow token. I'll just... Oops, those are too far. I'll move for six again. One, two, three. And I'll just go in here and I'll just kind of wait and see what happens with the next card. And then maybe I can even attack. <laughs> I can put the dead ones on this side too, any that die. Dead ones? Well, one is going to be no dead. No one could die? What are you talking uh, about? And then the priest still does have two, but I think he's going to save those. Because right now we're good. Yep, done. I'm done with my characters. Now what? Uh, enemy. So, uh, move six to target. So I think we have to go, like... It just... Uh, okay, hold on. They all move. Yeah, yeah. I think if we pick this one up and replace it on this. And then pick that one up and replace. But so weird the way it, like, moves. It... it sure, it o only moves, like here so it just pushes this guy it goes here okay I think I, would i be pushed up north uh no pushes just in the direction oh, okay. goes but if there's ever like a tie um and you're worried about direction uh the target is consumed if they have the vibration mm -hmm. token give it to the neck the closest o sworn priest or wherever the priest is Okay. So this one's dead. This one's dead, so it's off to this side. Moment of silence for our first civilian. Oh, the target is now in the belly. Da, 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 da. Okay, and then move three northwest. Um, one, two, three. I guess we should do the same. Oh, okay. Should push this straight north. Oh, you stupid ignorant. Okay, and then that one's done. Oh no, consumed again. So consume is a thing. And then that's it for level one. And when we break the next die, actually, we can skip the consume thing if we do bust a die, which I don't think I want to do yet, but we could bust a die to just jump right to three if we were worried. But I think we still do the play. But the problem is the priest is holding the vibration token. Yeah, but I just go to that guy. Oh, yeah, you can get up in there. Yeah, one, one two, two three. three. And then he's off, or you can send him with the token, like, you know, in a direction, whichever way you want, four spaces, and you can put him around the tree, actually, and... Throw him up here and just get get the guy busy while we fight the tail. Or the belly. The belly is probably where we need to... Yeah, because the belly then would be right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so that is it for enemy. So refresh. Two, four, six. I have all of my animus. Also, if you ever have three health or less, gain one health at the start of each refresh phase. So I go to four. And... Six and... This comes back to my hand. All right, so I think I want to go and move and give that token away. Oh, should I have battle flowed? Three. Yeah, sorry. I'm going to do a battle flow uh, and then say these were battle flowed last and in my hand here. Get rid of this token, even though I can use it for others. I want my stuff. Okay, 
And I'll just battle for that, which is fine. All right, I think I just moved three. And if you will put, place the priests... Five, two, three. And then, do I have to spend an animus, or I just give this? Uh, you just get... Well, you have to spend an animus to move it, and it says when you're moving it, you can give it to him. Okay, so then I don't have to spend any more. So I spend three to move. I think, right... Yeah. A uh, character may force the vibration token onto a civilian They uh, when they make the move. Okay, perfect. So I paid three for that. Okay. Where is he going? Who's going? Which which way? You want him around the other side of the tree? You want him over here somewhere? Where oh, I see. I have to. I see what you're saying. Not my move. Okay, so I spend one, and yeah, you're right on the other side of the yeah, tree. Yeah, you're like you're giving it to him. You're telling him to run, him. and then he's making noise, and yeah. the vibration of him running is is causing the guy to to smell him and or feel him and sense him and come after him. Where do you want them? On the other side of the tree, like you said, yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it'll just break the tree, I think, which is fine. Yeah, he's back there hiding. Okay. Then... Matthew wrote an obituary for the first civilian. <laughs> Jack dropped an F in chat. La Lativa was a wonderful tailor. She sewed the finest leather in town. She is survived by her brother, the blacksmith, and her father, the butcher. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Aw. That's awesome. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> That's right. amazing. <laughs> Keep him near you, says Dominic. Why? Why? He's going to die. We'll let the head go that way and move the tail a Yeah, I, I kind of don't care about the head right now. I want to work on the belly and maybe the weapon on the tail. That's where I'm at. Like, any damage to the belly, we need two on the tail. I, I don't care about this last mouth one, unless we find out when we get to another card that if we've broken the whole head, it does, like, nothing on a card. That would be amazing, but... That's not how this game seems to work. It's like you just get little advantages, so we're going to try to get all the little advantages we can, but... The belly will move two times as the head does. Wouldn't the head only move one? Oh, oh I, I see what you're saying. The belly will end up being up here after. Yeah, because it's move six to the target, and then it's going to move northeast. Oh, okay, I Okay, gotcha. so yeah, keep it where... I forgot about the second move. Ah, uh, you're the best. Thank yep. you. Yep. Next level. You're right, you're right. Yes, yeah, so maybe keep it. So keep them like... Uh... One, two, three, four, like this or something? Yeah, because then he only needs to move up one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's good. Okay. So now... Yeah, okay, he has to move four, right? I think. Do I have an attack for two? Yeah. Oh, it's up to four hexes. You don't even need to move at the full four. I thought you did, but it's up to four. So if you want to place him anywhere different... No, I think that's fine. Okay. That's fine. And now I'm just going to spend one. If you'll move my priest in one beside the exile... Uh, sorry, in there, yeah, yeah, because okay. then I can still hit the belly. Then I will... This is going to Oh, the priest doing damage? This is a good game. Gonna We're do... going to win. Yes. If he's, he's gonna... actually doing damage. Then I'm going to spend two. <laughs> Let's see if he does any, though. I know. We're going to spend two. We're going to do an attack that costs two. This is cool down three. Okay. Uh, he's rolling two. Nothing in the belly has been... Yet, nope, right? nope, not okay. a thing. Uh, but there is a core spot to like, we'll work on that one first, obviously, because maybe there'll be one that shows up at the core that, you know, we'll get a benefit on. Okay. I'm rolling four dice. I have two rerolls. Oh, oh, this is good. Spicy. This is oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is for my critical. Oh, it's blank, of course. Okay. You need to move the dice out and like roll your critical the same way you roll your other dice. Yeah, you you're right. Kind of like, I'm afraid of bumping dice, Ugh. and it just falls in on blank every time. You <laughs> need to true. like smash it in there, like Let you did with these. Let it bounce around, yeah. Yes. All right. So this is what I'm gonna say. You get a free because you're learning how to roll dice on Rob's gaming table. This is your first time ever. Oh, it's no, that's cock. cock you definitely have to reroll that. Don't worry, I have new dice trays on the way. This thing needs to go in the garbage. Oh, it's still blank. Okay, it's so, meant to yeah, be blank. It's cursed. All right. Anyway, so three, four, the five, the dice seven, gods, eight. The dice gods had your fate on your die, so it didn't matter. But okay, two to the core. Two to the core. Okay, then I'm gonna do one last thing. As the priest, I am going to spend one. One adjacent character gains one health, and I lose one. So I go back down to three, but I'll heal up. And then the exile, who I'm adjacent to, will go back to full. Okay, now I'll come back to my hand. Okay, awesome. He's done. Hmm. No. 
Green gods are still sleeping. Uh, so I have the ranger that can just shoot out the tail some more before it runs away. And she doesn't have to move because it's still within range four. And still in the arc. I get free extra damage so I can start. I, I like you let me know what you think. Should I start weakening everything or should I try to kill the weapon? But then that means it'll go to level two already, which we can avoid the consume. But the problem is it might change to something that does a attack the target, kill everything in range three. Then we lose a civilian more than one. So I like your... The, your th thought here of weakening the die because after yes. chapter two, once it went to to level three I and know. it gained more more yeah. uh, defense, having the die weaker yeah. it made it so that we could. But win. that might not be the same with all. Like he, I know he, not, he might not have magical spells that give him extra defense like the crazy satyr did. Or whatever, also, right? I think if we leave this card to let it yep. just fire off. All right, as so is, Ranger it's is going to fire with thread the needle on uh, just targeting the butt and doing what it does. Mm -hmm. Um, unfortunately, doesn't have empower still. So you know what? Where are you, bear? Bear? You know what? I'm gonna have the bear actually. Oh man, I could give you guys empower. I could have gave the priest an empower before he attacked. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna attack again, likely. I know, Next but turn. I forgot I'm doing support bear. I want to do support bear this turn, and and I can give you guys both empowers. No, Axel hasn't gone so. And Exile is just going to attack the belly. Okay, so let me do that. Uh, so I'm going to spend three and not move with the bear. And the bear is going to give up to two friendly characters within range three. Either move two or an empower times three. Oh, I think they both want empower times three. Yeah. And then this will go down to cooldown one. Thank you. And then uh, he can move two. So I think I go one, two, and chill here. Unless I'm blocking you guys. What do you think? Uh, you're blocking the Exile, but the Exile can move for... What are you? What are you trying to attack? The uh, belly. Uh, uh, but I can think I can move so, around well, the freeze. So the bear won't attack the belly too. So too. Uh, I need. Oh, to, I can get to here. So don't yeah, worry, yeah. don't worry, because I can use a battle flow token to move. Perfect. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, so that was the bear doing that card. Spent three animus. Goes to one cooldown. And then the ranger is doing the attack that we we're just talking about. So uh, do I do cards? I have only two blanks in there. I've seen a lot of juicy stuff, so no. But I think I still only have one blank in I know. Here. Yeah, this white deck stinks. I didn't have enough to refresh it. So yeah, I... just give me um two white and a red. Give me another white. You got this. Four plus three is seven. Two damage somewhere. I don't want to do the reaction attack, so yeah, let's just drop this down. Unless I pull a reroll here on that red. Yeah, let's do it. Reroll on the red. Oh, I'll just reroll the die. Oh. So three. So that's another damage down to three. Yeah, all right. Okay. That's good. Uh, okay, and then um, three enemies in your front arc. No, you need to move better for that. You, you could use the battle flow to move if that was. So I don't I know. Moved like three in. Front arc. One, two, three, four. So if I moved one, two, then I'm one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, I could have. You could do both. both of them. Sure. Battle flow, but this could refresh my decks too. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm spending one to refresh my decks. And I'll refresh the red and the white if you want to take the white and shuffle it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Might do the yellow too. Yeah. Let's do the yellow also. Yeah, Jack's discussing in the chat that whole, like, going to stage three after reactions. That part of the game it fascinates me. I'm not sure the way to go, but, yeah, you could attack hard and go really fast and, and get reactions, but then you're quickly into stage three. 
it never ends because you just keep cycling stage three cards after you've gone through all five of them, you shuffle them back up to a new deck. Um, and you just keep going, but then you know, like we've seen some of them, they're really bad. So it's kind of like the clock is definitely ticking at that point. Yeah, but the only good thing is that you have known information at that point. Once you've gone through all the stage yeah. three and you see them. Those weights are shuffled, but you can cut if you want. Sure. And you can cut that if you want as well. Okay. Um, and then we're going to do the battle flow, like you said, to move to. And then uh, we're going to do a multi shot. Targets up to three enemies in your front arc. Actually, I can get all three. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Here and here. They're all, yeah, they're all within the shot. Okay, cool. Now I really wish I had empower times three. Damn it. All right. So let's start the new decks going here. Ignore the highest value card. Okay, let's do this. I'm probably going to miss, but... Yep. And I have no rerolls. Uh, yep, nothing I can do, but it does give me the empower... Mm. No, I'll take a reroll at this point. And that's fine. So we got two blanks out of the white deck. That's good. Excellent. And only a two out of the red, so the red's still hot. Red's still hot. Okay. Okay. So uh, big whippers. Okay. Let's use a battle flow. If you can just move my uh, exile to be adjacent to the belly, I think it just goes around. Yep, yep. between the tree and there. Yep, perfect. And then uh, I will spend one. I will do a fury on the belly to... In two, I think. The belly is... We got a four, six, and six. Okay. He does have an empower times three. I could do... I could spend it. I could make one a red. I could make one a yellow. Maybe I don't even do this one, and I do a, this one into a black. So this one was upgraded twice. And this one was upgraded once. All right, let's see what happens here. I have two rerolls. Pack in the belly. Oh, we got a critical, which means I can do a second attack as well. Okay, so, uh, but does he have yellow. stuff that's... Oh, no, he doesn't have that weapon, right? That lets him get, like, uh, two cards for the critical instead? No, that was on... Like that? No. Okay, just double checking. Like, I... Um, yeah. No, that was on, I think, on one of his main cards, or his main uh, ability. I can do that with a bear in a second. So let's see what my critical is. Is a one. All right. So that is two damage to the belly. Hmm. Two damage to the belly. I don't know. Do we... Let's focus on the core still. Yeah. Because it's not dead yet. Okay, then I get to do another attack with this. That and power is gone. So now we're going with two yellows and two whites. And I can do the ma that max two attacks with mm -hmm. this ability. So. Uh, okay, I do have one reroll. So let's reroll the yellow. Oh, critical. critical. Okay. Oh, wow, nice. Uh, so that does three damage, so we'll just do that to one of the belly parts. Okay. We could attack one more time with just a basic attack. Because that was the Fury that did that. Uh, yeah, let's just attack, spending one Animus, two, and let's go two again, and we'll see what happens. Oh, okay. I do have one more reroll. Let's try, because if he misses, it's determination anyways. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, so we'll keep that, and then I'll take an empowered I'm times sorry. three yeah. for my determination. Okay, and then that, that whiff. I feel like that was a decent turn for him anyways. Okay, priest is done, he's done, and heal. I'm going to attack with the bear, I think. Uh...
Yeah, I'll do this whole area effect thing, I think, to attack two of them. Oh, I only have... Well, no, I need, I need four for that. Never mind. Got to do one of these attacks that only costs three. Uh, no, none of them go to the right cooldown spot. Hmm... Maybe the bear just chills? I don't know. No, let's do it. I don't know. Yeah, that's annoying. That's annoying. Hmm. No, I think the bear will just chill. Yeah, it was a save three. Uh, Ranger's done, everyone's done? Yep. Yeah, okay. let's just let this guy go, I guess. So it's just the consumer. So move six to target. It's just gonna like literally be like this. God. All right, yep. No. Okay, and then consume. Okay, uh, I don't know, I keep hitting everything here. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. We, we should have also moved the rest of the body as well. Yeah, yeah. Instead. Uh, he's dead. Okay. So the head was just like literally right here. Mm -hmm. So this will go here and this will go here. Okay. And then it's going to move three northeast. So closest. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, From where it was eaten. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Most north is the exile, unfortunately. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. And now he wants to move three northeast. Northeast is this way. So one, two, three. Tree is. Yeah, it breaks the tree, right? Yep. Uh, yep. There we go. Yeah, because that one's more finished than this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. And then the... was like here no i'm not doing this right but what i got okay up this right oh. I... <laughs> what no i think that's why they want you to do it the opposite way like move tail first like tail goes in, and you're kind of like moving it like this so then they're yeah off. but i just hate the idea of picking up the head putting it off the board and trying to remember where exactly it's gonna no go. i don't think you do that i think you do you pick up the tail first and then you put it where the the belly was and the belly's gone, then you kind of put that okay, where the you head do it. Is. You do it going forward. Yeah, because I'm, uh, it, it just bothers me. Okay. Okay, and then this is gone. Now, this is the first of level two. Oh no! Quake! The worm's head thrashes at the ground, causing the earth to shake. Sense vibration moves six to its target. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, this attack targets all enemies adjacent to the worm's head. Okay. So, not at range three or anything. But then it says each enemy within range three of the worm section suffers knockback two. And remember, these little guys are only worth one, so they start banging into each other, the civilians, or we bang into them, they're dead, or they bang into obstacles or whatever. Uh, um, each uh, suffers so knockback two. If if in range two of, if in range of two or more body parts, the knockback comes from the closest body part. Oh, okay. And move three south. South. Okie dokie. That's not the worst. Yeah, whatever, man. So now refresh. <sighs> it comes back to hand. I go to four health. Two, four, six. Mm. Okay. I always see, like, at the start of my turn, like, what I should have done with that animus last turn, and, like, so weird. Anyways, it's fine. I'll just keep going. Hmm. Does the bear need a health before you move anywhere or do any attacks to go to full? Because I can, I can give you a heal while I'm adjacent to you. I don't know. He needs one, sure. Okay, so I'll spend one. 
if you want I to. Lose one. Don't, yeah. don't, don't you die. No, no. And then this goes here. Okay. Let me do the bear if you don't mind. Yeah, no, no, I that's think, perfect. I think is the bear. Okay. The bear is going to just move one. Okay, bear moves one. Yeah. Then the bear is going to do... Tribal Rage. Uh, for four. He's going to attack twice. And only one determination. Hmm. Let's do red. White, white. Uh, let me get miss. White. And I will attack the belly. Yeah, belly, belly, belly. Ooh, I may, Good start. I regret pulling all those whites now. Oh. Please be a one. Yes. Oh, great. And attack. this one, I want to be blank. Yes. Wow. Perfect. Okay, now we critty crit. So I'm going to put that to three blanks. Four blanks. Yes, that's what I like. Okay, now crit me nice on red. Keep critting. No. Okay, that's fine. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. We need it in threes. Okay. Uh, no blanks out of the red deck yet. Okay. Uh, so let's attack again. This time, we're still going to attack the belly. Red. White. 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 Three. Two. One. Wow. One. Okay. No crits, though. What the heck, man? Uh, but is it in number threes and threes? Yes, and one extra. Okay. So let's just do. I don't know. I guess just two damage here. And this goes here, pushes this here. All right. Oh, wait, wait. Yes, I did. That's okay. That's okay. I get to do it now. I forgot about that. I forgot, I forgot. Oh, uh, I'm done. Okay, uh, I'll spend four more. And we're going to attack the front arc, so I'm going to be able to hit the belly and the tail. So I'm doing this whole targeting the front three hexes business. Uh, so I add two damage to the hit because I'm hitting two enemies. And I didn't miss, so I didn't get the power on missing one of those hits. I kind of wanted to miss one, actually, but it's okay. So on this one, though... I'm just going to pull two white. Okay. Blank. Oh, no. Not good. Not good. Oh, I knew it would be bad. Oh, no. But I have a reroll. Okay, I hit now. Let's crit on the white. Perfect. Oh, that's Six exactly. again. Okay, so this is, what was I saying? It's hitting everything. Uh, uh, and then it has plus two damage. Oh, which is like one shy of what I needed. Mm. Nothing I can do about that. Oh, well. Uh, okay. Now, how does this work? Oh, if I break two dice at the same time, this is the one where it... Um, where we just resolve two reactions back to back, right? Yeah. If I do that? Yeah. But I don't want to do that. So, let's bring this one down to one. And let's bring this one down to one. And this goes into one, which cools these down to here. Oh, I did crit. I could do the two card thing. Hold on. 
Oh. I needed this to be there. Yes, I need to do this here. Uh, so I'll draw an extra. Uh, I draw an extra one. Oh, so now it's three. Now it hits three to, on each. So I am gonna do. Let's put this back to three. I'll do three here instead, and on this one I'll just break one, which whatever I'll just break one on the belly. Okay. So then I'll get rid of all this. Yeah, yeah. I want to put this here so this would have cooled down here after. Yeah, yeah. I got to remember to use that. To pull the two cards. Or else I'm being dumb. It's free. Okay. And another blank came out of the white. And we have a blank coming out of the red. Okay. Red deck is thinking it up now. Okay. Okay, so then you broke a dice. So we're going to do... We're already in level two, so we Sense don't need to do vibration is me, but do I take the token or I just become the target? No, I think you just become the target and I still keep the token. Uh, whoever's the vibration is the target. If the stage was a reaction, the worm will target the one who caused the damage as usual. Yeah, that's all. Okay. okay. So, and then it's going to move six to the target. So if we did like this, I'm going to do this into here. And if you'll put that where the head is. And then the head's going to move six, but I think oh, it's I just see. going to go right in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it'll be right adjacent. Oh, my hammer's in the way. All right, Toby. <laughs> uh, Toby, you and your miniatures, man. I don't know. On paper, it looked great, but... It just reminds it's me... It's a little puzzle I got going on here, trying to fit them all. It's like, be... oh, Zombicide, when we're trying to, like... Put, uh, you know, all miniatures in, like, one square when they're, like, getting really crazy at the end of a scenario. I also think always of Majara with Remy's wings oh, that were, like, so big yeah, and you can so never annoying. fit all the characters. It's like, man, this looked awesome on the Kickstarter page. Now that you have it, you're like, why are they trolling me with these giant, <laughs> silly miniatures? <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, then it's going to attack. Oh, Jack says you're supposed to choose which dice damage before hitting in this one. On that swipe, you did pick after. Uh, under huge. Uh, okay. The worm has three body parts. The head, the belly, the tail. Each body part counts as a different enemy. The worm has no facing. It does not matter which direction is turned when moved or placed. Attacking the head of the worm always counts as attacking the front. The belly as the flank. The tail as the rear. When damaging the worm, you may choose any die on the body part to damage before damage is drawn. But it doesn't say you can't do it after. Yeah, because if you... It, it says May, so I'm assuming if I don't choose it before drawn, I can follow the normal game rules and choose it after. That's how I read it was like, it's a May, so it's like not changing the rule or breaking it. Like, I don't know. I think you'd want to change it. Why would you want to change it? Is that to prevent for reaction purposes or something? If your rest of your ability fails? I don't know why it's a you may, but... I don't know. Do not remove a body part when all the dice are removed. Instead, it can no longer be damaged, but still acts. Yeah. Yeah, Jack, when I read it, it was just like a may thing. So I was like, oh, yeah, whatever. I don't know why I would ever choose that, but I'm still going to just do it after. I, I don't know. It doesn't tell me you must or do not do it after anything weird. Yeah, no, but Jack, you might be right. It just may be a typo. Like it could be, I don't know. That's probably something if it was asked in the forums or whatever. I, be, I bet there is a whoopsie, or maybe it was meant to be that way. But why? Why would I want to choose it before? Does anyone know? Is there something I'm missing? Maybe another character or something? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't, I, don't, I don't know everything in the game to know. Like, there's probably a reason, but... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Oh, sorry. Did we do the rest of this? Uh, oh, no, we didn't. Each, uh, so he does a mouth attack. Uh, this attack targets all enemies adjacent to his head. And he's going to attack kind of all of us. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. But it's a mouth attack, so it's only one black. I'll flip them in a second. And two. PG Cole, hello. Hello. Okay, so this is attacking this one, this one, and this one. All three are adjacent to the head. Uh, 
do I want to put in okay. a defense? So it's attacking bear, this one and this one. They're all adjacent. Uh, with what? Uh, Melf? No, oh, just I have, uh, yeah, those just two. two oh, okay. And there's been no blanks taken out of either deck. Hmm. So let's see. I'm going to put in a... Um, no, let's keep that one. I guess we're just putting in a one defense. I want that back. I want the two back. Yeah, I'm going to hope that it's low. I'm putting in two defense. That'll trigger these to battle flow. So I have defense five. He's fine. Mm, yeah, I'll do... I don't know. I'll just do defense. Yeah, let's do four. Uh, so I'm at seven. Okay. Three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So priest takes one because I was defending for five. Exile is defending for four. He's going to take two. I have a question That's in this fine. weird situation. I don't know the answer to this, but I'm going to ask. It's probably not as good as I'm thinking, but I can interrupt it after Jace enemy draws damage, which is happening. I'm adjacent to it. I can ignore one of the enemy's might cards, your choice. Am I ignoring it just for hitting me? Or in these situations where it draws all... Um, it draws once and targets all. Do I get to ignore it for all three of us? And it's... I, I don't know. That's, that's an interesting one. I, it's probably like a known thing. Like, I'm being silly. It's probably not that good. But it just says ignore one of their might cards. I know the bear's theme is like it's trying to be the target and protect and be defensive and stuff, but that seems really powerful. It's but I think of the theme is like I'm adjacent to it, I'm biting it to distract it. Yeah. And if and it's attacking a, all of us. A three cooldown away for it. Yeah. Feels like yeah. But am I ignoring the card for everybody, PG Cole, or am I just ignoring it for relative to the bear taking damage? I would assume it's for everybody. But I don't know. Oh, that would be huge because I'm going to do it though, and we'll do it for everybody. It is a three cooldown. Okay, so well, but, you're yeah, removing true. a three, so it's only five. So the priest still takes one because he yeah, was defending you're probably right. for five. Actually, no, I'm going to throw this away. Yeah, good call. PG, that Defend makes sense. Six. It, it is a three, so it should be strong. That makes sense. Yeah, you're right. He defends for four, he's going to lose one. So the, the, it's five incoming. I think you block it, right? With your bear? Oh, yeah. Bear, did, bear's defending defend for like seven. For seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like this bear being defensive. That's cool. Okay. And then... Like really defensive. And then the worm stuff... Okay. Sorry. Each enemy within range three of the worm suffers a knockback two. If in range... Oh, sorry. If in range of two or more body parts, the knockback comes from the closest body part. So I just think I still go this direction. You go like this direction, and this guy goes like this direction. Okay. Something like that. And then we're gonna move three south. So this is gonna go where that is. If you'll pick that one up. However angled that was, sorry. And then that's gonna go here. And then it's moving three south, like. Uh, Something like that. Something yeah. like that. Oh no, the ranger's scared. Okay. That's gone. Ah, no. She still gets it to go, right? Yeah. She's gonna run. Oh, another quake. Oh, quake again. Another quake. Okay. Oh, but this one's north. Oh, look, it's north. It does it is different. That's cool. Slightly different. So just because that's quake doesn't mean it's the exact same quake, even though it's level two. Okay. Um, I'm just thinking for a minute. So, how can we do this? So maybe we break another die. Who's the target right now? The exile. Yeah. Hmm. The exile could, as long as it, no one else is adjacent. I could just use the ranger right now and soften this last die on the head a little bit. Oh, yeah, she doesn't have really any you. tokens to do anything. 
Um, because then I think then we start trying to. But if you do break a die with someone else and it moves away, then I have the belly here. I could do that if he moves for six. If he comes in here, no, he could even hit the belly or the tail, whatever uh, you want. This is just the strongest die right now. So we are going to try to weaken it to like then try to finish off the dice fast. Um, oh, Toby's here. So yes, for huge AOE attack, this can be useful. Oh, what are we at? Oh, sorry. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh, it applies to a single attack launched by an enemy adjacent to you. Okay, that's what happened. So that's what oh, yeah, did that the right. Yeah, the, the, the uh, blocking a card uh, or ignoring a card. Yes. Uh, let's see. So attack once, apply to all, bite, negates damage to all targets. Mm -hmm. Obi says forget targets. It's simply negating a might die from the attack regardless. Of yeah, okay. That's yeah, what so I that makes sense. Okay, that's what we thought. That's why when I read it, I was like, okay, this. if it just, if I read as simple as it is, we ignore one card. It's like, then when we're doing math, that card's ignored. Like, but I didn't know if it was like steps to it. Like, let me check for just the bear. And now I interrupt only when it's applying damage to the bear. I don't know, but. Which makes sense because it's a three cooldown too. Yeah, that so, makes sense. Yeah, because yeah. then he's saying like for huge AOE attacks, that can be very useful to help negate them even more. Yep, the bear just has to get in there and bite down. Yeah. Cool. So there's a play here where I actually even send my exile to send the it. tail. Try to break a die. That will bring the belly to you. Mm-hmm will be able to trigger this. No one will be adjacent, so it'll only attack me, which is fine. Not it's your that call. will be fine. Because I, I feel like, how many more before we, six before we? Uh, yeah, six days have to be gone, so there has to be three left. So okay. It, okay, we still, so we still have three got more time. to break. And we still have one, two, three, four, four more cards, okay. Are you okay with that play if I try that? You do whatever. I'm uh, good. So I'm... Ran, as long as Ranger is in range to do some, and she can attack twice, whatever comes her way. The only problem is the belly, if she's attacking, assuming she hits both times, she'll probably break a die. There's like no way I can avoid it. So she could just go now okay. and soften this up with two attacks sure. and probably not break it. Okay, yeah, that's probably the best play. Okay. Because the, the other one we can't control, so... So I'll just do a regular attack. Because I have no rear arc business attack in the butt. Can't do it, it's too far away. And we're gonna draw out the white deck. Okay, firing on the head. Oh, oh no, you piece now of it's crap. Mess. Not for sure. Yeah, it is for sure. <laughs> I got cocky. All right, let's, uh, ooh. Uh, yeah, there's still a good chance of a blank in the red. Hmm. Hmm. So in that case, let's do a reroll and I'll just roll a red. Yeah. Oh, no. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> Uh, I'll still pull for the white. Do I? No, I don't pull because I want the discard pile to be fully shuffled in. Yeah. So I'll gain an empower times three and get my reroll back. I have one right here probably. Okay. Yep. She'll take an empower times three. And this will go all in here. This will go here. So I have two out of the red. Um... You want to shuffle that? For sure. Okay. And then I'll just attack again. But this time, let's empower up to black. Yellow. Yellow. You can cut that as well just to make sure it's Sure. Fully. Oh, no. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so that's four damage, right? Yeah, 12. Nice. Yeah, that's how we roll. That's huge. Okay, that's very good. Okay, all these dice are nice and soft. Now we should just go around saving everybody and taking dice out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Because we can still save a few more. But you never know if on the last, like, phase, when we get to level three really quick, I mean, not too quick, he's going to go through a few more two cards, right? Yeah. Four. Oh, yeah, still a lot. Still a lot. I don't, yeah, so I think we... Yeah, yeah, let's just keep ramming through those. I think we those. break dice. We break one more for sure. Yep. And then we st okay. stop. Um, I can't break with the bear. Can't break with the ranger, so... All right. Um, they're, both, they're both snoozing. Okay, so let's go with Exile. Exile's going to move. He can move for six. Let's go up beside the tail. Yeah, go break the weapon. Yeah. Maybe. Up beside the tail anywhere. It doesn't really matter, I guess. It does matter. Maybe like right here. Uh, right here. Mm. Oh, yeah, because then also be adjacent. Okay. So now let's do... Yeah, because the tail will show up there after it moves. Let's do... Oh, yeah, you'll get surrounded. That's great. Fury in case I whiff... And I'll be able to attack again as long as it's a crit. Oh, is it? Oh, I have to hit. So then, no, let's not. Let's just do. Let's just do regular attack of two yellows. You can empower, but I feel like we need to save the empowers for the when we're in level three. We need to make sure they hit. Uh, let's do two. I have one reroll. Okay. All right, we did. We're successful. Three, four, five, six. So that's two damage on the tail. You want to break? Yes. Okay, we broke the rear, the rear with the the tail part. Uh, okay. Uh, Sense vibration. Who's got? He's it? already got it. Move six to target. So let's... pick up. Yeah. Pick up. Oh, wake up. Oh, we'll do the priest thing, but I guess that's fine. <laughs> <You're open. laughs> Told me. <laughs> oh, the priest is like right in yeah. his mouth, like looking directly in his face. <laughs> going to oh my god. No, no. I'm not in the shot. This one. <laughs> oh <my> breath. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see here. Do I have something fun that can do like what you just did? No. I need to get those cards back, so I'm going to play. <laughs> this one. Okay, so this is a mouth attack, so it's one black, two reds. For the priest, I'm going to play a one defense. It smells like civilians in there. <laughs> Actually, let's do this one. <laughs> one defense, that's going to push all of these here. So I'll get all those back next turn. So he's defending for four, and he's also defending for four. Blank, four, five, six. So one damage here, and one damage here. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Okay. Oh, congrats, the Cabra. Congrats. Cabra says, Chapter 5 boss is dead. Nice. Yes, dance on his corpse. Okay, so it targeted all adjacent which we did, okay? And then each enemy within range three is knocked back two. Okay, I think it's just you guys. Uh, um. If in range of two or more body parts, the knockback comes from the closest body part, and then move three north. So this is gonna go where the tail, is, or the middle is. All right. Okay, this is done. Oh, Whoosh. sorry, hand it upside down. Crush the worm wraps around you, leathery hide crushing you with its weight alone. So this one will be sense vibration, move six to a target. Yum, yum, yum. If the target loses any health, they will lose an additional. Ooh, got to keep that health up. Got to keep that health up or you get crushed. Okay, so we probably don't want to... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you would die as a priest, so careful. 
The exile would lose two down to two. That's scary. If he takes any damage, yeah. Oh yeah, you got to prevent the damage. Maybe the bear would be the best for it, but I don't have. I'm literally holding one card that has zero defense, so we gotta wait. Okay. I need to get some uh, little battle flow going, which I should. Priest, I feel do. like I need to move somewhere. I need to move near the. I think I'm gonna battle flow. Yeah, I'm gonna battle flow these to here. Yep. So I could do a fair Hmm. Those are all coming back to my hand. I think the priest doesn't do much except for maybe move. Oh, the ranger suffers knockback. Each enemy within range three of oh of any worm section. Sorry. Maybe was that different? Yeah, so you were Oh yeah, sorry. Oh I see. So that's even oh, this even guy the would bear have been, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't was the other one the same? I don't know. We might mess that up then. That's fine. I don't know oh where yeah. This tree's supposed to be, but okay. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, we didn't probably mess it up before then. Uh, okay. Was this guy then? He's in range one, two, three, so he gets like knocked back. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's neat, actually. Yeah, yeah. Get away. I thought I'm only counting from the head. Then I was thinking if it's by the head and another body part, then we pick a different direction. But I was like, why is it telling us for two body parts? It makes sense now. All right. So I just don't know where to put the, position the priest. Do I start bringing him to this you side? You need to bring him near the other players yeah, to heal so. them and or save two, two, uh, people. But we can use the... Um, one, two, I should use the three, ranger to heal. Um, do that. Four. One, two, three, four, five. And that's going to come back to my hand. So let's use this item to gain one. And then I will move one. All right. Okay. Ranger and next turn can save all three of those. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then I, my two characters are done. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. So sense my wish. So are, it's him and he's already adjacent, I think, yep. right? Move six to the target. Done. Um, and a mouth attack. Oh, you're going to lose. Please be all misses. Don't lose any health, exile, or we're going to be in trouble. I defend for four. I have one. Blank. Yes. Blank. Four. I'll put this in so I take none. Yes. So I defend for five, it. so I don't lose two health. Stupid worm. And then move three north. Okay, one sec, sorry. <laughs> three north? Three north, yeah. Uh, it can just pushes you out of the way and moves here. And then the, actually, I don't know how that works. It's kind of weird, right? When you replace the bottom, so you're saying this goes here. And then this would go where he was, but like, like I take this off, right? Oh, I don't think that last one is a spot. Oh, see, so he was just there? Oh, I, I don't see. think he can. So it'll just go as best he can, right? And then, like, yeah. I guess it's more north is over here, maybe? I don't know. And then you're up here still. I'm hiding in there. Yeah, I don't know. Because he, like, wants to go down, like, north, but there's no spot, so he'll just go there, I guess. I don't know. That uh, feels okay. All right. Okay. What's next? Uh, reef. Oh, oh, sorry. That was three north. Yes, that's that. So let's take this. Burrow. Uh oh. The tough head burrows back into the earth. Then moments later, you feel a deep rumble beneath you. Sense vibration. Remove the word's head from the game board. Board. Move the other body parts as usual. It bites the target. Also attacks all enemies adjacent to the target. Redraw all blanks once. <gasps> this is a bad one. So we hope we got to make sure it's. This is where you give the vibration to a civilian. And then replace the worm's head on the target's hex. Place place the worm's head on the target's hex, pushing back all enemies. So either someone with big defense, or give it to the civilian and let him go. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. Okay, refresh. But who has it? The exile. Yeah, and he's like... How does he get around there? This is, he can move <laughs> for six. Oh, so one, two, three, four... Five, six. And then he could. He, he could move again and to get over can, here and just push this guy off. Well, he could. 
or not push him off, but like give move him, him the forward and give him the vibration. But for then you don't want to be nearby. That's the problem. Oh, you can tell him to go this way. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And that guy goes over there, and we just push him to his death. Yeah. That's exactly what he looks like. But that's why I'm scared of getting rid of all these guys, because we need them for these kind of attacks. Because you're too low, this guy's scary. Oh, this guy's sorry, he's going to heal one and refresh phase, so he's at three. Still, though. All right, refresh. Oh, yeah, and I got my heals back. Refresh six. Guy. I got to put this first so I remember to get rid of this card. Oh yeah, I do have a battle one battle flow token if I need to use it for two move mm. as well. Yeah. So I could get farther away. I think it's okay. But I think we also so we should probably But the problem is is then we're not breaking any dice this turn. Because I know. Well, unless someone can just take one of these hits, but yeah, just, again, it's, it's just gotta be the bear. it's got to be a high defense. We have. But I don't have my good defense. I have oh. one three, three, four, which is fine. And you have one. Yeah, so you can take the hit, but the only problem is going to be a huge hit. But he's still full health, so that's fine. But and the, I'm coming right behind you, so I sure you are. Oh, well, you're going up there. Well, I would have to to go break something. Or here, I go to the tail. Okay. I might not even break anything. I might miss. Who knows? Yeah. I, have I don't have any tokens. In my hand. The bear has no tokens. Mm. So I need to give myself like a... I can give myself like a... Play a Feral Roar for three, but then I'm down to only three left. And just give out some Empower tokens. Uh, then, but then you I can't even attack. attack. I can't. Yeah, I don't have enough to do. I think this turn I'm going to chill and just give out tokens if people can get within three of me. That's all the bear is going to do is set up people to actually hit and break stuff going forward. Otherwise, we'll be in that weird spot. If it gets extra defense or starts going crazy and then we start missing and can't do three damage because it's like we have no tokens. I wonder, though, if the exile could afford to take the one hit, take this hit. I do also have... So picture this. It, it draws like a blank on the black. And it could be up to a five. So let's play the worst scenario. Five... five. Uh, four and four, right? Five, nine, so just thirteen. That, yeah, that's your worst attack. Thirteen. And you're only and defending for four, so you're taking three damage. You're down to one. I do also. I do have um, one time use, which I haven't used yet. After damage is drawn against you, gain one defense against this that damage. You also have this gear for move two, not to mention that extra yeah, token, which I know, I know. But I'm just thinking like to trigger this so that we could do things. But it's okay to take a turn to, like, calm down, relax, refresh cards, heal up. I mean, Bear here could just save up into a bigger turn next. I have no tokens, so I, I need to give out tokens. I must. I must give away tokens. And then I could do battle flow all this, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, and I could just chill and get a defense token. I could just, like, get the bear ready, is what I'd like to do. So, get near me. I can give myself an empower three and one other player. So I can do it to the ranger, even. The ranger has a reroll, which would be nice. So the ranger can do... Um, I want to do this. So the ranger, I would just go like this. I go one, two, three, four, and then free. This guy's saved. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then I would just move... Um, probably, I could do one, two, three, four and be between them, but then I'm not one, two, three from the bear. So the bear can move one back and then I can give out tokens to myself, the bear and the ranger, and they both have a power plus three. Okay. If we're taking a turn to ready ourselves. Yeah. But if no one else is going to get near me, that's what I want to do this turn. So I'll just do that. Okay. So then the rain, this will go one, two, three, four. I don't have to move those guys now if we want to save them, but I can How can't... many have we saved? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Seven. I can make it eight and nine right now. And we still have one but yeah, that we're going to sacrifice that, for this. But then after that, when it gets to level three, we're all taking every single hit. 
Which I think might be okay because the belly... As can, long as we can do the damage. We can get rid of the belly. But if you already see in level 2 it's doing replacing blanks, it's going to get worse in level 3 where it might be injuring. We don't want it to injure. Okay, then maybe don't save him yet. Yeah. We'll save him next turn if we see yeah. it, that it's okay. That's what I'm thinking. Vincent says, have fun, but I'm going to go watch some more of your old Toonie Bone playthrough. <laughs> well, fine then. <laughs> That's fine. That's Dang. awesome. Thanks, Vincent. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, one card. They are one. old, aren't they? It's like we need some new ones. Mm -hmm. Whenever uh, Unbreakable delivers, we'll get some Too Many Bones flowing on the channel again, I'm sure, around then. I guess we played that book recently, though, which we should we could replay that, too, at some point. I want to. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Uh, okay. The Automaton of Shale. Can you actually, let me just do this now, can you move my Exile 6 around? One, towards... two, three, four, five, six. Okay, then I will... You want to kill Let's the head? Is that what you're trying to do? No, I'm trying to give away this civilian token first, or this token to the civilian, if we're not... Oh. Right, because we're not breaking a die. Yes. So let's use this as a move two. So I move, like, up in here? Uh, no, let's go here, because I think I want to be close so that okay. I can do some damage with the priest. Okay, then so I will... You want to be adjacent to the enemy then? No, because I might move back down more to get in range of him and get some heal. Oh, okay, yeah. If, if yeah, we're yeah, going to yeah. take no, a turn. That makes sense, yep. Uh, then I'm going to, for free, move... Him that One, way two, with three, this. Four. Let's put that in there. You tie some, tie uh, some steak to its his collar. Yep. And send him off here. Have this meat necklace, <clears throat> and go that way. Then I'm gonna move six again. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Okay, he's done. But if you went here, you're one, two, three in range three to do something or not. No, I need to be adjacent, but it doesn't matter. Well, then you want them closer, right? So you spend less to get adjacent. Remember, yeah, the tree at some point needs to be up here hitting too, right? I know, but then now I'm behind the tree and I have to go... But it's fine. It's That's fine. good. You want to be behind the tree. Okay, so then let's use Hiding the Hiding behind trees is where it's at. The priest wants to do this. <laughs> Flavor oh, this I have yet. to do... <laughs> Where's that? Where's my thing? Here. I'm not within range two of... An, of um enemy so that just whiffs and goes in my cooldown that's my injury uh let's go with just a move of two one two plus one that costs one let's move one more no no let's stay behind the tree you're fine okay let's do this one first oh he's four no we're not even gonna do that i don't think I need six. No, we're not even going to do that. We're just going to do this one. One adjacent character gains one health and you lose one. So he goes to five and I go to two. This is Battleful Zero. And then I think I can do this on myself. Oh, I don't think so, actually. Select an adjacent friendly character. I don't think I can select myself. So never mind on that. And then I'm going to regen six. And then now I'm going to just move two more. Uh, one, two. So he's kind of getting into the mix of everybody. Okay, he's done. He's done. Your ranger. Ranger went already. Oh, sorry. The bear. bear. So bear will move back. Actually, if we're not saving... No, I'll, I'll keep it there. Bear will move back. So one, two, three. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to spend one. Uh, to throw this here, and that will gain me a defense token. I feel like the bear is going to need to eat a whole bunch of hits to finish this thing out. And then, uh, I could spend three, and I'm not really going to have much next turn. Uh, up to two friendly characters within range three, I'm going to move to or gain... Um, uh, empower times three. So I'll just give one to the ranger who's going to finish the, the thing. I need one more. Um, uh, power times three. And you can't take that for yourself, right? Has yeah, I'm taking it for oh, myself. Oh, okay. So that's your two characters. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I think the bear needs to go in and, like, break some dice to take the hits because it's full health. Yeah. He has the best defensive cards. I'm about to throw this in here. I'm going to give the exile Ooh, at the start hold on. of the next Should turn. I actually, hold on. 
I'm going to battle flow a card first. Let's just uh, flow this one here after this, the first ability. Then this goes to zero. Then when I put this in here, all these go here. Mm -hmm. And I'll just sit there until I get a mech. And now I've used all my stuff. Oh, and then I can move two on this one too. Uh, let's move. He is going to not move. The head is going to be right there. One, two. Yeah, as we can give some tokens out. Oh, maybe not right away, but soon. Soon. PM. Oh, okay. Done. Done? Yep. Okay. Sense vibration. So, yep, which right is here. that guy? Uh, remove the worm's head from the game board. Move all other body parts as usual. I think the tail goes where the belly, and yeah. Okay, and then it says a target uh, mouth attack. I guess against that civilian. Uh, this attack also targets all enemies adjacent to the target, which there's none. We draw all blanks once there's none. And once the, uh, sorry, place the worm head on the target hex, pushing all back all enemies. So we just know it's going to kill this, this is guy. It's going to kill that one. And then uh, that... Well, it might draw full blanks and replace all full blanks. There's technically oh, a I chance guess. where it fully misses. And this guy just gets pushed away. I guess you're right. But I doubt that. Nope. Oh, and those are good cards to get out of here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Dead so civilian. dead. We have three uh, dead. Do we have an obituary for whoever oh. that civilian? Here, can I see it for a second? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I, I don't know if this guy, anyone know this guy? Anyone know this civilian? Uh, do, we, do we know anyone? I gotta say, was when, I was, close? when I was painting him, if I hold him up like this kind of, uh, he kind of looks like Dexter a little. Mm, sure. <laughs> or whatever the actor's name is. Yeah. Or just because he's wearing a hood and looking creepy. I don't know, kind of remind me of Dexter. His name is Frank. Oh, okay. Sorry, Frank. Oh, his name is Frank. Okay. I, I don't know him. I've never seen him around town, so no, I have no idea. No. I'm just curious if any of you guys knew who it was. I hear he's friendly, but... Yeah, what did Frank do for a living, man? Do you know? or? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay, sorry. And then we place that back. Okay, all done. That's discarded. Oh, this last card of two. Burrow. Same thing again. Same thing. Okay. Which I think is okay now, because now we have people that are a little more beefed up. Yeah, maybe. Okay. I have then... the sense vibration, so uh, it's the bear, because I was closest to where that guy just uh, bit the dust. All right. Refresh. Two, four, six. It's everything here. He goes to three, because I only have two health. I love this ability. Yep. Uh, this goes back oh, to my hand. Okay, I want to, if it's okay with you, I want to just heal that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, am I going to play a one? I don't think so. No. So I'm just going to heal, I'll spend one. I don't think I am. Let me think on it. You go, maybe go first with the bear. Are you doing something? Yeah, because maybe you can heal the exile after. Well, because maybe I can get this back. I just don't know okay. if I'm going to do something for a one. He's a simple man, keeps to himself, but brews some good whiskey. Oh. Well. Hopefully he made some uh, some extra batches that he left behind. Uh, we'll drink it at his funeral. <laughs> okay. Uh, if we survive. Hmm. Let's see. I can only hit two body parts there, but I could do the... Um, I could go in and finish the head and break one on the belly. And we just have this tail business. I mean, that's good. We're our, I can use oh, my AOE. that'll flip us into three, though. So I think if you could only break one first. Well. I guess it doesn't really matter, but. We do, well, I have to do unknown. two reaction cards, whether we do them separate or back to back. I don't know. The bear can probably handle it. But again, I don't have rerolls of the bear, so I'll probably miss. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. Hopefully. Mm, yeah, because I could go in here and then attack these two parts getting plus two damage. Yeah, and then the exile can still go. And that plus two damage. Actually, I only draw one card. I'll still I'll still break the head and break the belly. Oh, okay. Then and, it's fine. And yeah, and I just I'll just pull like one card or something. And that costs four. Oh, but can I get in there? 
Oh, I might not be able to move in there. I only have six. One, two, three. Yeah, I need. I don't have enough. Never mind. That's that one's not happening. Is there any that? I can't make you move. Hold on. Can I? I had. I thought I had a card that. Hmm. I had a card that. Oh, I forgot I have this too. I, I gotta remember this. The uh, I could use a combat token as if any other combat token. So I could use one of my defense tokens as a like redraw if needed. And that goes to cooldown one. Mm, I could just get in there and do. What could I do? Yeah, I really want to swipe. I don't know. Otherwise, what is this bear doing? I guess I could just run up and just attack the head. And see what happens. Yeah, because then we'll just pull this card. Hmm. I can move two for one with this card. One, two, then spend two more to get in. So that's only three, but then I needed four, right? Yeah, it's also the same problem. What am I? Oh, no. One, two, three. Oh, I need to move four to get in there. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. So. We'll just take another defense token. Yeah, let's do this. Let's let's be supporty bear. I'm gonna be supporty bear. So I'm gonna spend one, and I'm gonna gain another defense token. We're gonna turtle up. Okay. Uh, this will go here. Then I'm going to use my free card here to do one animus to battle flow one card. Putting this down here, I pick this up. Then I'll spend three. Uh, up to two friendly characters. Within range three, may move two or gain and power times three tokens. And I'm going to choose you two to take them. Unless you think the priest doesn't need and never will attack, that's a big waste. But hey. this guy should take one. Or sorry, this guy this should guy take will one. Take I'm so one. sorry, yeah, this guy this should guy take, will one. take one. And I'm do you so want confused. one? Yeah, sure. I think you have yeah, it. Yeah, the bear's going to get in there and go crazy in yeah, a second. Yeah, I think the bear and exile are going to try to finish some of these dice off. Yes. Okay. And then I can move two, which I'll get closer. And then I will just uh, hold there. Okay. Bear, bear a panito. Oh, did the priest not heal up to four or something? Yeah, was that two? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, um, bear's finished. The okay. ranger. I think at this point, maybe you can let them go. And we can take it at this point. I feel like everybody's going to be almost full health except for him. And he's just going to keep staying around the three. So the ranger can move closer um, because I have, or not move closer, sorry. I can add four to a range attack with my bow one time. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, not close enough. But at some point, I'll hit the tail with my nice three damage and probably break a tail. And I'm so far away if I do that that I shouldn't even be reached by this thing because it only moves six. So I, I could move first. The exile could get to the tail as well. One, two. Oh, but this is the one where it comes up under the ground. Yeah. Oh, so never mind. It'll. Yeah, no, I don't want that. But maybe the XL can get to the tail because it's going to be rare that he does that many hits to break a die. But if we can weaken it in case it does get any additional damage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At some point, Sorry, the Ranger so... is going to have a crazy far away attack to the tail to finish it. So we should just leave like one die for the Ranger on the tail. Yeah. And then I'll try to go for that. Okay. So yeah. Priest is going to just. And she's full spend... health still, too. So she shouldn't get injured by that. But Priest is going to spend one. 
and I'm going to move or one adjacent character heals one, I lose one. So I go to two, he goes to full. I'm gonna keep playing that game. Okay, the exile is gonna move six. Uh, one, two, three, and then I wanna get to the tail. So three, four, four five, six. six, you're one away. So I will use his battle flow token to move. So you're beside the tail and the head. Okay, then I'm going to attack. Using two yellow. I'm not going to empower it because I don't want to break the die. I just want to weaken it maybe to one. Why do you want to break a die? Because then we trick. Tri oh, I guess he can trigger it. It's that. the last one of two. Who cares? Get it out. All right, so let's go. Or you want to leave it to the end? Like, at what point are we, we got to break some more dice? Actually, we don't go um, until we break two more. So, like, I know. I guess do it doesn't it. matter. Okay, so let's empower. I don't know. So let's go red, then black. But after this, we need to go ham on it, I think. And then red, no, then a white to a yellow. Okay. So I took a white and two yellows, and I empowered the white to a yellow and the yellow to a black. Okay. I have one reroll. This is on the tail. Get him. All right. I'll spend. I think actually that one, because it didn't land in the dice tray, doesn't count. I'm pretty sure. So you need to roll that one. Yeah, because it like, yeah, that doesn't, if it's not in the camera shot, it, it doesn't count. So, yeah, so okay. roll another one. Roll or another flip a card. One. Your choice. Nope. There are three blanks out of here. No, I like the dice. Mm, okay. I don't. That's fine. Don't trust in the dice. Never trust in the dice. All right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's exactly three. So that breaks it. At the um, PG call, I did at the refresh phase. I did heal from two to three, and then now I went back down to two. Where are you hitting? You're hitting the tail. tail yeah. Do the one with the symbol. Is that is that already gone? Yeah, oh, it's okay. already gone. Okay. Well, I'm in. Okay. The only symbol we're not covered is the flank, um, the belly core symbol or whatever, which hopefully doesn't punish us in a bit. Okay, so remove the head from the game board. Done. This is going to do a mouth attack for one black, two reds. This is gone. This attacks all adjacent enemies. Redraw all blanks once. Okay. So the only adjacent is just, it's you, it's about yourself. Three, six. This gets redrawn once to another blank. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So six, I defend for four. So I take one damage, going to five. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then he and goes then... back on the board, pushing back all enemies. So he's gonna like push you like this. Oh yeah, we have to move all other body parts. I did already. Oh, you did already. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. He goes like and this. You're here. Yeah. Okay. So that's gone. Now we're in level three. So when we break the net last, it won't matter anyways. A toss. The head lunges at you. A oh, one of the many sized tusks hooks your leg, and you're flung like a rag doll through the air. Sense vibration. Move six to a target. Mouth attack. Yum yum. After the attack, the target suffers knockback for in a random direction. Uh oh, this is where we start losing health and get injured again. Unless we don't block each other. Yeah, if we stay over here. We're fine because we're not going to bang into things. But uh, these trees and walls on this section of the board over here on the left. And then it moves three south. Okay. Okay, priest. So now we're in three already. Yeah. So, so it, it does matter. not matter what we break because it's it's we're already there. So who cares? Okay. So priest, I don't want to attack with priest this turn because I need to heal before I do that. Uh, PJ Cole, you can scrub back if you want to see things. Uh, I'm like 99 percent yeah, sure I've done it. I don't care enough to go back myself right now and delay the stream. We've already been going long enough, but you can totally scrub back and check things. Edgar does it all the time in our chat and double checks us and stuff. So if you're if you're not sure, you can check it and then jump back on the on the scrubber. I have that DVR feature, whatever it's called, uh, turned on on the stream. So you can like scrub back and watch from wherever you want. Okay, I'm going to play. It's cool for on YouTube to be able to do that. I'm going to use this card. If you if you need to know, don't you don't have to. I'm OK if you don't check. Don't waste your time if you don't want to. But I'm no like 99.9% .9 sure I did it. I think I even said I did sure, it. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> OK, pay any amount of animus. Move two for each amount paid. This movement must be in a straight line. So that's going to go here. I just want this card back. So if I spend... Um, Matthew's saying, I just want to say one. rock on, Robin Mel. Awesome long stream. Thank you for keeping on. It, it, guys, if you weren't here, we wouldn't be doing this. So thank you for being here. <laughs> keeping us entertained and keep going and helping us out in the chat and questioning the rules and strategy and 
keeping us focused. I, I appreciate it. I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys because um, the coffee is not doing what I need it to do. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just getting worn out. I think too many days in a row I've been like nonstop all day and not doing a full night's sleep a few days in, in a row now. Last night I did sleep okay lengthwise, but um, I just don't feel rested. I don't know. I'm just getting worn out. I need to take like a day or something. But um, but that's why today I got into it. I'm like excited to play this game. I've been missing it for a few days. And then when I actually sat down to stream, I was like, oh no, it's going to be a long one today, which I was fine. But when I saw the worm and all the dice, and I was like, oh my god, I already know how long the rat was. Imagine today how long it's going to be. But, but th it, things are flowing. Yeah. And five hours has not felt like five hours or whatever it's no. been. No. Uh, yeah, just five and a half, yeah. yeah. This has not felt like five hours. Like, I was even just thinking ten minutes ago, like, I wonder if we should take another break. But I'm like, I feel kind of okay. I just need to stretch. Um, but I appreciate it. If you guys didn't watch these streams, but you know we stream long. Like, it's not a not an unusual thing. Right. Just sometimes on a weekend, like if we play the day before, which we did, we played War of the Ring yesterday, and then last night I had to rearrange the basement back to this stream setup and stuff, and yeah, I've just been like non-stop for like, uh, yeah, a while. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I was just today like, uh, I'm just drained, but um, I'm having fun. I'm having fun, so it's all good. I'm not complaining. I just was like, yeah, we could break it out. I always keep in my mind, like Uthia, or um, not Uthia. You guys keep talking about it. Uh, oh, Old Sworn. Oh. Old Sworn can be broken up into two streams. And that's what Jack I, was kind of saying too, to yeah. do the story maybe on a weeknight. I always think of that. I think of that every time I'm like, should that be the thing where Sunday is fight day? Yeah. And like Thursday night or whatever uh, is story. story night. But the problem is, I know how I work, is once I'm done Thursday, we're playing story mode. Now I have to clean it all up. That's annoying. Or I can put the topper on the table and we play on top of that. We've done that before. Um, and then the next day I'm into a different game. I'm probably streaming something Friday or learning something that we're streaming on Saturday. Now I'm playing that other game on Saturday. Then I get to Sunday and I'm, I've already been into a, like a new rule book or playing something else. And then I'm like, what was happening in the story? What did we do last time? I don't remember just cause I, like, I can't keep track of it all, but I do really enjoy playing the story and then going right into the encounter. Mm -hmm. I love the connection there, the theme, the tokens, you get the rewards, then instant gratification of spending the tokens and dealing with your consequences and all that stuff and, and seeing the board and then dealing with the, the special rules and all that kind of stuff. It's so fun. I think it's so fun. And, uh, but it, we're no strangers here to doing like seven, nine hour streams, like eight hour streams. It's like, it's a thing. It's not a big deal, but I just don't want to not enjoy myself and feel rushed and uh you know not want to be here but uh, like without you guys like if we had like two viewers right now nobody was talking in the chat i would go i've gone crazy already been like let's just pause this and continue it later but you guys keep me to keep us going so thank you don't thank me thank you <laughs> cold brew coffee no i should oh well technically now it is cold no, it's still kind of warm, actually, in this thermos little mug thing. But Oh, I was right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I was going to say, I was 99% sure I did it, but if I didn't, <laughs> I was going to say, I've been doing it, trying to religiously, oh. because I want to use oh, this ability on. to the best of its effect. I, I, PG Cole's not aware. He's not a member uh, uh, through our YouTube and didn't click the join button, so he's not familiar with our uh, custom <laughs> emoji um, right here. I'll just, I'll just put it in the chat to remind you, PG Cole. Uh, it's an ongoing rule on the stream, according, <laughs> according to our community, not according to me, according to our community. Uh, Mel it, is right. It does get put in there sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Mel is right. How dare you? <laughs> you obviously didn't know. So. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I was going to say, I've been trying to really take advantage of this ability. So, uh, okay. So sorry. I'm using one, <laughs> two. I'm just spending one actually to go one. So Jack's, two. Jack is suggesting doing chapter four midweek. Yeah, that's what he had said earlier too. Okay. Maybe because maybe chapter four story is a bit longer as well, or the boss fight is longer. I don't know. But I can't do. I, we can't do it this week. So I think that that kind of then makes it for sure that we have to take that we should we'll do it next the week after midweek, and then that weekend play the scenario. I mean, we could do it this week, but. Then it like messes with other games we're supposed to be playing and that takes another weeknight away where we would be like practicing or learning another game or even streaming another game. But good to know that might be a way going forward. It just sucks now. It takes up two streaming days and that eats into the pile of other games we're doing. So we'll see, but that might be a way to do it. Or again, I talked about where we start earlier on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. 
and we'll just take a break in between for like 20 lunch. minutes, go have lunch, relax, come back, you know. Yeah. Obviously, Jack, thank you. I appreciate it. I don't mind stuff like that to help us with scheduling. I don't care if it's like even spoiling like a little bit. It's going to be long or something, but um, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. I appreciate that very much. But yeah, don't say any more. <laughs> I really think my priest is that's all he's going to do. Oh, okay, perfect. Chapter 4 does add a new mechanic. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I know I love the story mode. I know I love I the story. That story, Chapter 3 story was my favorite one, actually. But I just so worry, it's like, I, I worry people are going to tune in on like a weeknight or, or or whatever, and then we're like doing the poll and going through the story, and then it's like anticlimactic when we're like, okay, now it's telling us to get out the box. Well, we're not going to get out of the box. We'll see you guys next stream. And they don't get to see the mini, but that does give you more time to paint. Yeah. And then we save the mini for the start of the next stream. Unless I, mean, unless I have it ready, then I can show it, but... Yeah. Hmm, interesting. That's something to think about. I need, I need a little bit of time to get ahead of... Yeah. Because it seems like the story part takes us with chat, with the stream, like intro, chat, hanging out, talking, catching up, plus the story mode. It's like a two, two and a half hour yeah. kind of part of the stream. And that could be a stream in itself. That's not not nothing. And then people can watch that at their leisure preparing for the next one. For the week, weekend. But then they're just not there to invoke. I don't know. It's interesting. I'm not sure. Yeah, we can think about it yeah. off stream too. And stay. All right, sorry. Go ahead. No, that's okay. So I think I'm, no, no, no. I think I'm done with him actually because I don't know where I want to move. He needs to get... He still has that much animus, though? Yeah. You need to get six on that left side so you refresh the whole bunch. Can he not do anything else to start flowing cards? Or what's all this over here? Get this stuff out of here. What do you well, got on your cards? I don't want to... You got, like, little things on the bottom. I don't want to attack. Because oh. he, he can't take the reaction damage yet. He's just supporting right now, so... But who is he supporting? Because maybe just him move him into him. position. Maybe get him, get him. But I have to be careful because I don't want to be within the range threes and all of that as well. So I'm oh, kind of in yeah. a position you where... You are I... in problem territory because the bear... Right now it's target. okay though for this, which is what's going to happen. But no, I, oh, I could be knocked back into you though. Okay, then I will move... Like I, I'm the bear's the target, right? And he's going to get random knockback. Yeah, I'll go there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Be safe. Yeah, because it's knockback four. Okay, then done. You have no other cool stuff. No. Can you battle flow something on your little zero card or anything? No, because it's here. Uh, I healed with it first. Boo. No, it's okay. This was I knew this was going to happen. Sure. This one I can't heal anybody with it because it's heal plus or damage Oh, because it's not range two. heal? No, because it's because damage it's not plus range two. Heal? So I'm not going to do like a seven skill test. Matthew, can you order some for me too? Oh, what are you ordering? Thai. He's going to order Thai food. I oh, love we can, Thai We food. can order after we're done as well because I don't know if mm. I want to cook anything. Suggestions on what to order will be helpful. No, 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 don't do that. <laughs> we're still like probably an hour away from finishing. No okay, talking no, about no food. No talking about food yet. No, I am. Wait gonna, till we're almost done. Don't get I'll get the band hammer out. Do not start listing off types of food, please. That donair talk that was the last time that killed me. We <laughs> almost just... got divorced after the stream and Mel didn't have donairs ready upstairs. But, but I did have dinner ready for you when you came That's up. True, like, it, was like, it was not donairs. It was not donairs, but it was ready yeah. as soon as you were. I had the lawyer up. on the phone and everything. We were like <laughs> divorced. So I was filling out papers. and Would have been solo yeah. from here on. <laughs> <laughs> Curry and noodle. Oh, okay, so don't good. look. Don't All read right. it. Don't yep. read it. I'm done. Bear's done. Matthew, Ranger. That's your last warning. <laughs> <laughs> it's talking code. <laughs> I don't care how many super chats you've given, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> You're out. Timeouts all over the place. <laughs> all right. Just kidding. All right. Uh, uh, Ranger. Ranger. What's your Ranger doing? Is oh, he yeah. going to get rid of those? I think we do. I think we're fine at I this I just point. don't know what the other... Uh, oh, we've only seen one of these. Yeah. I'm just worried, but I don't want to get knocked into things, so maybe getting rid of them. This is risky. Sure. Get rid of those two. We'll save two more. Save two more. So that goes up but there. But now, now we have no civilians to throw in harm's way it. on level three. Yep, it's fine. But we, That's scary. everybody with the priest has very high damage or high health. You have some good tokens. Okay, so I'm now... I'm going to get my back, too. One, two, three, four, five. I think she just gets into position so that she can attack next Yeah, but turn. I don't want her being too close to knock back. Four, uh, one, two, three, 
I think if she's in, depending on what lane she's in, she's fine. Yeah, I can get like up to here somewhere. Yeah, and then she won't get knocked back. Or he won't hit her. Yeah, I'll go right here if you can. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I still can't reach. But I can take another Animus and flip this thing. And then... go a little closer. And I'm still not in knockback territory. Where was I here? One, two, three, four. I can move up to here and go one, two, three, four and target this. But then I'll probably break it because I have the plus three, so... Hmm. But then I become the target of this shenanigans. Mm -hmm. I think there's a play... Do, is there a play where we wait and then we try to get rid so hold of... Hold on, move six. I, I can break a die and it doesn't even get to me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, if you were back where you yeah, were? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, watch this. I think. I'm going to add four range to an attack. Flip this weapon. I'll just put it upside down. So I, I guess it doesn't matter. I my mic cube out. Okay, I'm adding four to an attack. I'm going to do the, the butt shot. Uh, AKA threading the needle. So I have eight range. I can hit that. Uh, I'm in its rear arc, whatever. Sure, sure. And uh, I'll get plus three damage. Okay, I only need three damage. So let me just pull a red card for fun. And we're going to try to get some more blanks out of there. And this will make this move six, right? So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. It'll, then doesn't it just target the closest? Like when it can't target you as the... Is that how that works? Yeah, I think it. I think it just targets the closest. Can, you, uh, can we check? Yeah, of course. But I thought there was a like if it can't reach. It, there's never that it does nothing. Oh, I thought you could. No. Uh, Play too many of those damn games. Oh, target. Choosing a target. If the stage card has drawn as a reaction to a location being broken or damaged, enemy will target the character who broke the location unless they are out of range after considering movement and range of the attack. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. never mind. So never it'll mind. just attack someone else, which may be fine if that's okay. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Jack, I am missing the long shot, 100%. When I switched the cards this morning and I was looking at the cards before the stream, I was like, man, then not having the long shot here is a little rough. But then seeing what the bear could do, it seemed kind of fun. And and I liked being able to support and attack a little more and be defensive with bigger bigger defense cards. So it's like a trade-off, but it's still neat. And then it gave the ranger something to do in this one, so you could just run around as a companion and get rid of uh, civilians. So she wasn't like completely useless. I think also if... So the closest is going to be... My, yeah, she's fine. He can take a damage or two. Right, then let's do it. Okay, so I'll flip this, and we're going to just break the butt. Yeah. Three. Perfect. Exactly what Butt broken. Okay. okay. Re resolve card this That's goes you. here okay um uh, move six to the target i think it's already adjacent Done. to me um after the oh then it's doing an attack with a black and two reds you're probably gonna bang into him and lose a health but that means he'll lose a health blank three. oh sorry no it will not climb with the worm's head oh i also suffer no damage because my defense is four all right Draw, roll one of those dice that uh random direction knockback of four Southwest. Southwest. So that is one, two, three, four. Beautiful. That was the best case scenario. Mm -hmm. And then now move three south. So pick this up. I don't know if that's on the sure. three. And then. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, let's check out another level three card. Right, the full length of the worm slams from side to side. Sense vibration move six. Ah, here's the tail I was talking about. Okay. So I was right. Eventually it would try to stab us with this stupid tail. The attack targets all enemies adjacent to any worm body part. Ooh, that's kind of rough. Which right now I think is just the... Move six to its target though. Well, its target right now always you. Uh, oh, yeah. That, so it would move, so, like, here, push this guy back, so he's adjacent. It'd be in this spot, so it would attack, like, these two. Okay, that's fine. But we, we can mess around with that. No, I think we're done. Are we, though? I, uh, the ranger still has another one, and oh, can okay. generate another. 
Okay, never mind then. I could break another one. I mean, go ahead, because at this point, we're just trying to win. If we can break a couple and then just survive the fight. Oh, but she needs to get in there now. Yeah, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. No, she can't get in range. So she might as well not do the extra animus and just kind of move closer. She just goes like this. Okay. Yeah. I think there's a play. She could actually do multi shot and like finish all three off if she like. Yeah. Is she, successful? Yeah, because it targets up to three enemies in my front arc. Attack once, but I ignore the highest value card. That's the only problem. So you just have to empower and hope that. Yeah, but it's, I still would have to hit for like six on the empower, which I do have empower one, reroll. Re uh, the bear, maybe the bear can help out before that. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. I don't think we need to do that, but there is that's there is the kind a play. of yeah, it's kind of interesting. Okay. okay. So I think that's everyone has gone. Yep. I don't think actually. Maybe I want Sense to move vibration. in now. One more back. Okay. Sense vibration is you, and then move six to target. I'm picking up what first? Tail. The tail. Put it in the belly. Belly. And then belly to the head. And then the target is you. So we said it's pushing you away. Because it's going to move right here. Oh, again, we have that. Okay, he's in the face. I'll just put it. <laughs> <laughs> Look away. Stop looking at me. Okay. Worm. Then it's going to do a tail attack. So again, we've busted the tail. So it's just. Um... If you multi shot and trigger reaction, wouldn't the rest of the attack be void? Yeah, that's right. That's what I was thinking, but oh, but is that how that works? It depends on if it's. I, I know it, it skips the rest of the ability, but if you're dealing damage to like everything simultaneous, I thought it does the whole thing where it breaks multiple dice. Then you have to do like multiple reactions. I thought only in like cases like this it would be ignored. So let's say I did the fury and I did the attack. And then it says, if the, the attack critical hits, you may attack again. Sorry. That's okay. The attack targets up to three enemies in your front arc. Attack once, apply to all targets. No, I think you're fine. This is only one so, line. There's nothing else to ignore. Ignore the highest value on the card. Yeah, like, how do how do I choose the order of which dice breaks? Don't they all kind of break simultaneously? And that's that whole thing in the FAQ where it's like, um, there is something that says when you break multiple dice at the same time, just start piling the reaction cards up and then just do them in order. The damage is dealt, everything after the damage is skipped. Attack is simultaneous. This one, I think, is not in that case. Hmm. I don't know. I think it's for situations like mine. But I don't know. Oh, sorry, let me see yours again. Which one? The Fury. So you do the attack. And then the second part, like if I broke a die, the rest of it would be... Yeah, this one, it would melody would ignored. Screwed. Yeah, because you would hit, deal damage, and then you your rest of your attacks over. Yes, that's what. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, piling them up in this case, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, Jack's asking. I see. Sorry, I thought oh, you were saying. Oh, the question. I see. I see. Ah, oh, it's a question. I'm Jack. I'm so sorry. Yes, but either way, either way. So right? the answer is no. I don't know what your question is. <laughs> I just mean. Either. Jack's in the 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 Jack. Honestly, if I wasn't playing on stream, I'd play the way you play. Because Jack says, I read the rulebook once, decided with Oathsworn to avoid reading it again and go with what's most fun and thematic. I'm finding out that may have not been my best choice. No, if you had fun, then it is your best choice. For movement and yeah. like all that, especially with the minions all over the board, I don't give a crap for the rules in that case. Like just, again, from Gloomhaven PTSD, just move on what makes sense and go with the flow, you know? Don't so, sit in there. some cases, yeah. you made it harder for yourself, and in some cases, you made it easier, so it balances it out. Cabra's just played Story 6, reading live updates from the Sacabra home. <laughs> story 6 is now complete. Encounter 6 is about to begin. Must keep ahead of the stream so we can keep watching. <laughs> Stay tuned. But hold on. You're playing while we're streaming. Well, Does that work? Like, Unless you have us on in the background. But like, yeah, I get, I get what you're saying, though. Yeah, get ahead. But Sacabra, we are going to probably slow down to one a week max. 
And yeah, maybe, I can't pay faster than that. And maybe think. one every two weeks because we have to play some other games. And Mel is like, I need her not not to feel pressure and paint chill town. Like we're not in a rush to finish this game by any means. So we're gonna slow down for sure. There's not gonna be playing two in the same weekend back to back or anything like that. At least for the foreseeable future for the next couple months because we have other games we need to play and some of those need to be played on weekends that, where we have more time and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so don't don't rush. Like, yeah, don't feel like you have to rush at all. If you're a couple ahead, you're like, you're fine. Like, you're, you're good. But keep playing and having fun though. Don't stop though on my account. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I'm a little jelly. Oh, a Lord of the Rings timing chart would be so beautiful. I agree. I agree. It does need that extra little bit. I agree it does. Okay, so this target is going to attack all adjacent enemies to the worm body. So that's us too. Do you want to throw any defense into this? Always. Always, okay. You never say no to that question. If you are, you're not playing the game right. Well, my XL doesn't have, so... He does have this if I need, but... It's one... Oh, I can actually tell you too. It's one black. I'll just throw in a four. One. I'm throwing in four. Oh, Push this over. Okay. I'm um, defending for seven two, with the bear. Three. Seven with the bear. Okay. Four, seven. Seven. <laughs> one. So you have to take one. Oh, no. No, okay. I don't. Oh, you take none. I'm going to say screw you. Okay. Exile takes one because he's only defending. Use these, use these tokens or lose them. So. so four. Okay. Except for I'm going to turn one to a reroll at some point. Okay. Then what are we doing next? Move three southwest. So I'll put the tail. I think it's better this way. Okay. Uh, oh, it's going this way. So what I is think this three? It's southwest three. One, two, three. This tree's gone. Nope. Yeah, your priest just gets pushed this way. Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay. Right. Oh, same thing again. Tail attack adjacent to all body parts. Ooh, then we're all a bunch of us are adjacent. Move three southeast. So we need to, we get, need to get away some people from to move. it. Okay, so that was the end of the round though. So we're refreshing. But do we care though? Sure. Like we need to I'm taking my health to three. <laughs> well, I'm gonna move. Do you wanna refresh? Dominic says, enough small talk. Kill the worm. I need to go to bed. <laughs> oh, Dominic, I'm so I need sorry. to go what eat. Time? So you, you keep me on track, Dominic. It's yeah, good. we're it's getting hungry. What Do Dominic, what time is it for you? Um, I bet for Dominic, it is 11.35. Oh. That's what I'm going to guess. That's what you're going to guess? Okay. Refresh. The Cobra, all three kids gone to the in-laws for the next 10 days. So That's be, fun. So you'll be done all swarm by Thursday? That's so fun. At this rate. Your kids must love that. Yes, that's cool. Still loving it. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> okay. uh, refresh your characters. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this goes back to my hands. I guess I need to do that. Oof. Oh, correct. you are correct. Nice. Nice. Wow. Nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, it is getting late, late for you guys. Okay. 10.30 for Jack. <laughs> yeah, a lot earlier. Yeah, so Jack prefers the weekend ones. Okay, yeah, got yeah. it, got it. But even if we did story on a weeknight, uh, for us, we'd start at like 6.30 and at like 8.30-ish our time. Which would still be... So for still Jack, be... that is starting at 11.30, ending at 1.30 a.m. So, but, uh, but Jack may not sucky. need to watch that one live. I know, yeah, unless he really wants to vote. Yeah, or maybe the beginning. No FOMO. <laughs> Unless you really want to get involved. No FOMO. <laughs> oh, you'd stay up for that. Okay, right. cool, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Jack is obsessed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. He's, he's in officially in the deep wood, as they say. <laughs> All right. I want to move my priest one so I'm not adjacent. Then we can do whatever we want. The other guys can take a hit, but I worry about the priest. Okay. I just don't want anyone to die. Do you want to try your ranger play and see if it works? So here's the thing, though. If if we just spend one from the bear and one from the exile... He can, he, he can spend one to move six, but then I'm not adjacent if I need to attack. Uh, oh, yeah. He'll just take an attack. It's fine. 
But everyone who's adjacent takes an attack. That's the problem. Yeah, so I move the priest away. If you want to move the bear away, then it's only... I mean, the bear is still full and fully defensive. I just don't want to keep wasting cards. Oh, it's going to move up one. That's going to Well, whoever here. breaks it. Yeah. Might as well break it with somebody who's already adjacent. Two. Okay, yeah. Right. So I would just use exile then. One. Or the bear. Two. Three. Four. Five. One of these reds is blank. That's good to know. One, two, three. I'd probably use the X out because the bear could move back one, right? And then still move up one after. So because then the exile could exile could attack, take oh, that, sorry. and then the move back. Oh, sorry, the ranger I was talking about, uh, we did we didn't leave one on here. Sorry, I can't attack three separate enemies because oh, it's actually only two. Of the same. But it's still I can still attack those two separate. I just won't finish it, so I'll have to deal with two reaction attacks. I was thinking, sorry, in my head I thought I was going to leave the rear, leave one here and leave one here, and then she does a multi shot, scoops them all, and then uh, we start doing the first reaction, the second reaction, then it's dead. I think is how that works. I can't remember exactly how it was worded in the FAQ, but there was something in there about the simultaneous. But we'll just do it normal. It's fine. We're good. The bear can definitely take some hits. Still defend. I still have cards for blocking. Would you have enough? Oh, yeah. Okay. So then let me use the X. I just don't know what these other cards are, and it could be crazy. I know. Because we'll have to suffer another one, but then the last one we're good. So we just have to take like two more cards. I think from... if the exile goes now, then he'll move out of the way so he doesn't hopefully take any more and he can stay alive. If he does the first reaction attack, because the problem is if you do a reaction attack with the bear, he'll suffer damage. Yep. Then he'll have to possibly suffer damage again and maybe die. The bear can die. attack twice. And it'll all stay around the bear. The bear can, I have I have enough animus. I have seven. Okay, then I'll just move the bear can away do like a do double nothing. attack uh, or this, this area effect horse crap, uh, especially if I get it near me for the second attack. It should have, uh, if it moves, right? The tail will be here, which doesn't matter. Oh, never mind. This will be over here. But the bear just has to move like uh, one, two, three. Oh, but then I don't have enough. Never mind. Never mind. I was thinking then the bear does the whole hitting two, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Let's, I don't know. I'm just saying I just don't want to take more because I just don't want him to die. If he stays alive, so we're what, fine. So you're going to hit now, the bear and the exile take damage, or I should move away one. But I'm asking if you have enough. Well, the ranger still can go in and do the last shot and probably finish something. Because I can pick any die on a target, whatever, it doesn't all matter. But I'm saying, if you move back one, would your bear then have enough to move yes. in and hit? Yes. Yeah? Done. Okay. Bear goes... here. Okay. So then, he'll attack... Oh, the bear is the target, but not if you break. Okay, right, yeah. it'll... yeah. Alright, go ahead. Okay, so then I attack. Uh, two... What are you attacking, the head or the belly? Belly. Right? Whatever you want. Whatever's easiest for... Because if you need to have two separates... I'm trying to think where it will be... Uh, I feel like he's actually not going to move. I'll go here then. So I'm closer to whichever one I want. Okay. Okay, go. So which one do you want me to attack? The head or the belly? I don't care whatever one you think you can break. I mean, the belly, belly gives you the, gives me the of, option. Yeah, so okay, you do whatever. So... I'm going to use an Empower, because this might be my last attack. Mm. Let's Empower one to a black. Yeah, then the bear should be able to break another one, and then the ranger should be able to break the last one. That's our plan. And then let's take a miss. white, but we'll put this white to a yellow. So that's my three. I have one reroll if I need. In worst case, I can attack again, but I just won't have the Empower. So attack in the belly. Alrighty, we got enough. We got a crit on the yellow. Blank, but that's fine. That doesn't do anything. So we did only do four damage, which is only one. Which is enough to hit the one. So that's not where, the worst. Where, where are you? Just one damage, yeah. Taking this away? Yeah. Reaction. Okay, so sense vibration. Move six to its target. It's already adjacent to me. It's going to do a tail attack, which is one and oh, it's going to shuffle these. I know that red one is a blank. Ah. <sighs> 
Okay, oops, I keep doing that, putting them in the top of the thing when I shuffle. Okay, so this is on the exile. Keep going, keep I'm going, going I'm going, I'm going. Uh, four blank plus two, six. He blocks her four, so he just takes one damage. Going to three. Burn the witch! And then he spends one, oh, sorry, the rest of this. Uh, move three southeast. So. Pick it up. Yep. Then we pick this up. Mm -hmm. Then and pick this, this up. Yeah. And then southeast is this way. So. Over here. One, two, three. I think it's like. Yeah, so it breaks one, that. Two, and it's like right here. Like that. Okay. You've gone. Okay. Ooh. That's gone. And before I move, I just want to see what this is going to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know where to go. Oh no! Tail, Tail end bites. Tail slam. Either end, either end, is as deadly as the other. Uh -huh. So range two, knockback three, area effect that attacks all enemies within range two from the worm's tail. I knew this tail was gonna be trouble. Uh, draw once and apply to all targets. Then sense vibrations, so and it goes after whoever has the token, which is the bear. Bites at range two, so you don't have to get there. Target this attack only performed the target within range if the target's within range two of the worm head. So this one, it might not reach, which is interesting. Okay. Then move five southwest. Okay, so then my exile, to keep him alive, we're going to spend one, and we're going to move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm also going to, before you do anything, I'm just going to move him two. One, two. So you're going to target all within range two of the worm's tail. Okay, so only the bear's there. And he'll get knocked back. Okay. So this is after breaking it, which is fine. The bear will just get in there. Oh, the bear can actually get closer to the tail. Oh, no, but he wants to hit the... Tail or the belly. Belly. Mm. Yeah, I'll just go over the belly, probably. Because the head will be back this way, and you guys can... Or the ranger can get it, or whatever. That's what we're hoping. Or the ranger... This guy does have... Oh, maybe I only move one less. Yeah, let's save one, just in case I need one more. One, two, three, yeah. Then I'm within range three, not two. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Bear just goes after the belly, then he's not within range of the tail. Sense vibration, goes after it, range two. Goes after the worm. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, let's do it like this. Bear. Oh yeah, first, hold on, Animus back. More important, the Cobra dropped an update uh, picture of... Uh, him enjoying Oathsworn, and I guess his other player. No spoilers, right? On his uh, nope, no spoilers oh, that I see. I know the cobra's farther. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh. So there's an... No. <laughs> Mel does not approve of your picture, Sakabra, no. for some weird reason. It must be the blanket on the table, obviously. Yeah. Or that seat pad on the chair, probably she hates. Yeah. Ugh. Or the fact you haven't stained the wood on your... Custom board game table, which I, I very much like. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> the cover, <cavern, no. laughs> nice. He's trolling. He's <laughs> trolling. Nice, nice. So, did you 3D print some holders there? I see. Definitely cool. Looks like you have an insert for the game, maybe that's holding the dice or something. That looks cool. But I need to stop the chit chat, or Dominic's going to yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> Printed player boards. Nice, nice. I do like, I do like. Nice. I know, I feel like we're so close here. Two dice left. <laughs> okay, so sorry. Animus over one. Uh, we're going to just move back this way. I'm adjacent to this thing. Yep. So we're going for the belly. Then. Oh, nice. That will whiff then. I will do the primal rage. Spending four. Going to battle flow this stuff. Into here. Um, so it's the two attacks. I can determination on one of them. So obviously if I miss on the first one, I determination rule, then go for the second one. Yep. I'm attacking the belly. And he's going to empower. So we're going to go... Let's go red. Yellow. Yellow. Might be dumb. I don't need... You need six total, right? Is that what I need? Yep. Yeah. Okay, we'll just go with this. Three, blank, blank. Oh, 
So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use one combat token as if it's any other combat token. Throw this in my one pile here. I'll use this like it's a reroll. Oh, you're one shy. No crits. I need I needed a crit for this, but okay. you do get a second attack, right, on this? Yes. Okay. So, but this hits now, unfortunately. So I don't get all these tokens back, which sucks. Okay. But okay, so belly okay. goes down to one. This is scary. So these are all gone. Some blanks are out of the yellow, at least, but not enough. And then, hmm. All right, so second attack. I mean, this could do determination rule, but I won't have enough animus after. Uh, okay, second attack. Let's do a red. Uh, red. I do yellow, yellow again, probably. This, I only need a three, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe I shouldn't go extra yellows. You could also... Oh, but I kind of want... But I don't have rerolls. But if I fail, I get to keep this. I'll grab a reroll. And, and then, then do you have enough to attack Not again? this turn, not no. This turn. Okay. But the priest might be able to finish the belly. Yeah, well, the ranger still has to go, and the ranger can do multiple attacks um, because I can get an extra animus. Okay. And she's range one, two, three. She just has to move up, and then she can do two attacks. But, okay. Um, or do the multi-shot thing. I think you're good. I feel like this is, the, is a hit. Oh. Man, this red deck is killing me. Oh, no. No. no! Oh, it was a hit, but not... So it was a whiff. Okay. Uh, so that's okay. So I get this Empower back, and I get the reroll back, so this is fine. We're fine, we're fine. It's, everything's fine. Okay, another okay. Myth in the yellow. Okay, Positivity. Yep. Glass half full, glass yep. half full. We got oh, this. Oh, another Myth in the, in, the, in the red. Okay, okay. All right, Ranger. Um, Ranger. Yeah, Bear. Oh, I guess I could Battle Flow something. Yeah, I'm going to battle flow a card. Let's do this one. Throw that there. Or do I just need to battle flow one thing out of here? Yeah, I'm probably just going to battle flow the armor plating, actually. And then I get that right back. So I could use it again if I need. Okay. Uh, all right. Ranger. You've got it. Ranger. I'm gonna fire. Ooh, she becomes the problem though. Oh, but that misses. But then this sense vibration. That is the her. And then oh, but it, it can't. It's not moving, so. So yeah, it won't even look. It says the attack is only performed if the target is within range too, so it doesn't even bite. Yeah, this whole thing this will win. So she's good. Yeah. She's this good. This is a range three card. That's weird. Okay, so stay away from the tail and we're good. All right, she's going to attack um, the belly. Or does she just multi shot? Yes, multi shot. Front arc. Do I have an attack too? I do. I do. Okay. Yeah, she'll just move to here. Uh, to here. Yeah, so she'll multi shot on these two. Okay. And she moved, okay? If she needs more animus, she can get one from here if I need to shoot again. But I won't be able to hit both, but... Okay. So she's attacking both these spots. Uh, oh, but she ignores the highest value card. Is this dumb? Maybe not. No, because you only... Okay, she's going to empower. Even if you hit and can get rid of the one. We're going to do red, yellow, yellow, my favorite, because it hits so good, right? Blanks, mm -hmm. blanks, blanks. <laughs> but at least I have to blank Eventually, they have to hit. Yeah, we hope. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So I ignore the highest value, and it applies to both targets. Uh, let's see what happens. Serenity now. Okay. Okay. So it does so hit. Right so. Now you're... Okay, yeah. I'm going to crit. I'm going to crit. This is good. This hex, is good. It's hex exploding, oh, guys. That was it, enough. It just exploded. Because if you... If you ignore the highest card, it's a three, and you still have yep. another seven. So I'll ignore a three. Okay. And they still have seven. I have seven. Which is enough to kill both. Okay. So we'll do... I, I'm assuming it's simultaneous, so we'll do one reaction. And then the other one doesn't happen because it's dead. Yeah. 
And this reaction, I think, just all whiffs. Yes. Oh, no, the ranger is now getting hit. Oh, no. Oh. Because I moved closer. Oh, you did move. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was so, dumb. But whatever. Ranger. Uh, it's attacking with a tail. The ranger is just defending for four, but I should be good. Yeah. Do you want to put anything in? Oh, yeah. I she can't. Can. She's a... Uh, um, Blank. A seven. So you so take one. One damage. Oh, no. And then she's knocked back three. One, two, three. She doesn't oh, hit anything. Oh, perfect. And then sense vibration. So its target is this guy, but it can't reach the bear. And then move five southwest. Yeah, so these are gone. And then move a whole bunch. And then die. Wow. Wow. Take that, you just, stupid worm. I just want to say, I don't know if Toby's still here, but Toby said before we started this battle that Toby has never won this one, has played three times for playtesting. Again, <laughs> Toby is a master at sculpting <laughs> and making the most amazing miniatures terrain from art I've ever seen. <laughs> but uh, I'm sorry, he just can't be best at everything, Mel. He just can't be good at everything. That went <laughs> very well. I just want to peek at what this last card was. After the last oh, it's another one, one of those. After the last one, I was very like, I am out to kill this game. Like, I am going to, we're taking it slow. That's why today I was like, man, we're going to take it slow. But then when I saw the scenario open up, I was like, oh, we're going to be here all day because I want to take it slow. And it looks like it's going to be long, but I don't care. We did it. We did Six it. Six hours. We did it. Yeah. Story, chat, breaks, and killing worms and saving people. Let's, we're not even done yet. Let's oh, yeah, do we're not epilogue. even done yet. Let's listen to what. Yeah, let's put the Our earphones in are. and uh, let's hear. Let's, let's hear. Yes, I need. Uh, uh, where is it? Stacy, you're funny. <laughs> That'll remove all of them. <laughs> oh no, it did. <laughs> Stacy, I'm sorry if you're watching. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Can you reinstate though? Maybe you I can don't put know. it back. I was doing it as a joke, but I forgot to delete like all the messages. I don't want to do that. Uh, no. Oops. They see. I warned about talking about food <laughs> right now. I'm starving. I I ban hammer is there. So you you're not really in trouble. We promise. You, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Talking about food when I'm dying here. <laughs> I I put. If you weren't here for that warning, I'm sorry. <laughs> they see that home going. Wait, what? <laughs> and now needs to wait five minutes for her timer to count down. It's dropped in every food emoji into the chat. Dirty. Dirty. Think about what you've done while you're in your timeout. Oh, no. Think about what you've done. <laughs> okay, chapter okay. three encounter. Uh, you can't see. Okay, now we got to fight this worm. Oh. Okay, let's do that. After the encounter, continue the epilogue. We never look at that beforehand. Okay, hopefully this plays. Icor and Viscera are everywhere. The beast took some killing, but the mass before you finally stops writhing. You gather back the people to your side and count the cost. Oh, here we go. We're counting the bodies now. To represent more refugees joining you, gain two... Gain two time tokens plus one... For every two civilians. Okay, so we gain two. Plus one for every two civilians still alive. So we have... Four, four, six, eight, nine. We have nine, so we gain four more. Four more? One, we needed two. a ten to get five, okay. So we have six total from this. Two, yeah. and then four. Either on or off the game board, gain two rations for each time token you just gained. Gain two rations for each time token. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve. Rations add to our total. So that's 17, 17 now we have. Yep. Good, we need to feed all these people. Okay. Place all your refugee tokens, time tokens, and location tokens in the free companion bag. Okay, that we already had. You record how many rations on your free company sheet. 17 rations I have already. Free company sheet. Hold on. Did I put tokens? them in? Oh, they're in here. Okay. They're between guards. All right. Okay. These people have nowhere to go and will not leave your side. Fortunately, 
they had the forethought to bring food and water with them. Looking over the great corpse before you, you get to work stripping it of anything that will be of value to you in the deep wood. There are also several items amongst the fallen. Yes, items, items, yes. Gain eight iron. Do I have? Yeah, your metal tokens over there. There's five, there's five. Just take, take it and put it in. Oh, like, yeah. Five. We should just collect it, but six, whatever. Seven, eight. And then tally level loot and losses. Okay, let me grab that. All right. We all gain a permanent token. Here, just get this guy, this one. Oh, sorry. Take yeah. Five. It's fine. And then I'll just take one each. I'll put them in my bag after. Okay, so we if all gain matters. we all gain one permanent token. Mm. Oh, on our sheet. On our sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I feel like I want to take an empower times three for both. Those seem helpful. <sighs> but again, picture like you're not getting anything in the story. Like worst case, what would you need at the start? I feel like a redraw, so I don't miss hits. But again, we got lots redraw this time, so don't be biased to that, right? We may not might not get them next time. I know, but I do like the empower times three because then I can power dice up and I can roll less. Okay. I don't know. That's my thought. Yeah, I'm that's gonna take what I'm redraw gonna do. for both. And I'm taking empowered for both. Oh, I get an empower for this guy if I keep playing him full. So taking a redraw for him is better. The ranger. Hmm. I still like redraw. Because again, the bear can give out empower, so I'm valuing redraw. But again, we might have a different party next time, so we'll see. I'm gonna go for redraws. I think those are the bomb. They're the difference between doing any damage or not, but I do agree. Sometimes drawing up higher is or rolling higher is better, but you need the redraws, I feel, to back it up. Okay, so sorry, we did. Game a level according to level loot. Replace the current item deck. That's in this one. I gotta move, gotta move this. So here's the three item deck. Items. And we need four. I'm, I'm looking at it the wrong way. <laughs> Bob. Oh, I was a trouble troublemaker. <laughs> DJ took eleven ration. Okay, there's our fours. These these threes I'm gonna leave out for a minute, so if we sell anything or lose anything, I can just put them back in the correct deck. Okay. Yeah, DJ, I was thinking the same thing. Getting empowers from the bear and other things. Hopefully, the redraws are gonna be better, but we'll see. Uh, so we replace that. Uh, Gain four common items from the next chapter's common item deck to share amongst the free people. Heavy cloth robe can go on anyone. Uh, for one cooldown, if you have moved at least three hexes this turn, battle pull one card. If it's a companion, power times three, you can gain once per turn. That'd be cool for the ranger. A tome, another gear. Use one combat token as if any other combat token. I like that ability. I just used it mm -hmm. for three cooldown though, but still it's like, I don't know. It's nice. A fight club, the exile, the war bear or the priest can use this. Uh, yellow only when you critical during attack, add one damage and one knockback. We have add, another one of these. Adding damage is good. In oh, our this is one handed. Yeah, we have another one in our oh, backpack. Oh, spicy, but it's only, it's three cooldown on the ability, which is kind of annoying, but still cool. But it can help you get your other three cooldown stuff back. Uh, no, not, nope. no, it doesn't. It'll just go but with you. You can get it back with your three cooldown stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay, still a no. Yeah, that's kind of lame. Okay. One more, right? Yep. A quarter a staff, staff. two-handed weapon, one cooldown. Only the priest out of our party can use this. Another two yellows, which is nice. When you use this ability with the range cure, get so we can just lose his walking staff, and you can just give him this. Yep. And it's easy, so we know he can lose his weapon. No big deal. Okay, so okay. this is what we got. So those are those. Gain two unique items from the current chapter's unique item deck. Share amongst the free people's company. Three, if your free people company sheet had the chapter extra, uh, the chapter extra unique item, which we did not. <laughs> Stacey's back as a zombie. Hilarious. Uh, Jack asks, did you get a timeout? Stacey says, I did. Jack says, hail Master Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Bob... <laughs> Sorry, Stacey. Looks like people are more interested in the loot than freedom of speech. <laughs> what I was thinking. <laughs> All right, pick two. One pick two. and then top one. We pick don't get two. a stabby worm tail kind of item. I'm going to be upset. 
Ooh, Ooh. worm blood potion. That art looks sick. It's like glowing. Like how do they make the card glow like that? It's not a not a foil. It looks glowing. I like that. Uh, so three cooldown gear. Roll an unused hit point die and check the result below. One. Lose one combat token. No, oh, don't want a one. Oh. But a two to five, you gain in power times three. And a six, you gain a health and heal. That's not bad for my uh, priest. If I play the priest full, this is not bad for him to possibly be able to gain heal on himself. Because right now he can only heal himself if he's you're three or more likely going to get the power times three. So whoever needs in power you're times right. three. You're right. It probably is better this for is someone for, else. This is for, I think, the, uh, the um, exile guy. Because he's up in the fight, gives him empowers, could heal him maybe, but probably not. Goes to his three cooldown, and then you drop it in uh, three cooldowns, try to get this back. Maybe use it twice in the scenario if you're lucky. Mm -hmm. Definitely cool. I like free tokens. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Oh, what's this? Captain's plate. Oh, we're getting serious Dark Soul vibes here. Uh, the War Bear or the Priest can take this one. Three defense. Up to two. Up to two or sworn or the up to two or oath sworn. Oh my god, I can't talk on the board, including yourself. May move one and it goes to three. Not bad either. Sometimes you just need that move once the scenario just to get into position or get away from the enemy or something with no with no animus left. You just get that move back to be not be adjacent to the enemy or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not bad. And it's anywhere on the board, anywhere. Yeah, and you don't even have to be within range or anything. You can, you can just, just help be, people yeah. get out of the way, too, even. So, for example, on the worm, when we're all adjacent to body parts, you just be like, all right, you and you, get away. Done. Yeah. That's not bad. I don't want to peek at the other ones. Why Why do these... Like, the worm blood makes sense, but, like... I guess this was inside his belly? Like, we found this inside the belly? Like, this is weird that this is an item... specific, but I guess so. Thematically, like, we find this inside, probably. Okay, now I have to... Replace. I'm gonna peek. I'm peeking. Oh, there is no. Oh, there'd be like after seeing the rat one, I thought there'd be like kind of a tail. Oh, there's worm hide armor <laughs> and a skewer, and oh, a two-handed sword. Okay, we didn't get this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil another one here. This looks awesome. Look at this thing. Three animus. You can move to and attack. I like that. Like, this is where it's this going? This is the stuff I thought we were going to get earlier. Yeah. Uh, mm. To give us more attacks. And the exile could yeah, take this. Yeah, but that cost three. Yeah. But still, but it's still. like, it's another way you can move an attack you when you're, like, light on cards. It's, yeah. a, it's a way. And when things are in your cool yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, we didn't get that, unfortunately. But okay. yeah, I was just curious. I thought there'd be some cool kind of worm. Oh, I'm going to replace that. Stabby definitely. whip tail thing. Like, I thought there'd be a whip with, a, uh, you know, like, a, a tail on the end or a... Like a mace kind of thing with the tail. I'll take that deck and give you this level four uniques. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so replace the current for each unconscious, none. All unconscious Oathsworn gain an injury, no. All Oathsworn lose one item they use in the encounter. Okay, uh, well, I can easily lose back. this. Three. I could just lose the armor off of the um, off of the uh, uh, ranger because the ranger could equip this, okay. Um, and then we said the quarter staff can replace use... this dude's weapon, right? Mm -hmm. So he can lose his weapon if I find it. And then uh, for this guy, so that goes there. This is replaced. So if he lost a weapon, the priest Who lost had the, the weapon. Gear? These two, oh. but he's gonna lose. A, he's gonna lose that. Yeah, you didn't really use it, right? I did. I moved twice. I can oh. only use it once as a companion. Oh yeah, that's right. So he's lost his. Uh, are you sure though? Is his weapon amazing? Yeah. Okay. Two. Well, I don't know. Then I I could just lose this armor from the bear, and then take this armor to replace it. Okay. That's yeah. unique, right? That one? Yeah, so these two... Oh, it is. Oh. I don't know if that matters. Well, just they are nice. Like, the ability is sweet, sweet. I wish the we could just trade could and, like, lose. I know. But the bear's weapon, where is it? Uh, the bear's weapon... The bear could hold the two spikes. The two spiked clubs, if you want. What is this? Oh, but that's red. But, I mean, two yellows is nice, too, but... 
sorry, in our backpack, we did have a oh, short bow. Yeah, there's the other spiked club, or we had the tail. Yeah, you could go to... Oh, can you even hold them, though? Uh, looking for the claw the scratch? Yeah, on the pipe club. Yep. What about the, the rat tail? Yep. Oh. And that's also one weapon, so you could do this one in a spiked club. I don't know. What's better, guys? One red or two yellow? Um... And also, let me see this rat tail one. Like, putting this back in the mix, is this probably better to have this range cone business stuff? Yeah, this would probably be better, right? Yeah. Because then I get, like, when I hit a larger enemy, I get that plus one damage on a whole bunch of things. Oh, never mind. I read the card and it tells me, no, Rob, you can't. <laughs> Screw you, rat tail. <laughs> Screw you. See you later, Dominic. Good night. Good night, Dominic. All right, so... I don't know, I could just keep the feral axe for the bear, and then we lose his armor, but I could keep the armor and the priest can take this, or, or sorry, this is gone. The uh, the bear could keep this and the priest, somebody needs to take this, I think. The extra moving for everyone on the board is like for two. I don't have to lose, then I could also... What's your armor on the... Gain. If there is an adjacent old sworn gain, two yellows for an attack or a basic... Oh, that's great. You need to use that. Why don't we use that? We'll be beside you. I, I wasn't... Someone could get two yellows. So oh. this is what I got rid of, but I don't need to get... Oh, I guess I did want to get rid of that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so okay. that's fine. That's fine. So, okay, so we're, I'm going to lose... Yeah, I'll just lose this. this is and to this the is lost. Items. And the bear gets this. Commons. Okay. Just trying to make sure I put everything back in the right decks. Okay, everybody's lost an item then, right? Yep. Yep, yep. All right. This is three. Commons three. Oh, I didn't take out enough cards. Gear. So we have two extra gear here. So the exile, he takes this one. All right, one sec. Yep. And this one, use a combat token as if any other combat token. Uh, yeah, I'll take that on the bear because the bear can make defense tokens. I can turn them into other stuff if I don't need. Yeah. Going. Yeah. It's going here. So that's the gear slot on the bear. Unique items. Level two. And this goes to backpack. That goes to backpack. Okay. Cool. Oh, this All is right, going what's next backpack. in our steps? That's it from our... Loot level and tally or whatever? Yeah, because sure. we didn't die. Yeah, we weren't Losses. unconscious, so we don't have that, and then we lose an item, and then all dead allies are archived. Okay. So we did this part. Coated in icor and slime, you trudge deeper into the woods. You cannot spare mean? the water to wash yourselves. You must find the wire road, or all this is for nothing. I know what's going on. So we're not going to have a town probably next time. We're trying to find the path to get to that other town, like it's been saying. And then having these people and these rations and all this we're, we're taking with us on the road. Oh. We're going to have an adventure where we're going along the road and making choices whether to like give up people, who to feed. That's what's probably gonna happen. Oh. It'll be like a little. It, it won't be. It won't have. May, maybe there's a new map for it, but it's not a city map. This is, I'm calling it now. It's not a city map for sure. <laughs> Jackpot, man! You're hilarious. Uh, uh -huh. Thank you for the support. Thanks for the great play. A great playthrough. Got to go to bed now. Yes, you do. Have a great evening, and thank you for the <laughs> because the conversion in there. Oh, you're the uh, uh, for the thirty Canadian. What's the currency, Jackpot, man? What is DKK? Denmark money, I think. Is right? it Denmark? Thank you so or much. KR. Thank you, thank Kroner, you. Kroner, Kroner, whatever. Is that, that what that one is? I don't know. I'm not sure what that that one is. I'm, I'm just curious uh, for learning purposes. I'm not. I'm not familiar with it. Um, but yeah, thank, thank you so much. Thank you Jackpot, so much. Man, you're too kind. You're too kind. We'll use that towards dinner. I think. Uh, yep. <laughs> yep. Dinner thank just you got so covered. Much. Definitely, thank you, thank takeout you. is happening. Thank you so much. <laughs> we appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, so Jack, Jack's saying, so it sounds like you know you need to do the next story. Oh, okay, winky face. Oh, Danish Kroner. Oh, Danish Kroner. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I guess I could have Googled that quickly, but... Jack, my man, thank you so much. Too kind, too kind. All right, end of chapter three. Your money there. has a hole in it, doesn't it? Oh, the Steinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Danish Kroner. That's cool. Oh, that's funny. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I got to say, this one was a fun one. The story was fun. The 
trying to figure out if we wanted to save people or let them die. Like all of that strategic yeah. portion was a lot of fun. Uh, this was my favorite one. So far, yes. <laughs> yeah. So I, we might do like, I don't know if we'll have time, but maybe we'll do like a little video and post it of just our spoiler free thoughts after playing these three. We'll see you if we get time. I feel like maybe should we wait till after four? Chapter four puts another mechanism. Well, I don't know. I don't know. It might be a couple weeks till we get to chapter yeah, four. Yeah, true. And I don't. And people are going to be asking, like, they don't want to watch. I don't want people to watch and get stuff spoiled because they want to know how the game is good. I'd rather them just be able to watch a quick video, and we can explain, like, spoiler free, like, here's what we like, you know, here's where it's at, so they don't have to watch spoilers, and they can decide whether they like back a Kickstarter or whatever, you know. Like, I feel bad when we play through spoiler things, and then we get to like the end, and when we talk about our thoughts. I don't want someone to have to go to the video and try to scrub through and find that and all that. I know I can put chapters and everything, but um, yeah, we might might do a little like uh, here's our thoughts in like a 10 minute little video or 20 minute little video. Uh, that's what I was thinking, but you're right. Maybe we save it, but we could just do another one after like, you know, another five or something. I, I don't know, but that's what that's what I was thinking. Um, because I don't want to review it after just playing like one or two missions because I know we're just scratching the surface. Yeah, especially in, in games like this. But again, how many hours have we put into this game already? Let's say learning it the once, like let's say that was like five, six, seven hours. I don't even know. And then let's say like six-ish hours if we like not streaming. So we got to like, let's just say five to six hours each session. Mm -hmm. You know, we're like... Like 18, 20 hours-ish. Well, including the learning one, so we're th oh, four yeah. sessions. Let's say it's six hours. So that's twenty-four hours we put into this thing, and spending like two hundred ish dollars. Uh, divvied up, I don't even know. It's like four bucks, eight bucks an hour, or something like that. But then divide them amongst two. I don't even know. I, I can't <laughs> even think right now. It feels like a lot of value. So, like, if you're having fun and you're gonna play it at least three sessions, and I'm sure you're gonna play more, like. It's not a bad place to talk about it. But then the cool part is like doing a our thought as we play through it would be really neat. Um, Stacey, the coffee shop chat, I think about it every week. Every week I go, I have it on my list of things. Do I do a coffee chat this week? And every week I go into crowdfunding. I go read online what upcoming Kickstarters there are and game founds and crowdfunding. And nothing, nothing even gets me excited at all. Like, not even close. I haven't seen a good Kickstarter that I'm interested in in months. Like, months and months and months. I don't know, am I the only one that thinks that? It's really like a ghost town right now in Kickstarter land. Like, it's junk everywhere. And I don't know if it's junk everywhere because companies are busy working on their past Kickstarters or the cost of shipping and paper and manufacturing is scaring people away right now. I don't know what it is. But I do know... Uh, money in crowdfunding and the amount of projects people are backing right now is down heavily. So maybe companies are a little waiting um, for people who are getting uh, crowdfunding fatigue to, to hope it gets back to where it is. Because right now, like, it, it, you know, retail sales on a game later are where the money's at right now. It's on uh, the crowdfunding part. It's like, you know, if you're only a Kickstarter game, that's it. But if you're a Kickstarter into crowdfunding, it's like something like 10 or 15% of sales are on Kickstarter now. And more of it's in retail after the fact. So that's why CMON does it that way. Um, so if you see a CMON campaign, it's like, you know, 10 to 15, 20% of their sales are through Kickstarter. The rest copies, uh, you know, the 80 to 90% are supposedly through retail. Um, is what I've read some uh, people saying online um, who are retailers. I don't know if that's true. But um, yeah. But yeah, it's just a snooze fest out there. And I don't know what that is. I don't know why. But I just feel that way. So a coffee chat needs to have a reason to discuss something, or otherwise, like the KeyForge stuff had me interested. So I just did a KeyForge, you know, stream where we talked about it quick, uh, instead of doing a whole coffee chat just based around one thing. But I thought crowdfunding was going to keep going, and there'd be at least once a month or every two weeks something, well, like two or three things to talk about. But it feels like it was a late earlier in the year, January, February was like very front heavy. So it feels like if if they're probably following what companies normally do is like start their year off and trying to get their financials in order to plan their year. They're hiring, their benefits, their everything, their finances. So it seems like dropping a Kickstarter campaign at the beginning of the year is kind of like going to the bank to get your loan for the year. Um, so they drop their Kickstarter, they get all their money up front, and then they have their year covered. 
and they kind of know now how much work, how much hiring, you know, let's do this, what are we going to do this year based on their money. So I feel right now everyone's just kind of busy working, it's convention season. Uh, a lot of um, Kickstarters would have been showing them their demos and stuff on previews at conventions, and then they'll come to Kickstarter later. So we did see that a bunch at Gen Con was a lot of, uh, here, take my card. Uh, we gotta, we're coming to Kickstarter in two months. Uh, check us out later on Kickstarter. We're coming to Kickstarter spring of next year. Like there was a lot of, um, they use that time to advertise coming Kickstarters. So I feel we're going to see starting in probably um, October, September, October-ish, we're starting to see that wave again. You know, Chip Theory will have their usual fall Kickstarter. Um, this game will be back to Kickstarter. Yeah, this game will be back to Kickstarter. Frosthaven, yeah. uh, I know once Frosthaven actually gets out to people, they already have that miniature campaign lined up for early next year. Like literally to, like, to time it. Because they know if they did it before people got Frosthaven, they would probably have a lot of backlash. So they probably want to keep that, you know, distance. When is the Keyforge Kickstarter? Because that's soon. Keyforge is September. Yeah, so maybe like September, October might be when... Yeah, I'll start caring probably in September, October to do a coffee chat. I, I, I debate just doing a coffee chat just to hang out and talk. And that's what Locator is saying. Coffee I know. chat with thoughts on Oswarn, Massive Darkness, other games you're yeah, playing. I know, I know. I thought of that too. But the, definitely the Oathsworn one, I feel like it needs its own video so people can find it. I don't want to bury it in like a three-hour coffee chat where I talk about it, you know? Um, I want people to be able to avoid spoilers and just be able to find that quickly. But yeah, you're right. I should. You're, I, you're right. Um, but again, the Gen Con haul and the games that have been coming after Gen Con and the emails I've been getting, the people wanting to send us stuff and stuff that I want, mm -hmm. uh, it's tough. And I have to tell these companies, I'm like, I, I want your game, but is it okay if we play it in like two months? If so, send it. If not, keep it. Like that's where I'm at right now. It's kind of crazy. So I need to put Osworn on, on hold for like a week or two probably. And then uh, we just need to play some other games that we got at Gen Con from publishers uh, just to mark some of those off and get them done. And then I'll feel a little better because I do appreciate those publishers, um, you know, hooking us up with those games. They didn't have to do that. And it saved us definitely on purchasing, shipping and getting some of these games we wanted in the first place. So yeah. that could also get me time to get ahead a chapter or two because painting a chapter as we go is uh, can be challenging. Uh, pumpkin spice coffee chat it's going to be uh too many bones coffee chat for sure we're definitely drinking the bones coffee <laughs> on that one uh yeah don't worry about that we'll definitely be drinking that it was like hazelnut or uh yeah something. the nutty the nutty, nutty one something. or the dark uh open dark yeah yeah definitely definitely bob says i just back world at war 85 blood and fury great looking game like, okay. I don't know that one. I'll, I'll, I'll look at it up. I don't know. But, uh, again, like, yeah, I don't know. There could be awesome crowdfunding campaigns. I just didn't see them or know about them. That's the other problem. I usually find out stuff later word of mouth. I go in the Discord. I'll check there, too, like, to see what our producers are interested in, what they're posting. So keep doing that, because I do go in there and check, and then I'm like, I start looking at them, and I'm like, no, I'm not really interested in even talking about any of these. And I don't want to just make videos to like rip on things that I'm not interested in. That's not like not progressive and, and helping anything. But I will put them in if I have other stuff to talk about and people bring them up. But I don't want to make just coffee chats where I'm sitting there just like, you know, complaining and whining the whole time. I know some people think that's fun, but. Sorry, before we leave, can I just pay off my uh, injury? Before we leave this chapter and it's more expensive. We didn't get any injuries. I thought we might. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I don't, I don't care. So I'll pay three. Does it even do anything, though? Did you even uh, cool it down and get it back in hand? Yeah. I'd, I had to put it through the cycle twice. Oh. But I wasn't near any enemies. I mean, it's not the worst one, just but... keep it for now, but yes, yeah, so it will be more expensive, more expensive later. later. But will it ever be a problem? Maybe, right? If we have a board full of more enemies and the priest is getting in there? Yeah. Do it and if you want. Spend the money. I just do want it. to spend three, so Done. I'll take my five just before that. So that's, so, why I, that's why I was thinking that Bob, it was like a war game or something. That's why I've never heard of it. I'm trolling Rob. It's a hex and counter game, not your cup of tea. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking, I've never heard of it. And I was looking up games, but yeah. Doesn't mean I wouldn't like it, though. It's just like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Probably fun to play, but it's just the like table presence and the look and the quality of those games sometimes is like... I selfishly want things that look nice on the table and, you know, a good table presence. A, for my own shallow needs and wants, and then also for YouTube, things that look good on the table on camera are obviously fun to show off. Uh, 
Osiris says, looks like Explore It and After the Empire Kickstarter is coming in the next few weeks. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, we have Explore It coming soon too. Uh -huh. Have you got a notification about that? No, not oh, yet. okay. Not yet. Not that I know of. Maybe one came today. I don't know. But And uh, also, if... Um, if also... Uh, what's the other one? Uh, Hoplomachus. Oh, yeah. If that shows up sometime this year... Uh, Stuck in like shipping hell. Yeah. Uh, it sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. Um, yeah, I would be streaming that solo in the daytime. We're gonna we're gonna do a week uh, playing through campaign of that one. We're gonna we're gonna go nuts. I can't wait. But my hype for it keeps dying every week. It gets like worse and worse. As it just travels around the U.S. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like leave. I I left Gen Con so excited for that game, and literally I've just been learning and playing other games, and I kind of just forget and don't care. But. I'm sure when it, it was arrives. A fun game, though. Yeah, it's just like killing me. It's killing me. Uh, Jack says, "Did you decide if you were getting ISS Vanguard?" Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's not bring that up out of the Discord, okay? That was a <laughs> private conversation, Jack. Uh, I think I saw messages. Yes, you did. Um, so yeah, Waken Realms reached out and just asked, "Hey, if they had copies available, would I be interested in a copy uh, for the channel?" And I said. Uh, let me check with my producers. Oh, he took it out. He probably thought he was actually spoiling something. You're fine, Jack. <laughs> no, Jack, I was joking. <laughs> no, 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 he's joking, joking with you. He was joking. If I didn't want something to get out, I would say so. And I probably, or he wouldn't read it. And I wouldn't post it on the internet. Or I wouldn't read it out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack, I'm only trolling you. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, no, no. If it was a producer-only chat, I would say it. For sure, I would say it. it whenever you post something on the internet anywhere... You got to assume everyone's going to read it. That's the way you have to live life, okay? Yep. So if you're going to talk smack, just know the repercussions will happen. Um, so yeah. I never joke. Yeah, yeah. Serious business here. You guys know this. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, Toby is back. You had to miss the end. It was epic. I don't think you want spoilers. I don't know. But... Yeah, Toby, the worm ate us all and we all died. <laughs> Everyone's dead. Uh, it was it, epic. It ate all of our weapons, all our civilians, ate us, ate the town, ate the board, ate the trees, the rocks. Everything has been eaten, even my gaming table, and it's over. This is the last episode of Old Sworn. Yeah, the worm came up and it yep. ate everything. So we're done. The worm ate everybody. Yeah, but it, it, it ate half of our dice. It ate those metal coins I was using. Mm -hmm. This worm just went crazy. Stupid hungry worm. <laughs> uh, but yes uh, so after everyone was super excited in the discord so I went and asked the producers in our discord I said guys Awaken Realms just sent me this email uh, thoughts <laughs> and of course I knew Kanji would be all up in that he loves these these space games so I, I'm trolling him but um, yeah everyone was like pretty excited so I was like alright even though I probably shouldn't take that game if it does come but I did reply and say yeah I'm interested let me know if you have a copy I'll take one so we'll see but it's not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed. And it's not in the imminent future. Like, yeah. it's a little bit later, because by the time they ship it as well. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. But what I think they do is they kind of tally up who wants one, and then they put them all on a board, and then they decide, okay, who has the most subscribers and stuff? Let's send them one. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll send ones to people who have, like, lots of subscribers, but won't even, like, play the damn game. Just unbox it. Yep. And then review it, uh, which is lame. But yep. that's what they do. It still gets in front of more eyes, so marketing-wise, it makes sense. Yep. So, yeah. subscribe. That helps us. But yeah. Or that's on this side. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to see it on the channel, uh, start emailing and trolling um, Awaken Realms. Go on their social media, send them messages. They, you send ISS Vanguard to Rob's gaming table and you do it. Do it now. If you don't care, then don't worry about it. I don't, <laughs> I don't care. I don't need more games. Like, please. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm good. But I assume it wouldn't show up for a couple months, probably. Or, or at least they said they don't have them yet to know how many review copies they have. So it might just be like a shipping thing or something. I don't know. I'm not sure what the deal is, but. We'll see, I guess. But yeah. So go harass them uh, and tell them to give us one. If you want. If not, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay, so don't worry. Do it! Jack says the games are in Canada now and first. They might not be press copies though. Yeah, I don't know. That's the other thing. Maybe they're asking because if people haven't paid their shipping and there's some in Canada that don't end up going out because people didn't update their address or something, then maybe they go, okay, we have like five left of that. You know, let's send them out to five Canadian press people. So maybe we're waiting on that or something. That could be a thing. 
That would be fun, though. Mm -hmm. Jack says, I'll rate one on BGG unless they send it. No, That'll don't work. do that. No, don't, don't, do don't review bomb. No review bomb. <laughs> All right, anyways, we're going to get out of here. I'm Starving Marvin, and uh, yeah, we're going to clean up Old Sworn uh, for the rest of the night. All the mess, <laughs> all, the, all the bits and the components. And then, uh, yeah, tomorrow we're not streaming. No, we're not streaming tomorrow. We need to play a, a game off stream and practice. Mm -hmm. We'll schedule some more streams this week. We have our finale for Massive Darkness 2 happening on Tuesday. Kyle will be here, hopefully. And then we're going to finish that game off, see the epic finale to the Heavenfall campaign for Massive Darkness 2. Uh, and get our beer and pretzels out, roll mitts and handfuls and chunks of dice. Yeah, it's just getting more and more dice every episode. It's nuts, it's nuts, but it's so fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so tune in to Tuesday for that, and then stay tuned to the channel. Obviously, more Old Sworn will happen. Do not worry, I do want to play more. It just might be a week or two, but could be in like three days. I'm not sure. <laughs> I have to look. It's all on me, really. But as it's, well. al it's also sometimes I find on, on uh, Monday morning I get all these notifications that things have crossed the border and, and games are arriving and then that changes things. Or sometimes I see that something's still stuck in the US, for example, and then I get extra time in my week and I can do some other things. So yeah. we'll see. We will see. But we'll probably do the story on a weeknight and then we'll do the, the, the gameplay on a separate stream for Old Sworn. So make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, hit the like button. Very important, hit that like button, helps other people find these videos. If you're looking for our other Oathsworn, check the video description if you'd like to support the channel, as these awesome people have. Um, you can find those links down in the video description, how to support the channel, either through YouTube, Patreon, donations, whatever. Uh, much appreciated. And... I don't know, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, lots more, of fun stuff. Yeah, lots of streams popping up, more games coming, uh, lots, lots to play. Um, and yeah, we'll have some fun streams ahead for you. So you're in the right place and, uh, we'll see, uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for all your help on the stream. Thanks for the rules checks, uh, and being involved and staying up late. Some of you, I appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. -bye. Bye.